You'll be on it for days. Yeah. <laughs>Welcome to Sewing Street. My name is Vicky. We have got a gorgeous day for you today. I'm so excited. I haven't been here since last Wednesday, I think it was. Uh, and back with a bang, we've got Daphne here, eagerly awaiting in the wings. There she is, already here. She's on this hour, so I've got to be quick to tell you everything that's going on. We've also got Yvonne McAtamney. Now, we didn't think we'd see her bright and early this morning because she's not on until... 
11. But she's coming really early to have a morning with us. So yes, yeah, she's here as well with, of course, our row of the month. Uh, so absolutely stay tuned for that. We've got three hours with Delphine though today, which is brilliant. You're gonna love what we've got coming up. So I'll talk you through the menu in a moment. First of all, let's start with the early bird special. Now it's something, of course, Quilters Week. Those of you that can't get to Festival of Quilts or can't get to any of Delphine's workshops this week live in person, we're bringing the festival to you. So for anybody who is planning on making any quilts, of course, something that we're all going to need, early bird special is our basting spray. Now this is a June Taylor basting spray. Uh, to be honest, the difference between this one and the 505 spray, I think, is very, very, very minimal difference. They're, they're, it's just a different brand. So if you haven't tried June Taylor, it's definitely worth giving it a go at this price. It's only £12.49 for the big, big can of basting spray. It is, of course, um, an adhesive that you spray onto your wadding, place your quilt top on the, on the top, and then you can quilt. So it just secures your quilt batting. Uh, in place. It works with uh, your 8020, it works with polyester batting, it will work with any of your, your chosen waddings. It's not going to gum up your needle either. Uh, it is absolutely brilliant. I know a lot of people swear by the, the June Taylor quilting spray. It's the first time I've actually seen it as an early bird special. First time I've seen it reduced. Go for it, saving two pounds. I know that John Scott, he's a big fan of June Taylor products. We love all of our June Taylor products. You often see our uh, cut and press. Uh, they, they are a very renowned company, especially when it comes to all things quilting. Morning everybody on Facebook. Hi Sue. Sue said good morning, Vicky Delphine, Yvonne and team. We've got Elliot and Kat in the gallery today. Dream team. Donna said morning, Vix and Delphine. Looking forward to today's show. Kathleen, morning. Will the free view guide be updated? Just saying Sewing Street. No idea what's on. Kath uh, Kathleen, I will tell you in a second what's on. I don't know who is in charge of our electronic program guide, our EPG. I don't know who it is. We'll look into it, Kathleen. Laurie, good morning. Morning, Vicky and Delphine and team. Looking forward to a great show. Have fun. Oh, we are going to have lots of fun today. Honestly, did you see a bit of a sneak peek behind Delphine of what's coming up in this first hour? I actually think it's the biggest William Morris quilt it's huge. I have ever seen. You, can't, you won't even be able to see it all on camera. It's on the floor. I hate to say this, but it's actually dragging on the floor <laughs> when it's William Murray's quilt. Oh, it's incredible. That would be like an heirloom in um, people's quilt collection, I'm sure. Uh, right, loads of you checking out on the early bird. Remember, once you've paid your posting packaging once, uh, then you can buy anything from the web shop, anything from the show, anything from Yarn Lane's website, and you'll still only pay one p and a really highly rated item as today's early bed special with a saving of two pounds. No pinning needed. All of the instructions there are on the back, completely acid free and it, it's um, a temporary adhesive, so it will disappear once washed. There is also lots on their YouTube channel giving you uh, more guidance of how to use June Taylor products. £12.49, so should we have a look at the menu? Those of you that have opened your order nice and early, jump to the web and see what's coming up on pre-order because there is loads today. We've got Delphine this first hour with William Morris. It is the most amazing quilt. We've got a huge kit which has been, well, it isn't one that we've put together, it is a quilt kit uh, that's been put together from Rhinetex. It's gorgeous. That's this first hour. Nine o'clock, we've got brand new Moda fabric. So if you love those traditional colourways like William Morris, lots of your Moda fabrics will go perfectly with it. Uh, that's the William Morris quilt. That's the first hour. We've also got extra wide backing fabrics coming up brand new in that nine o'clock hour, plus Moda pre-cuts that are brand new today. At 10 o'clock, oh, look at this. Have you got a close-up picture of this, Elliot? Honestly, it's spectacular. How beautiful is that? This is called Confetti Quilting. It's our second edition of Confetti Quilting with Delphine. Uh, the first one, I mean, was just so popular. And so much, so we loved it so much that we actually have kept the pictures in the studio ever since uh, Delphine introduced us to the Confetti Quilting. That's how popular it was. Um, but look, it's just beautiful. And she's added um, beads and uh, little sequins, all sorts, it's just gorgeous. 
Now, I mean, this is a, a work of art in a frame, but you can incorporate it into different projects. For example, cushion. How lovely is that? So we're going to talk you through how to do confetti quilting. Uh, well, Delphine is going to talk you through how to do confetti quilting. Those of you that haven't been able to get onto her workshop at Festival of Quilts, we're bringing the workshops to you. So that's coming up at 10 o'clock. Then 11, uh, Yvonne is here with us from uh, Village Fabrics with row four of our sew along. So the Village Street sew a row is coming up at 11 o'clock. So we're on row four, which is the houses. There you go. That's the one we're going to be looking at. Don't worry if you're tuning in for the first time or the first time that you've seen Yvonne do this. We have also got the previous week's rows available as well. It's already selling on pre-order, in fact, actually. We'll talk to you about pre-order in a second. Then 12 o'clock. Do not miss this. How many times have we had Delphine here and we've said, sorry, sold out, sold out, sold out. And we've had so many people asking us when we're going to be able to get certain instructions back. We've got a huge roundup of Delphine's products coming up, all of her projects, loads of instructions, we've got kits, and we've also added in some brand new CAFE pre-cuts so you can mix and match with all your applique projects, which of course we always love. So that's 12 o'clock, I told you it's gonna be a jam-packed day. If you do wanna get ahead on pre-order, jump to sewingstreet.com, uh, click watch live, we'll show you now how to do it, click watch live, if you scroll down, send any messages there to uh, Yvonne and Delphine and myself. Uh, as I say, we've got Kat in the hot seat today with lovely Elliot. Scroll down. I was a little disappointed, I must say. I thought it was Joe today. I was like, oh, it's Elliot. Oh, it's next month that I've only got Joe with me. Uh, right, so if you scroll down, you can see there's the motors, the extra wide backings. Do we miss the quilt kit? Hang on, where's the William Morris quilt kit? Right at the top, right at the top. The first one, there it is. Just grab it whilst you can. It was selling before we even came to air, so go for it. It's beautiful, really, really is. On split pay as well. It is on split pay. Uh, so there's the mode of brand new fabrics. Uh, we've got some beautiful pre-cuts in there as well. We've got some William Morris fabrics. We've got bundles. We've got fabrics by the half meter. All oh, the design rolls still at a cheeky early bird special price. Whoops a daisy, that just fell in, didn't it, cat? That wasn't supposed to be there. Keep scrolling through, there's the batiks. We're into our confetti quilting. Also, instructions available on their own, and I'm presuming those of you that saw Neil's show in the clearance are gonna be grabbing those, because that is a perfect project for all of you barley pops. Um, if you keep going down, there's the calico, which you'll have for your background. There's row four, ready to go. Um, really, really clearly explained in the instructions how to put together, but we have also got Yvonne doing some great demonstration today. Uh, so keep going down, then you'll see the rest of uh, Delphine's instructions. Oh my word, right, the Tree of Life's already sold out. Um, oh, don't worry, we've got kits, I'm being told. We have got kits. Oh, fantastic, right. There's another code uh, that's, that's the instructions, so don't worry, false alarm. If you want them, go quickly because we've also we've had the first batch of Tree of Life um, instructions sell out already. Oh, it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. Right, that's the entire day all on pre-order. Morning, everybody. Hi, my Tom. Have a lovely day at work today, Tom. Morning, Mum and Delphine and Yvonne and crew. Great day. Oh, yes. It is female power crew today. You're right, Sue. And Elliot. And Elliot. <laughs> the Sewing Street Olympians. Oh, I was just talking about Tom Daly. Wasn't he amazing? Oh, absolutely amazing. And Matty P as well. It was his first Olympics. He was brilliant as well. Looking forward to confetti quilting. Love to all. That's from Sue. Elizabeth sent in a message on the website. Morning, Mummy, Hungry Tummy, Delphine, Yvonne and the A-Team. Oh, the A-Team is on. Brilliant show for us all at home. Everyone looking forward. Uh, everyone looking tanned and lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Although I haven't been, I can't say I've been out in the sun. This is all just... Um, this is all just uh, the moisturiser that just graduates the tan every day. <laughs> right, are we ready for a quilt kit? This is so exciting. I mean, whenever. It's my first ever William Morris quilt kit. 
um, since we launched Sewing Street. It is. It's absolutely amazing. I've always watched in Envy, and when we had them in the previous um, Life of Sewing Quarter, they would always sell out. These are spectacular quilt kit from Free Spirit, it's, uh, of course, with Morris & Co fabrics. It contains nine printed fabric. It also contains, it, which totals over eight meters of fabric and your all important instructions. Now the quilt that's been made up um, has got a slight difference to the kit that you've got here. So let me explain that now. We'll open it up and have a look. But can you see the stars in the corner of the big quilt kit? of the big finished quilt, um, they are in red. The ones that you get here are in blue. And we're actually saying that we think we prefer it in blue. Um, it, it just breaks up the red, I think, slightly. So they've changed it to the blue. It's exactly the same pattern. It's the same fabric. It's just in the duck egg blue, which I'll show you. We opened this earlier. I always struggle to open packaging. I always fear that I'm gonna rip it all. There we go. Um, right, 10% of the stock's already gone. I understand that it's more of a considered purchase, but imagine this is such an incredible quilt that I'm sure will be passed down through generations of your family. One, it is huge. It's 187 by 231. That's centimetres, 231 centimetres. So surely that's like a bedspread size, isn't it? Uh, all of your instructions are here. All of the fabrics are labelled. Um, it's really, really clear. The, the block itself is relatively simple so maybe this is your first big quilt and you want something spectacular that you're going to be able to um, keep forever and ever and ever it is that absolute classic William Morris so this is the one I think that they use for the stars in the corners so instead of the red it's this blue have you noticed the split pay option lots of people taking advantage of the split pay option as well 49.99 on split pay uh, the stock is going very very quickly you've got some of the most classic prints from William Morris snake's head you've got the uh, strawberry thief I've spotted there for your border can we have a good look through <gasps> it's beautiful I mean, this is such an amazing quilt kit to gift for somebody as well. I mean, that is such an extravagant gift, isn't it? <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, you know, you're right. For anybody who hasn't been able to make its Festival of Quilts this year, I know how much um, you could end up spending at Festival of Quilts. Why not treat yourself to a really spectacular quilt instead this year? It's absolutely beautiful. Strawberry Thief's in there, that's for your border. You've also got the cream, I love them all. I love them all. <gasps> So you look at it and it's just classic William Morris, isn't it? I love the fact that you've got quite large um, blocks as well. So it really displays those fabrics perfectly. It shows off that fabric, doesn't it? They all just work together. And when you're looking at quite, um, I mean, there's no solids in here. This is all very sort of heavy patterns, but because it's been put together especially for you, they've thought about the different scales of print. So it isn't overpowering at all. It's actually perfect. It works so, so well. The spots for your binding as well. All the pictures, by the way, that Elliot's taken are brilliant. No offense, Elliot, but you can only see half of it. You can't even see the whole quilt. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. No offense taken. No offense taken, he's saying. This is um, a 73 by 90 inch quilt. It's absolutely massive. You are getting so much fabric for your money. It's beautiful. $49.99 on split pay, which is interest free. I, I'm sure this is one that will be passed down through generations of your family. It's absolutely timeless, completely classic. And just looks, it just, it just oozes luxury, doesn't it? It just looks so luxurious and so expensive. It says here, all possible care has been taken to ensure the accuracy of this pattern. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of time that has been taken putting together the right fabrics. Nine different prints over eight meters in, in total. And you've got enough to be able to do it exactly like this. So it will say here, all of your different fabrics, they're all, um, they're all coded as well, which we will go still through with Delphine. Um, 
of how to get yourself a bit organized when you get this home. Maybe it is your first big quilt kit. I love that it's all just wrapped up in a bow in a lovely box as well. When you get this home, it's so exciting. Isn't it lovely? You've also got your spotty one for your binding. Your duck egg blue for your for your um, stars. Even the cream is William Morris. They could have put it with uh, with some solids, couldn't they? But no, every single fabric in here indulging in the best designer fabric, William Morris. I really love the fact as well that it's um, it it is a achievable block for everybody. If you are a, a quilter and you're thinking right. Of course, this is a more of a considered purchase. How much do you pay, by the way, though? If you were to buy a William Morris quilt, how much it would cost? A William Morris throw. Even if you have a look at cushions, how much they can cost. It's, it's crazy. You've got loads of fabric here. But what I love is that um, if it were a more complex design, it would scare me a bit. I'd think, ah, I don't want to be doing something too complex and, and, and wasting, risk ruining my fabric, whereas this displays all the fabric perfectly. And everybody's going to be able to do it. I just love it. 187 by 231 centimetres. It's huge, 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 huge. 49.99 on split pay. What's that? <laughs> it's so good, isn't it, that we've got the split pay option now. Three easy split payments. Just click on the website, split pay, and um, it, you'll pay $49.99 today. Then on the 27th of uh, August, you'll pay the next payment. And then finally, September, you'll pay your final payment at the 27th. And it will automatically come out of your bank account. You don't need to call the call centre or anything like that. It will just automatically come out. So over three months, uh, you'll be able to pay for it. Oh, brilliant. I'm not surprised, you know. It's the first William Morris quilt kit that I've seen like this the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, so I'm not surprised, we've actually got people who are buying multiples. Maybe somebody's buying one for themselves and one for a loved one. One for a friend, you could do your very own sort of quilting workshop together, couldn't you? That'd be amazing. Loads of William Morris fabric, plus your instructions for one for $9.99. So Delphine, when you get this home, mm -hmm. hello by the way. Hello. 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 hello, hello, hello. You're a busy lady this week, aren't you? I am, yeah, very busy. Yeah. Not only are you <laughs> at Festival of Quilts all week, yep. you're also bringing Festival of Quilts to everyone at home. Today. I am, yeah. So next week I'm going to be doing not an awful lot. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah, you deserve a rest. Oh, you thank you. Okay. But um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting week though. Yeah, really it? good, yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be a full on week, but um, you know, all things quilting, so what? Yeah. Couldn't be better, could it? Uh, especially starting the week with a bang. Stunning. Absolutely love this quilt. What is, Beautiful. I think it's massive, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, there is actually, there will be leftovers. Really? To, yeah, there will be leftovers for you to do cushions and bags and things. That's there is good to a know. Lot. Yeah. That's good to know because yeah. generally when it's kitted for you, they will do exactly to the in yeah you know you have enough to be able to do the quilt but actually they've given you more than really enough. generous yeah really generous amount of fabric so you will have plenty left so when you get this home yep. how do you start to get yourself organized with a massive quilt like this uh first of all i sort of uh, skip ahead a little bit and just look at how the block is put together so i work out okay so those squares are cut from that those squares are cut from that but it actually gives you a list right from the beginning of the uh, fabric a which is the cream cut uh width of fabric um, this amount and then you then you sub cut it so literally do it fabric per fabric um, okay. and just take your time um, would you do you all of your cutting first I do yeah I do um, it's, it's it's almost like you see it as a process so first of all do all your cutting get yourself organized because you know if I'll, I'll cut it all first but I will always do one sample mm -hmm. so so you get it in your head right so what is the where is the block so the block is here right. So that's one block so for example one of these, but right. it, all it is, it's turned on so its there side is a little bit. One block in there. So there's one block. That's it, and it's just uh, there's no awkward sashing or anything like that. Oh, it's uh, all the only extra bits is the actual triangles on the corners and uh, on the sides. But other than that, it's just that block. Wow. So, but once you've mastered the block, you just know that you can just go full steam ahead and get them all mm -hmm. done. It's just a matter of making sure that you get the right fabric placement. But other than that, do one. And then you can you've got your confidence then that you've you've made it correctly, and then do all your cutting, label it all up one day, and then the next day, 
do it block by block and then another day put it all together but it will even though it's so big it won't take an awful long time to actually make i'll probably give it a couple of days and then obviously with your binding and your backing it all and also also depends on how you're going to quilt it but it's um yeah it's a showstopper um, sure. I was going to say, I think it's fabric C, isn't it? The only difference is fabric C yes. is the blue. Which I actually prefer in yeah, I the, do. the blue because the whole, it's especially, well, so you can't really see the whole thing behind us at the moment, but it, the, the, it's all drawn into the, the darker red in, in the centre, so it gets darker and darker. So I quite like the fact that it's starting off lighter in the yeah. corners and then it's bringing the drama to the centre We hold that quilt. up, in fact, onto it so we can see, we get a bit of an idea of what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. There you go. It's actually resting. It's like a, it's like, it's like a wall. Yeah, that See how it does, it's just going to and pick up the blue as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that it's, change. It's, it's a very clever change. Yeah. I think. It's lovely. Uh, well done to everybody who's already checked out on this. I think this is going to be one of those quilts that you pass down through generations of the family, isn't it? Like you say, it's timeless, isn't yeah. it? timeless and it's a it's classy yeah and if you're gonna if you are new to quilting this is the one that you're definitely gonna have to go for you know having that on your bed and yeah. people saying oh yeah i made that <gasps> i Very know impressive. imagine imagine yeah. and actually it's achievable it is doable yeah yeah really really simple once that's so once you've done the block once you can just sort of switch off and just carry on making them all and just put them all in labels label them all together put them in your little piles and you can just sit on the machine and it's a bit like a Production line. Yeah, production process. line. Yeah. But I mean, it's one that you can take your time over or do it is. quite quickly. And the fabrics want. are just such good quality. So they iron really, really well. Oh, so great. they don't pucker or anything like that. Uh, if you've got a little bit of best press, maybe use a little bit of that if you're not very confident with the triangles. Mm -hmm. But the, it's so sturdy fabric that it, it, won't, dis it won't move around mm. too much. So, yeah. Good starter one. Fantastic. Right, so how do we do the block? Then? Okay, so I've already done all my cutting because um, I want to show you how to put it together. So you're going to start off with your triangles. So these are your um, quarter square triangles. So these are already cut. So what you're going to do is with the smaller one with the pattern, you're going to lie right sides together. Now you want to make sure that because that will overlap that little dog ear over there, ah, but so you you, you want haven't that. cut it wrong. No, I have not <laughs> cut it wrong. So you want to line up this bottom seam here, and then you'll sew from this side here, right sides together, quarter inch seam all the way up to the top. So make sure you've got a full bobbin. Use the same foot, same machine, same thread throughout. So uh, it just helps you because the slightest change could make a difference to your point. So. Um, Make sure you, you, you're completely ready to go with your machine. What colour thread are you going for today? I've got the cream today. The cream thread, really nice. So there we go. There are quite a few of these kits in baskets, by the way. So, so then, when I open it out, obviously I will give this a press. And then, ah. like so. And then I'm just going to, I've done two. So I'm just going to go and quickly do the other two. I'll give them a press and then I'll do the triangles on the other side. There we are. So I'm going to line up that bottom edge. Start at the bottom. You can pin if you want, but you don't really don't need to pin. I haven't used one pin on this quilt, so. Gosh. And one more. There we go. So line up that bottom edge. And then off you go. I suppose you could always mix and match. Somebody um, who messaged in was saying, oh, they'd like the, the red corner stars. If you've got any red, then there's nothing yeah. stopping you from there'll mixing be enough, and matching your own fabric. There'll be enough that you can use the others anyway. Oh, really? So, yeah, there'll be enough. So if you like any of the red ones, do your cutting for your main ones anyway, would you suggest, and then see which ones and you've see, got? And see, see, see what you've got left. Okay. Yeah, so don't commit to it at the beginning. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, make sure you don't commit to it straight away. Just, just double check because everyone cuts things differently. But but there's plenty of red <laughs> ones here. You wouldn't need more than half a meter anyway. The the red. So you've got plenty here to be able to mix and match it in with the stars. I would have said. So first of all, I just choose where I'm going to uh, press the seams. I'm pressing to the dark side, so I give them a quick waft first. And then with the corner of a dry iron, just make sure that they are completely open. So turn over first, just set it down. Then with the corner of the iron, open it out. So set it first, turn it over. 
I quite like doing this stage. It's like I say, it's all the. Uh, I enjoy the process. Do you always use um, a dry iron on? I always gloves. use a dry iron. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? Uh, only because sometimes it can, if it gets a bit wet, it can move the fabric a bit. Right. So, um, do you know, since I've started quilting, I don't think I've ever put water in my iron. No. <laughs> so now, even though I've got that little dog ear that's hanging off the, 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 the edge there, I'm just going to leave that in place and then I'm going to sew the other side on. And then I can always trim those off a little bit later. So I'm just going to sew these four now. And again, does that does this one have an overhang again? Yeah, because you want it. To, you want to make sure that you definitely press that open first, because you want it to overlap on that corner. Okay. So I might be able to change stitch these together. If you've got any questions for Delphine, I'm on the Facebook Live, or you can message in on the website. Uh, yeah, come and ask uh, Delphine any questions. Uh. We were talking about Festival of Quilts this morning. I know it's it's a, a, a huge thing, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's really exciting. It's also quite daunting, I imagine, isn't it, Delphi? It is. It is a bit. I'm actually quite nervous for actually seeing people. Not, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's different when you... Yes. I, I've, I miss teaching workshops. Um, you know, but to actually teach one-to-one -one again, I'm yeah. actually... So I will be quite nervous, actually. So if you do see me, please say hello and give it a smile. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be wandering around in a daze with a coffee. <laughs> uh, last two now. I'm going to say I thought I'd lost a triangle then. And one more. Last one. Very calm in here this morning. Calm before the storm. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's not normal, is it, for us to be nice and calm? Keeping our cool, aren't we? We thought you need a nice calm morning with the I week do. that you've got lined up. <laughs> I know, and the boys are off as well. Nick's got the day off work today, though. So. You've got to jam at pack some holidays. Then. I have, yeah. But you know, as long as the boys are happy. There we go. Just so you know, there's less than 30 of these left. Started off with a great quantity. That is not a lot when we are, of course, kicking start on our um, kicking off with our fest our week of quilt festival. What are we calling it? Fest quilt festival. <laughs> the quilt festival at Sewing Street. So this little dog here, there. Do you need to trim that? You can leave it on, but I'll, you can leave it on. You can leave it on, but I'll I'll probably trim it off. We had a uh, question come in or a message, just a message from Kerry. Oh, morning, lovely ladies. Looking fabulous as always. Oh, loads of hearts. Thanks, Kerry. Oh, thank you. Kerry, I can't believe her. we missed you the other day. Can't believe it. Oh, I've got you on here. Sorry, I missed I'll, that message. I'll catch up with her tomorrow, I think. I'm going to, uh, go, I'm going to go and hunt her down. Oh, so. are you at Festival of Quilts in tomorrow? We'll come and see you on Thursday. We'll come and see you on Thursday. So Yvonne's just said to me that she thinks that's going to be the busiest day. Thursday. We oh, thought, oh, we'll go on a, a calmer day, not the first day, not the weekend. We'll go on a Thursday. And um, Yvonne said, oh, no, you're going on the, uh, on the busiest day. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to be. I it's think just going to be so nice of seeing people. Yeah, it comes, yeah, it? it will be. It will and be. Really you know, it's all extra wide aisles and, you know. So oh, yeah, they're really, really spaced out. Right then, so now I've got my finished little triangle. So what I'm going to do now is sew two. So I, I'm gonna, I'll show you how it's all laid out and then I'll sew it together. So then I've already got my main square. Laurie says I'm going to be at the festival on Saturday. Hope I bump into you, Delphine. I'll be there, definitely. Come and say, make sure you people say hello to me though. She said, um, have a great time doing your classes. Oh, I will do. Glennis says, morning, Vixen team. Morning, Glennis. There you go. So that's how it's going to be laid out. So all I'm going to do, and everything's sewn right sides together with a quarter inch. So I'll start off with these bits here. There we are. Let me just move my iron out of the way. I love the fact that the, the sizes of the, um, the, the cuts are 
larger sizes so you can really see the fabrics. Yeah, it really shows it off. It's quite dramatic. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Especially with their, uh, the light cream against the red. They're not small blocks, are they? I suppose, no. it, like you say, it'll come together pretty quickly, actually. Oh, Carrie will definitely come and say hello. She just said it'd be wonderful to see you come say hello. They're there every day. Oh, it's very exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've got to, we're going in the afternoon because um, Maisie's got a swimming class at lunchtime, so we'll come after lunch. Oh, bless her. <laughs> just, um... uh, Michelle said, we're going on Saturday afternoon. Is hoping it'll be a little quieter. Yeah, I think the afternoons probably will be a little quieter. Uh, my first one, and looking forward to meeting you all from Michelle. Oh, yeah, definitely find Delphine and say hello. Go and say hello and introduce yourself. No, we're not there on Saturday. Elliot, are you there on Saturday? What day are you there then? You said you'd be there from 7am on Thursday. What are you doing, Elliot? Doing some filming? Nice. You'll see Elliot. You'll see Elliot there. Is Elliot going to come and say hello to me? <laughs> Walk past me. He'll bring you coffee. <laughs> oh, yes, please. With cake. Oh yeah, you keep saying this. You can't just bring Delphine coffee, not without cake. How do you take your coffee? With cake. <laughs> Talking of cake, I think Susie Duncan's here tomorrow. She always brings us cake. Oh, shit. See, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Alison Marion always brings you cake, and other people bring you nice I know, yeah, you don't bring, I don't bring any anything. Cake. You don't bring anything. <laughs> I can just about manage to get here myself. <laughs> No, it's a good job you always bring us amazing projects. Uh, oh. Actually, amazing projects. Look, this, the um, confetti quilting later as well is just beautiful, Delphi. Oh, I'm glad you like that one. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was, uh, I've, I tried a few different designs and I did that one. I thought, oh, it came together quite nicely, actually. Sometimes, <laughs> they don't always, though. I do worry about them. Are you doing a confetti quilting workshop at Festival of I am, yeah. This is a different one though, isn't it? Uh, I'm giving them an option, uh, yeah, so yeah. There's, a, there's a couple of options. Oh, nice. So as you can see so far, I've not even used a pin yet, so. Yeah. So you haven't, you're not matching any points here, are not you? Not at the moment, no. Okay. That's the centre section done. So this is, like you say, this is quite a good size. That if you just put a border on it and some piping, you could this this could have be your cushions, couldn't that, it? Yeah. So that's the oh, that bit there, and then I'll finish off by sewing these two on. And William Morris cushions are really expensive. Really Duffing, expensive, aren't they? yeah. With it's a nice piping on, that would look amazing, wouldn't really it? Really lovely. If I if I had, I'd use the same border as the quilt behind me, and yeah. then I'd put the, the same piping on that you use for the. Um, the binding. Yeah. That'd look beautiful. We forgive you too, Kerry. She just put, I never bring cake. We don't need cake every day, <laughs> do we? We have cake maybe twice a month. Or, well, I say that probably a bit more. A few more. Well, it's quite hard at six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. We still manage it, don't we? We still manage <laughs> yeah. it. Go. So that's your block so far. Right. But I, I won't go any further yet without giving it all a bit of a press. So I'm just going to get the, the mat out. Nice. Now. I mean, it comes together really quickly, doesn't really it? Really quick. And with them, you don't need to worry about directional prints on any of them, do you? No. The, no. And the, the, the only one that has sort of got a direction is the, uh, the border. But again, they've turned it in different. The way you, it depends on how you cut the fabric against the width of the fabric, but um, oh, it doesn't really matter. I always think when it's on a bed as well, it doesn't matter which direction. No, because you're always going to come in at a different angle, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so pressing your seams. So you want to make sure that you press them in different directions. So these top ones, I'm just going to set those to the sides. And press that nice and flat. So that's going that way, and then your centre seams you want to come in the other way. So just set them to go inwards 
Right, that. is this to make your points meet? Yeah, so it's just so that when you, um, yeah, so you, uh, oh, what's the word? Ness. Yes. <laughs> you can nestle, nest your seams. You can nest your seams. So there we are, that's those two. Ah, Laura said I'm working on the poppy felting scene. First time I'm doing oh, it, finding lovely. it relaxing to do. She says, uh, can you t tell me where to get, uh, where you get the felt? It's beautiful. The wool. Um, yeah. I use um, an amazing lady, uh, Zoe Robson. She's, uh, she owns f f Fleece For You. Fleece For You. Oh, this is the lady in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, she's incredible. She's so good. It would help if my arm was on better. It was just l lukewarm then. Yeah, Fleece For You. Um, they go it's, it. it's just her. This is, you know, it's oh, and she does company. all of those different blends, the different, blends, she, different yeah. colours. Oh, I do remember you talking about a fleece for you, Laurie. So now I'm going to sew the block together. So you do have to match these points together. At this point, would you pin? You can do, yeah. But if you're going to pin, just pop a, you know, a little pin in those um, where those seams meet. But I tend to just feel for the feel for the seam but even if you're slightly out it won't make a huge difference so but what I tend to do is nest them together and then start at the end there but you can you can feel you can feel for it if it's um, slightly out because it sort of hits like a little step a little bump in the road almost and you want it to be nice and flat So I'll just check it as I go along. There's loads of you who've got this in your basket, by the way. Don't wait to the end of the demo to be able to um, check out. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open some of these fabrics out onto the desks whilst you're going, just so you can see how much you're getting. I know a lot of people like to have, you know, one big quilt project on the go, don't they? A, uh, and, and then little ones as well. And it is the one that you have to do in one weekend. It's nice to be able to just have a big quilt on the go. That's one sewn on. And then I'll sew the top one on. There is so much of this fabric. Hang on. What's this one used for? This is uh, used with triangle bits, isn't it? Yeah, just a few of the triangles. Not an awful lot of that one, actually. Yeah. Oh, you'd have loads of that. You barely use half of that. <gasps> that is loads, isn't it? That's amazing. I just want to see, because these all look like nice big chunky bits of, uh, they're folded up. It's quite deceiving. That's so funny. Kat's just said, I'm just going to come and just uh, fold that a little bit. I'm just going to fold it. What's wrong with <laughs> my display, Kat? So I'm just, I'm just going to have to come and just fold that a little bit. There. I, I want to show you how much you're getting. Look at this one. Oh, I can't even reach. There we go. Oh, loads and loads and loads. That's got to be good. I have no idea how much would you say that was, Kat? Need you need to ask, you need to ask more. I don't know. More? It's amazing, isn't it? Loads of that. Well, that's all your background. It's lovely, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one, your strawberry thief, which is your border. I love the strawberry thief. I think that's my favourite, Delphi. Oh, that one's my favourite, yeah. It's just classic, isn't it? You spot this and you're like, ah, William Morris. William Morris. So you get plenty of that as well, look, for your border. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hi, Sue. Great to see you both. Sue said morning, Vicky and Delphine. I'm, I'm coming, by the way, I'm coming on your warrior walk, but it was too hot last week. You oh, didn't go, did you? Hot. No, I didn't. I, even I didn't go. I've been it's saying to Delphine hot. for as long as I've known her that I'm going to come on either any of her spinning classes right from last year. Then lockdown happened, so I had an excuse to get out of it. And then I got pregnant, so I had another excuse. And now I'm saying I'm going on a warrior walk where you have this big I've got to teach it in a couple of weeks. <gasps> oh, my word. We'll come to that one yeah, then. Yeah, we'll I've come got to and teach be the it. annoying uh, students in your class. Yeah, he's going on holiday. But it's um, been so hot, I was thinking, you can't oh do that. Oh, no, no, you don't know what exercise in that heat. No. That's just daft, isn't it? No, yeah, <laughs> it's 
daft. <laughs> right, so you've got all your blocks. So there. I've got all my blocks. Obviously, I haven't got that many blocks. I'll be here all, all day putting all this together. So once you've got all your blocks, though, you'll lay them all out. So I'll lay out a couple. So you want it? They go on an angle. You do have. Where, where is it? There we go. So let me just sort of. And it gives you together. all of the measurements of how yeah. to cut these. Do you cut those into uh, squares? They're first? squares first, I think. There's some are, uh, half square triangles, some are quarter square triangles. So that goes there. And that goes there. So you actually sew them together in, in rows. So first of all, you'd sew this corner onto this one here so I'm just going to quickly do that and I'll show how the rows get put together it's really easy right so is it is it from on the finished quilt from the top corner rows like that yeah ah so, I see so I'll show this one how this one goes on uh, so make sure that point is going to hit the center of the square I haven't just double checked that, so I'm just doing it by eye and hoping for the best. I mean, because of the quilting that they've done, I mean, it's quite simplistic quilting actually, but it it sort of throws your eye off where the blocks are. It's really yeah. clever. Yeah, it's not been over quilted because that, that can be, you can over do it a bit over the top of the quilt sometimes, yeah. And I think when you've got fabrics like William Morris, you just want to have respect to the, the fabric. Oh, space. you don't need to, do you? The fabric speaks for itself. So I'm just going to finger press that, um, but usually I'd get the iron on that. So that's the, the, the beginning. And then you sew these two large triangles right sides together. So I'm going to do that. Make sure I've pressed that. I'll just do it by my fingers there. Again, line up those straight edges. And you'll be pleased to know Kat has an answer for you. I've no idea what the question is. Morning, everybody. Lovely day or today already. Delphine, oh. would you be bringing the Dresden plate quilt pattern back? Do hope so. I missed that last time. Uh, I hope to. Yes. We've got the answer. If you go to the website, type in Sunday Stroll Quilt. They come up. You can, you can get it. It's on the website. Sunday Stroll Quilt. Um, I think somehow it's restocked. Is this, this isn't even in our showcase later, is it? This isn't in our roundup, but it is on the website. There you go. The Sunday Stroll Quilt. You've got all three colourways are there, and it's the most beautiful, beautiful quilt. I don't know how long they'll be there for. I don't know if it's a mistake that it's on the, um, on the website, but anyone can get it. You can just type in Sunday Stroll. Go, 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 Anne. Hopefully you'll be able to get it. Um, Pauline, you messaged in. What beautiful quilt just ordered. Thank you, Delphine, for such a clear, lovely day, lovely show to you both of you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, let me show you just whilst you're sorting your bobbin out. Look at this one as well. This is your larger scale print, how much fabric you get. I just wanted to open it all out so you can see the amount of fabric you get. It's a huge quilt kit. You get over eight metres of fabric, over eight metres of fabric. Isn't it important when you start that you have a full bobbin? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, I even <laughs> said that at the beginning. You said at the beginning, I heard you say, I said to start, <laughs> have a full bobbin, do as Delphine says, not as she does. Yeah. It's a good job that's got a nice quick bobbin winder, isn't it? It is, very, very quick. Great efficient <laughs> machine. But the, uh, Throwing no, you under the bus there, Delphine, You did. Wasn't I? I was because uh, when we were we was talking to Yvonne and we, you know, like what thread we like, and they, yeah, we'll set it all up. Yeah, threaded it all up, and then it wasn't until I came in, and then, you know, when you're running out the thread at the end, you, your machine sort of lets you know it by the by the noise. <laughs> Does it? it you yeah. Start to hear it. Oh, I end up just go, sewing and sewing for uh, the whole stretch of a seam, and then realizing, oh. And then you realize at yeah. the last minute, yeah. yeah, it's not, it's not actually sewing. <laughs> But that's the blue. How beautiful is that? So that's the only difference in the quilt kit, just to remind you that those corner um, stars. But we did say there's plenty of fabric in there. So if you prefer a red one, I'm sure you'd be able to do it. But that blue is gorgeous. So that's your C fabric. That is your C fabric. Kat wants me to assure everybody this will get folded up nicely again for anybody who manages to get it. It comes in the box. It comes beautifully presented. Um, I think she's a bit uh, <laughs> uneasy at me uh, opening all these fabrics. 
it's quite deceiving though in the small box that you get this much fabric. So I thought it was important to open it all out and show you how much you're actually getting. Right, so what are you sewing there, sorry, darling? Uh, I, what I was supposed to have sold about a minute, <laughs> sewn a minute ago, but I was too busy faffing around with my bobbin. But uh, no, I'm just finishing sewing the, uh, the other corner on now. So the first row is nearly done. I always find that happens, you know there, I'll always sew and the the seam will flip the other way. Yeah. Do you just stop and make I tend to stop, uh, you know, when you when you first when you first start quilting you just sort of go with it and let yeah. it go over but then you realise why isn't it Lying not pressing flat? flat? So uh, I always stop and just flip it back over. Make sure it's all facing the right way. It does make a bit of a, it does make the difference a bit to lie flat and if you're quilting in the ditch you have a bit too much bulk. It's not the end of the world, but you just feel it when you when it's mm -hmm. going through your machine. I haven't pressed these flats, so I'm just going to give that a quick squash down with my finger. There's 15. Um, there's 15 left. There is a lot of you have got it in your basket, by the way. If everybody checks out, we're near enough on selling out. So just be aware if you have got it in your basket, be quick. So that's your first row. <laughs> So now I'm just have a sneaky peek behind me. I believe that one's there, and that one's there. That looks and right. And that's right in the middle. There. So I'm just going to sew these three blocks together ever so quickly. And like you said, I, I would do how as they've done it because it's very clever that they've they've worked with the colours, haven't the they? Colours, yeah. So you do have to match those points on the squares. So I'm just doing these quite quick, but if I was doing this at home, I would make sure I definitely nested those seams before I go to the machine. But obviously, I just want to show you quickly how it's all put together. But if you want to get the accuracy, make sure you check first or put a little pin in it. But I think I'm going to be all right. Yeah. This is a good thing to show as well. It's important to remember you can stop and reposition and check with your needle down, can't you? Because yeah. I remember when I first started, I felt like the machine, I, I forgot that I was in control of the foot pedal. <laughs> I was like, I can't stop, I can't stop, I can't stop. You know, like when you're learning to drive as well and you realise, no, actually, I'm in control. Slow down, <laughs> just take it easy. You can lower the speed. I often just take it off the actual machine. Yeah. Just have a double check. It's um, because there's nothing worse than, especially if you've got that. Trust your instinct, because if you feel that it's not right, it's probably not, mm -hmm. and then you've got to unpick it all. Mm -hmm. But it's best to stop first. Although on this, if you have a couple of points that don't quite match, you you, you won't really. Is matter. anyone going to know? No. no, it's a happy accident. <laughs> That We're all guilty of it though, aren't we? Oh, if I yeah. had a quilt like this and I had a point that didn't match, I would instantly tell everybody. That's all you can see. When I'm like that, whenever I make something and it's not right, that's my, my eye is drawn to that. But I think we're always very critical of our own work, aren't we? Yeah. And so that's another row sewn. I'm really excited to have a walk around and see all the amazing quilts oh, at Best Seller Quilts. Because it's, it's brilliant to see all the, uh, the stands, obviously, and all the different suppliers, but also I love to see it in the different... I like seeing all the art quilts. I yeah. like going to the art quilt section. I keep meaning to enter the Festival of Quilts for the art section. Say, have you not I'm entered? too busy. <laughs> I haven't entered a quilt show for ages. I used to do, enter them all the time. but Have you entered the big the Festival of Quilts? No, I've that? done um, the uh, the Southern Quilt Show. I've done the Malvern one a couple yeah. of times. Uh, again, because it's quite local. Because yeah. I always wanted to, to take them, make the quilts myself rather yeah. than post them. But uh, yeah, I've done, I've done a lot on a couple. Yeah. But now, I just don't, I don't know. I still have time. Uh, so now I'm going to sew the, these two triangles, so then you can start to see how it's put together, you see there. So this is that top corner, so I'm just going to sew those on. But these are so big, if like I said, they're, they're, they're not fiddly sewing these triangles on, because it's quite big. And it won't really stretch either. 
No, I'm looking. I, re I get really amazed about the, the miniature quilts, the small ones. That oh, gosh, they're there. There was a winner a few they? years ago, and it was absolutely incredible. You think the best ones are always the really big, but there was yeah. this one that was just tiny. The so detail. how they do it, isn't it? I'm, I remember we've done a couple, I think Emma Bradford's done a couple of miniature quilts for us, but they are absolutely spectacular, aren't they? Oh, Lorraine, isn't it gorgeous? She just put morning to you both. William Morris is my absolute favourite. Lorraine, I think there's a lot of people who will agree with Three, you. Definitely. It's just, it's, you don't need to be a quilter to recognise William Morris. It's like liberty, isn't it? It's just absolutely timeless and so famous um, and classic. It's just gorgeous. It's the first big quilt kit that I've ever had the chance of seeing in the flesh and it's just amazing. The amount of fabric, I haven't even managed to show you the, the whole quilt because it's so big um, and all of the fabric that you get in this kit. I mean, there's just oodles of fabric to play around with. Delphine said they've been so generous with this because normally with quilt kits, they'll give you to the inch and you'll have enough to be able to make the quilt, which is massive anyway. But you've said um, they've been really, really, really generous. generous. You'll have plenty left over. If you want to make some cushions to go with it, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Um, hopefully you'll be able to have enough to, uh, to go. It's gorgeous. Do you know what? Alison, I like your idea. She just put, we should all have a trip to the Houston's show. Oh, yeah. Road trip, road <laughs> trip. Welcome to that, definitely. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Well, we're off to Bali as well, aren't we? To see the traditional dyeing uh, methods of batiks, which we're going to be talking about later in the confetti quilting. So yeah, we could also go to Houston for the quilt show. Any excuse. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's for educational purposes, exactly obviously. Exactly that, yeah. When I was at college, we, were, we went to New York for as part of my um, doing all learning, like my textile A-level. Oh, that was yeah. Oh yeah, we well, taxi. You see through taxi. Chairs. Oh yeah, see through taxi. Chair. Uh, my twin sister and I are going to Festival Quilts on Thursday and have booked a workshop with Delphine. Oh, brilliant! Oh, brilliant! We're so excited to be going. That's from Sally. So you've got twins coming on oh, Thursday. Oh, Because Delphine was like, I haven't had a list yet of the names of everybody that's coming. So um, you'll have to go and introduce yourself to Delphine when you get there. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's fabulous. What am I teaching Thursday? I can't remember. <laughs> just get through Wednesday first. Yeah. You're just taking it each I'm day as it, it comes. Each day as it comes. Yeah. I said to you, what time are you there? She's like, I don't early. know. I can't get to tell you past Wednesday. I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be there early. <laughs> okay, so I've sewed the second row. I've not pressed it though. But you get the RE, you get the RED. I've sewed that one on correctly. That looks amazing. Oh the panic then I felt. <laughs> I thought my heart was gonna stop there. No, they go, it's on the there right way. There you go, it's the right way. So then you just keep going with that with all your rows over and over again and then eventually so if you see I don't know if it will rest on it, it might do so like that one and then that's the other one so yeah. there's one two three four there's quite five uh, six seven eight, yeah seven, so eight. Yeah. five six seven eight <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you just and then you just keep going and going and going with that and that's it. It's really, it's really, really simple. Um, so what's on that? You have just got your border. Your border. And your, your border is. Um, I think it's only a three inch, a three inch border. Always do the sides first before you do the top. There's no corner stones because I quite like how it, it's quite fluid and it just. Mm. And then, and then the binding as well. They've taken the time to actually stitch your binding to the back. But I think if you're going to do a quilt like this, take your time. Definitely hand stitch your the binding yeah. to the back. Oh, that would be lovely though, sitting in front of the telly just doing your hand. Yeah, oh, I stitching. love sitting hand, yeah, watching the, something on Netflix, yeah. doing a bit of binding, yeah. Absolutely. But no, that's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to finish this one. And we, we mentioned earlier yeah. about the quilting, but um, it is just very, very simple. simple. Yeah. Um, they've e echo quilted um, the, the border, I think they've used it, what, maybe an inch, an inch and a half. Uh, they've lengthened the stitch as well, so the stitch length, uh, usually about four on your machine, that's mm. what I tend to go to. And and then, and again, they've stitched in the ditch, there's a f tiny little bit of free motion to the centre squares, but again, don't overdo it. I think it, if you could over quilt it, just, you know, have a little nod to the fabrics and a few little uh, triangles in the centre, but it's, 
Yeah, it's really very, very cleverly quilted, actually, very pretty. Well, I was thinking, you know, a quilt like this would probably be done on a, a long arm quilter, but actually, it doesn't need no, it. No, you don't need it. It doesn't need lots of fancy patterns, just quite straightforward. You could even just do just, echo quilting. Yeah, and like you said, I think because they've done the echo quilting on the corners, which is where the most quilting has been done, that's achievable on your domestic machine yeah. because. I think when we do large quilts at home, you think, oh, how am I going to get all that through the throat of the, my machine? Whereas if you're just doing the side bits and then just the basic in the middle, it will look like it's been to a long arm quilter and you've got the confidence to do it and you're not putting all that fabric through your machine. Yeah, that's good to know, actually. So. Good point, good point. We had a, a message come through from... Hi, Avril. Morning, ladies. Do you have to wash your fabric before making the quilt? I don't. Um, to wash or do. not to wash? That is the question. <laughs> I don't wash. Okay. Um, that's, yeah, I just don't wash it. No, no. <laughs> Some people do. Um, you know, I think when you're getting quality fabrics like this, you know that they're not going to shrink in the wash. Just give it a good press before. Uh, just give it a good press, yeah, with a dry iron, yeah. They go Avril. It's personal preference. Lots yeah. of people have different. It's ways, the same with you how you you know open your seams or not. It's it's a personal preference. But yeah. I think that you learn you learn as you go along. You learn from your mistakes. Well, I've heard people uh, quilters generally agree with you and say I don't wash pre-wash. But then uh -huh. dressmakers they always pre-wash. Well, I suppose their that makes sense because you know if you make a, in a garment of clothing and, and then shrinks. you put it in the wash and it shrinks, it doesn't fit you anymore. Yeah. You'd be you'd be devoured, wouldn't you? You know. <laughs> so yeah, so I get it for that. But with quilting and your cushion, I'm not worried if it it shrinks a few inches but yeah. I would if it's around my hips yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so that makes sense yeah uh, I hope that answers your question Avril we've also got another question or another message come through uh, morning Vic and Delphine love this quilt and fab demo got oh. a previous William Morris bundle but haven't cut into it yet why, why? not yeah you know, I know so many people do that I'm guilty of it if you have lovely fabric that you think <gasps> I know you just want to stroke yeah. it but it's there to be sewn yeah. you know it's uh, it doesn't want to be sat in a drawer or in a box could it Cut it, make it, make something, make it something beautiful out of it. Like yeah. go. Do it, do it. Hopefully that's giving you the courage to go for it. Um, Jean said, morning lovely ladies, will Delphine be bringing back the Highland Cow applique cushion instructions? Oh my word, you should have warned me that that message was coming up. <laughs> I have to say it quietly. Uh, loving this morning show from Jean. Oh, maybe. Do we have Highland Ooh, Cow instructions? Oh, actually, it's not on today's hold show. the phone on that because others have got an exciting project coming up that might just involve one. Okay, that's exciting, Jean. Yep. We haven't got one today, though, today, I'm afraid. No. It's not on the roundup today. A question from Peggy. Um, is the pattern for sale? It comes as a big sort of quilt kit, um, Peggy. We haven't put this together, so you get your instructions in the quilt kit. So it isn't available on its own. It's been all packaged for us. Um, there's lots of questions as well coming through on Facebook. Uh, Sharon said, hi, lovely, fabulous fabrics. Great demo. Question. Why add side stripes first? I always add the side stripes first because you, it's where your eye is drawn to. So say if you were going to have cornerstones, it's easier to do the sides first and the long at the top afterwards because of, for one, it's shorter at the top, the top and the bottom. And also it's, I don't know, I'll just always do it that way. It's just a quilter's way of doing it. Okay. It's, you just don't see it the other way around. Okay. It's... Yeah, <laughs> I haven't really got an answer for that. It's um, just what you do. It's just what but you if do. You, but it's also, exciting. if you think about where your eye is drawn to, so say if you were using the different colours for the sides and the top, so if you did them these sides all the way to the top in one colour, it won't look as wide. Right. So it's giving that illusion of a bigger quilt. So the, by doing the the tops at the after you've done the sides, that piece is bigger. Ah. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Claire uh, said, morning all, Vixen, uh, Vixen all. Uh, sorry, late to the party today. Claire, look what you've missed. The most amazing William Morris. And Susan, you're late up today. I, I, I did sleep better last night. It wasn't as muggy, was it? It was a bit better to just have a bit cooler, so I slept a bit better. Um, but Susan, we just had the most amazing quilt here. We've still got more Delphine. In fact, we've got two more hours of Delphine. No, don't worry. You're here for the whole day today. All day, all day. We could yeah. have done um, carpool today, couldn't we? We could, could have, have done, nearly did. Yeah, I know, Delphine fell out of her caravan drunk. I was sober, I was sober. <laughs> no, I honestly was. We just arrived at the caravan and I just got the shopping out and I unpacked the shopping and I stepped down and I said, there was like a little dip in the floor and I went and I ended up in hospital with oh. a big boot on my, I'm fine, it was just a, just a little sprain, it's fine. You're back but in your sandals now that you're okay. You're I'm back in my sandals, yeah. 
ready for warrior, wear it ready for your warrior uh, Yeah, walk. I think I might need to just a week for the swelling to go down. Oh, my <laughs> word. Do too much. You do oh. too much, don't you? Anyway, we'll see you in an hour. Yes. I'm Thank you very much. Coffee. Confetti Quilty coming up with Delphine in the next hour. It's already selling on pre-order. It's beautiful. Uh, first of all, let's have a quick round up. I mean, I haven't even had a chance to open all these fabrics. You've got this one as well, which is loads for your binding. I mean, plenty. Nine different prints, totaling way over eight metres of fabric. All William Morris. It's absolutely beautiful quality. Plus, you're getting your instructions. Um, all of your instructions included, which gives you a bit of a key of the fabrics that you've got. But of course, you've got today's demo as well that you can watch back. Uh, we can't physically show you the entire quilt on the camera because it doesn't fit on the uh, on the, the the back wall. It's absolutely massive. It is 73 by 90 inches or 188 by 231 centimeters. It's absolutely amazing. Um, hi, Isabel. Thank you for your message. Isabella said, morning girls, loving the show as always, kept me sane over the last 18 months. You've kept us sane as well, you really have. Finished off the tree of life from Izzy in Glasgow. Thank you so much for your lovely message. Um, by the way, the tree of life is in the last hour today. If you missed out on those instructions, which we launched when I was off, and I remember they sold out. They did sell out, didn't they? Yeah. It was for a special show. I feel like it was for um, I can't remember now. a birthday or something. There was something no. going on that day, I remember. Um, but it's completely sold out. It's back in stock. It's on the website if you want to make the most of it. Uh, keep checking out of your baskets on the William Morris quilt kit. If you want any wadding, have a look on the website. Of course, the early bird special as well today is the basting spray. So you get a discount on that. It's might, you might as well make the most of it if you're doing a big quilt like this. Um, we're back in a couple of minutes anyway. We've got brand new mode of fabric including brand new extra wide backing fabric which will be perfect to back this quilt so stay tuned we're back in just a couple of minutes hi my name is Yvonne Makatamne my passion is patchwork and quilting and it's also my privilege to own Village Fabrics, patchwork and quilting shop in Wallingford. Um, my sewing life began whenever, before probably I, before I went to school certainly, and probably before I could uh, read. Uh, my mum was always a sewer and with two big sisters we would, every weekend there would be a new dress made and I was allowed to do certain pieces and as I got older I started to make some dresses. My top tip is you don't have to be able to draw to design. The place that I always start is with a children's colouring in book. They have good bold outlines and then you can trace that and adapt to your heart's content. Anybody can do it. My claim to fame is that last year, when things were good, we had Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company come and do a meet and greet at my shop in Wallingford. We had a really enjoyable day and good fun was had by all. So I hope I'll be popping into your living rooms on a regular basis as we go forward with Sewing Street here. We are intending to bring you some absolute beginner kits as well as some of our more intricate designs. See you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project. Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. 
The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? It's the event we've all been waiting for. We are bringing the festival to you right in your living room. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and join us from Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August as we bring you six days packed with quilting. Everything that you might miss if you can't make Festival of Quilts this year and more with quilts from William Morris, Kay Fassett, Village Street Row a Month and brand new guest, Chris English, the Improv Quilter. Learn a new quilting technique such as confetti quilting and stock up on your favourite quilting cottons from designers such as Kay Fassett, Liberty and Moda. All this and more from 8am to 1pm on Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Hello, welcome back to the Quilt Festival here at Sewing Street, right in your living room as well. Don't get me wrong, I can't wait to go. Uh, Kat and I are going to have an afternoon now on Thursday. So come and say hello to me if you see us. If you do see us, come and say hello. Elliot's there on Thursday as well. Elliot's there in the morning though. You'll recognise him with his big camera. You've got like one of those big cameras like this or big-ish. Um, I thought, I didn't know whether you'd just be using your phone to film or no, it's taking a proper proper professional camera so oh and lighting who are you filming oh it's a secret it's a secret I can't tell you anymore but you might see Elliot there anyway secret filming so um right this hour we've got loads to do before uh Delphine comes back with a confetti quilting show a couple of things to mention those of you that managed to get the William Morris um kit well done there are still a couple of them remain I say a couple there's about did you say about 20 left less than 20 now in single figures, we're in single figures. Over the break, loads of people checked out. We're now in single figures. If you do want one of the quilt kits, you've got to check out now for the William Morris. They will go. Uh, should we start with the extra wide backing fabrics? Just because anybody who has bought the quilt kit, um, of course, you want to back that quilt in something gorgeous, and these are beautiful. Is the one that you want to start with the? Uh, so we've got cream, we've got white, and we've got grey. I'm going to go for the cream first because I think this is probably the most suitable. It's um, J, no, one, two, six. Yeah. This was called Fog. Yeah, Fog. It's like a cream. Um, it's only twelve ninety nine as well. It's twelve ninety nine. It's Moda. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that it's got all of the different writing on. Again, I can't really tell you what is what sort of writing is it. It's not French. <laughs> It's not French, it looks like maths, <laughs> which is also like a foreign language to me. Um, so it is 274 centimetres wide. It's really soft, isn't it? It's almost got like a satiny fi finish to it. It's really beautiful. Yeah, that's like chemistry. What? Um, hmm? They've got like chemical finishing. Yeah, that's what I mean. I can see maths. like maths. <laughs> There's our cat. You'll recognise her at Festival of Quilts, just so you can say hello. Why are you edging yourself out of the camera shot, cat? Oh, it's like uh, she's saying it's more science, something uh, I'm really not good at either. Uh, more sort of chemical symbols and mm, combinations. But anyway, uh, yeah, sorry, the cut on this is a bit of a, a bad sample, but yours will be cut beautifully. If you do want multiple units, then it will be cut, of course, to whatever size you want. And we're calling it quilt backing, but you know how soft this is? It'd be lovely for dressmaking. Or just a whole quilt. For a whole quilt, yeah. For bedding, it would be really nice. If you want to do cushion covers and uh, a duvet set with it, it would be really, really nice. Because as I say, it's always got that cotton sateen finish. What does it say is the combination on the um, on the web? It's 100% cotton, but I think it's got a bit of a sateen finish. 
really lovely. 100% cotton. Now, even though we're calling this backing fabric, can I remind you, number one, it's Moda. It's absolutely fabulous quality, but also you can use this for loads of projects. How about doing lots of cushion backs with it or cushion fronts even? If you want to use it for dressmaking, you absolutely could. If you want to use it for bag making, for bag linings, I just see this as very, very good value for money fabric for a lot of fabric. Bearing in mind, your normal fabric width is 112 wide. This is 274 wide. So this is more than double the width of normal fabric. And we're normally about, what, 799, 749 maybe for, for mode of fabric by the half meter. So you are getting obviously over double the fabric for not double the price. So it's definitely worth making the most of it for your stash, especially these colors, because they're so neutral. I do love the detail. Um, perfect for backing any of your lovely quilts. It just goes with everything, doesn't it? Goes with absolutely everything. 12 pounds, 99 and a half meter. It will be cut off the bolt for you to whatever size you want. So if you are looking for two meters, depending on the size of the quilt that you're after, the, the, you're after um, backing. The benefit of using extra wide backing fabric for backing your quilt, so the reason that it's so good for it is because generally you would have to dive into your stash and piece lots of pieces together to be able to create the back of your, fa uh, your, your quilt. Uh, whereas this, you could just have one continuous piece. So you're not gonna have any seams, which is brilliant. Just 12 pounds, 99 and a half meter. So this is our first colorway, it's called Fog. If I show it you next to the other two, so you can see because um, it might be difficult to see on camera um, without seeing them next to each other. So this is the creamier of the three. You've also got your white, and then you've also got this one, which is more of like a latte gray. That one's called eggshell, it's lovely. They're all three beautiful colors, but I thought this one to go with your William Morris is probably most suitable, more of the creams. Uh, if you are after um, multiple units of it, add uh, more of the quantity onto your basket on the web, if that makes sense. So it goes up in half metre increments. So if you want three metres, for example, add six units to your order, six in the quantity section. Hope that's nice and clear for you. Any questions you've got, get them in. Any questions whatsoever, please do get them in. Uh, the next one is the same width again. I won't get Kat to come out and, um, and show you, but it is the same width. This is the white. It's Moda as well. I know so many people, you know, that are quilters that only use Moda for their quilting. It's absolute for their quilting projects. It's absolutely lovely. I love the fact as well that you don't have a direction with it. Writing is going in all different ways. Bought in especially for the quilt festival this week. It's brand new extra wide backing fabrics. We're so lucky, you know, that we've moved into our new warehouse facility that we can store these extra wide bolts. Uh, obviously, if you can imagine, the size of them are huge. And I know a lot of fabric stores, through no uh, fault of their own, they just don't have the space to store them. So if you go into a specialised quilting shop, yes, they may stock a fabric or two that are extra wide, but to have the selection that we've got is, is impressive, isn't it? It's brilliant. And to be able to have it at the price that we offer as well, just £12.99 and a half metre. But remember, your half metres are 274 centimetres wide. Home furnishings, these would be great. It would make a beautiful shirt, a really nice, I'm thinking like a shirt dress, quite an edgy one, like Vivian Westwoody style. I could see Clive making a really cool um, shirt out of it. 12 pounds, 99 and a half meter. Love, 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 love it. We also have it in the eggshell. If you think about, right, so how much should we be? If we're looking at 7, 99 and a half meter, this is Moda. I've got a feeling that this is some of the, have we done Moda extra wide backing fabric before? Kat's saying, I don't know whether we ever have. I think this might be the first time we've ever had Moda extra wide backing fabric. And it's so gorgeous, it's so soft. As I said before, it's, it feels as though it's got a bit of a satiny finish. It's really, really silky soft, which would be fantastic for all of your, uh, all of your quilting. 
just 12.99 and a half metre. Bearing in mind, this is more than double your uh, the width that we would generally normally see for Moda uh, quilting fabric. This is extra wide. £12.99. Well, if we're normally £7.99 or £7.49, let's say, for argument's sake, that times two plus a bit more, we are absolutely crazy low on price for how much fabric you're getting. Whether you're looking at cushions, bag making, dress making, quilting, quilt fronts, quilt backs, bedding, home furnishing, it's a lot of fabric for your money, isn't it? Loads of fabric. Even if you're saying, right, I'm just going to buy two metres of this and this is going to do all my bag linings um, or this is going to do all of my cushion backs that I'm going to make because it's going to go with everything, isn't it? Loads of different colour fabrics, whether it be traditional, whether it be your brights like your caves and your tulas, it's going to go. £12.99. I like that it's got the detail but without being novelty or in your face really cool so they're the three new extra wide backings they're the three new motors oh i love this one as well is this extra wide right this isn't moda um this is really really lovely though i'd go with this to go with you william morris as well it's also 12 99 oh my word it's lovely and it's really soft again great quality 270 centimetres wide. Perfect to go with your William Morris. Absolutely perfect. Uh, it will go really beautifully with any of your, your liberties as well. Brilliant neutral. Brilliant neutral. That would be nice for curtains, don't you think? Or a blind. If you do have, um, you know, larger windows and you struggle to find extra wide backing fabric or extra wide fabrics to be able to make... Um, curtains and blinds this is absolutely perfect bedding that'd be beautiful bedding when you've got these neutral colors with the extra wide backing fabric as well then i do think duvet covers this would be lovely matching cushions uh, cushions as well and a nice bolster cushion to go with it's such lovely soft quality it's 100 percent cotton so it's ideal for that Most popular at the moment, fog and eggshell, a neck and neck, fog and eggshell. Um, this one's really, really lovely though, isn't it, as well? I think that would go with everything. Is this brand new? No, this one we've seen before. It's the first time I think I've seen it. It's really, really nice. £12.99, a half metre. Just very, very quickly, can I recap the two most popular, which are fog and eggshell? It's up to you. It's up to you which one you want. Um, this is fog. Uh, this one's fog. Which is more of your creams. Just flash them up to show you. Remember, they are moda. I mean, that just shows you how crazy. I thought that these, bearing in mind they're moda, would be more expensive. Uh, no disrespect to this one. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. And everyone who's got it, I love that. That is one of my favourite prints. But this isn't moda. This is moda fabric, which should be more expensive, surely. It's still only $12.99. It's lovely. Do you remember when we did that quilt kit of the um, cotton sateen that had, um, you know what I mean, don't you? It had tigers on, it had a unicorn on, and there was bedding, there was all sorts of wall hanging and things like that. It was the first time we ever saw the, the cotton sateen and it sold out really quickly. I don't know whether we've done fabric like this by the half metre from Moda before. It's beautiful. I want you to get it home, just by half metre so you can feel it yourself because it's so silky soft. For dressmaking, that's lovely. Can you see it's got a slight sort of sheen to it compared to the other? Oh, it's lovely. If you're making bedding, this is my this is my choice. Oh, that'd be lovely, especially this weather because it almost feels like it'd be nice and cool on your on, on your skin. Have you not got ba your bamboo bedding on this weather? Oh my word, you need to get your bamboo bedding, cat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you get all sorts with the uh, the bamboo bedding. I think we're going to be bringing it back with Poppy, by the way. I keep pestering her to come back over to us. So I think you get the bottom sheet, the duvet, and the the um, two pillowcases. But this would be lovely, wouldn't it? This would be really nice as bedding. Even just for your pillowcases, actually. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, it would absolutely look lovely with a cream bedding. Right, jumped into the lead. That's fog. I'll still recap eggshell very quickly as it's brand new in today. The first time I think we've had Moda extra wide backing fabric. Don't quote me on it because I, I was off for a couple of months. But I think that this is the first time that I've definitely seen it. £12.99, so the difference with the eggshell is this is slightly greyer. It's up to you what your sort of, what your personal preference is. Yeah, which one is your personal preference? Which one do you generally use for um, for majority of your, your projects? Are you leaning more towards the greys or more towards the creams? This is 274 centimetres wide. In fact, actually, so this is four centimetres wider than the non-moda one. You're actually getting even more fabric for your money. $12.99 is an absolute steal. Loads of you now getting this in your basket. Remember, if you want multiple units, it will be cut off the bolt for you to whatever size you want. Yes, thank you. I'm just doing a little uh, side movement. You've got to keep moving, haven't you, otherwise? We sit here for five hours and I forget to move and then I'll stand up off my seat at one o'clock and I'll think, oh, I'm all stiff and can't move. And let's just ask if I'm okay because I'm doing a little jig. No, right, I think I can confirm. <laughs> I love how you say I think, just in case. Kat is saying, I think it is. She can't find on the system any other Moda extra wide backing fabric. So I think this is the first. Yeah, I think this is the first one in stock. I think this is the first one to go to air. Woo! Very exciting, especially for our quilt festival week. So a lot of people I know have been messaging and saying, oh, I really want to go to Festival of Quilts. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to, to book tickets or I live too far away or I'm still, um, you know, isolating. Then this is, your, this is your chance to reap the benefits of all of the, the goodies that you would see at Festival of Quilts. Right, so they are brand new in today. We've got more brand new Moda. Uh, Kat said she asked for this especially. This bundle is beautiful, Kat. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. <gasps> it's called Garden de Fleur. Jardin de Fleur. Isn't it beautiful? I just love these colors. The blues in there are gorgeous. It's still got a really classic feel, but um, very, very pretty indeed. It's part of the French General Collection. It means Garden of Flowers. 97, 37, and that's half a metre of each of these prints. And aren't they gorgeous? So uh, if you are buying the whole bundle, it means that you actually get a bit of a discount. You save £7.49, which is one of them for free. You get half a metre for free. Oh, look at this. Those beautiful stripes. All inspiration from French country gardens. You've got the sachets of blue. You've got the classic mode of reds. You've got the lovely classic mode of pearls. Touches of grey in there as well, but only, you know, sort of subtle, soft grey. So whether you're purchasing this extra wide backing or this one, it's going to go absolutely perfect. They're lovely, aren't they? Brand new bundle into today. What is that, sorry? The description on the Moda website actually says that it's a formal garden that's maybe slightly overgrown. So look, oh, all of these beautiful small flowers for summertime bouquets. Hello, good morning, Cletra Mudside. This makes me think of Little House on the Prairie dresses. Oh, isn't it absolutely beautiful? They are. Absolutely gorgeous fabrics, perfect, perfect for, it makes me think of, you know, like country house kitchens. If you watch Escape to the Country ever and you see, oh, this Escape to the Chateau, yes, Escape to the Chateau. That's what it reminds me of. 
it is classic, but yet it's still got quite um, um, a bold finish because of the colours that they're using. You've still got these lovely strong reds and blues and greys. It's still quite contemporary. That one's lovely. All brand new in today. All brand new in today, especially for our quilt festival. Seven metres of fabric with half a metre for free all. Free all. Free all. <laughs> Oh, it's an exclamation mark. My eyes thought it was an L. Free! Save £7.49. Save £7.49 if you are getting the bundle. Are these available by the half metre? They're available by the half metre, but if you can't choose, then definitely get the whole bundle because it means you get one for free. Because you've got the pattern, um, I wonder whether you have enough fabric. You probably do, you know, because I know it said eight metres of fabric, but I mean, you could just make it slightly, slightly smaller, couldn't you? That's for a huge quilt. But can you imagine those really classic quilt patterns? Maybe you've got books already or quilt patterns that you think would be suitable for this. Uh, using all these different scales of print, you could do something very, very similar to that gorgeous William Morris quilt as well. Uh, right, by the half metre, let's go. Shall we do the stripes first in blue? If you do want to make little dresses, like Little House on the Prairie. Oh, look at this. That would make a lovely bag as well, actually, wouldn't it? That would make a really lovely bag. I'm thinking incorporating lovely white lace and buttons to it. It just looks like a really, really fancy um, wallpaper. It's taken me to the house in Mary Poppins. A really grand house, I love that. Uh, the flower arrangements are stunning and the, the stripe is beautiful. That blue, it's like a duck eggy blue. So soft, so soft, like cashmere blue. I think this is good for all seasons actually, isn't it? I think this will go through all the seasons. We've got a second stripe, which is more of your greige. I'm calling it greige. They're lovely quality as well. They're all moda. The picture on the website looks more yellow. It's really not at all. There's no yellow in it. Um, this is definitely um, a real neutral colour. More of your creams and beiges. More of your oatmeals. This colour is very, very, very on trend. Very on trend. I love that. For home furnishings, that is beautiful. What about a big striped bolster cushion where your stripes go round the circular cushion? Oh, this is your chance. By the half metre, the only other colour that we have in the stripe. Whether you're using them, um, actually cutting them as stripes into if, to different subcutting them for English paper piecing even. You look really classy, wouldn't it? The Dresden Dresses quilt. What about that summer stroll which is on the website today? I have no idea how that's been um, updated on the website, but it is there. It's sneaky, sneaky. All three colours are on there, but this would look lovely as the dresses on the, the summer Sunday stroll. 7.49. Right, so they're the stripes. Can we do... Right, let me try and work out how I describe it. This one. This has got a bit of a Japanese influence to it. Did you think that? It's the houses. Um, although actually, I went to um, I went to Thailand and we went round a traditional um, Thai house, a really old, old, old Thai house, and it was amazing. It reminds me a bit like this actually. But it's French, isn't it? I love all the little steps, look, leading to the next part of the secret garden. It's gorgeous. Reds are lovely, aren't they? It's a very simple colour palette and it just works so well, doesn't it? It's quite um, a corally red, it's not a, a, a bright red. Who was it who said they didn't like red baffer? It's not like a red that Baffa doesn't like. It's not an in-your-face red. It's a really lovely, more corally red. 
very classic, traditional classic. Um, it almost looks like it could be from an antique quilt uh, fabric, but uh, because obviously it is printed modern beautiful mode of fabric is going to last the test of time you're going to be able to wash it and wash it and wash it and wash it and it will still look as bold and beautiful um so we also have this one in the same color in a different colorway sorry same print different colorway this time in blue it's that lovely uh duck egg blue again that's nice isn't it that is really nice Yeah, the cream looks slightly sort of olivey, sagey green, doesn't it, coming through there? It says grey, grey garden. This is your blue colourway. £7.49 a half metre, that lovely duck egg blue as opposed to a grey. Yeah, because on my screen actually, does it look more grey to you at home? I see it's blue, I see more blue. Did you tell me you were colour blind, Elliot? No, you didn't. Your dad is, though. Um, cat. Yeah. <laughs> cat said, is he? Um, I'm going to say yes, he is. I, I might be completely making that up, but I'm sure he is. If you do want the mega bundle, by the way, it's the signed graphic for you. Um, UE6694 is your item code number, and it's now incredibly limited. It's incredibly limited. Now, this is the one we've only got in the, the creams. How pretty is this? I am thinking a cotton floral dress. Oh, I want to make a lazy little dress with this. Oh, we have got it in blue. It's more of the tonal blue. Look, there you go. So it's all blue. Whereas this one's cream with red and green flowers. Or fleurs. Because this is more of, I'm going to say this very, very loosely. I'd call this your mixer of the bundle. So maybe, well, I still think that this would be beautiful with as, as a dress. This is a cotton dress would be so nice with maybe like a Peter Pan style collar as a little girl's dress. But if you did want to team it with another half metre, maybe go with, I don't know, which one would you go? Would you go for one of the blues or? Do you like this combo? I mean, it's the great thing about Moda is they've done the hard work for you. I'm notoriously awful at putting fabrics together. I am. I'm getting better. Cat's telling me, um, but if you if if you you are like me and you're concerned about putting fabrics together, if you're buying from this range and you're just getting half a meter of this and half a meter of another, you don't need to worry about thinking. Right? Does it go? Does it go? It goes. It will go. They've done all the hard work for you. The colours complement each other. You've got different scales of print to add interest to your quilts or to your projects. Um, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so should we do the blue in this one then? So same print. This is your blue. <gasps> no. Cat. Can I just, sorry, I need to just tell you why I've just gasped in despair. Kat um, has just said a really strange line in my ear. She says, I've just had a really weird craving for Ikea meatballs. No, 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 I don't like Ikea meatballs. I can't even, I don't, I, I can't say that I've had them, if I'm honest. And I know a lot of people love going to that big Swedish furniture store for their meatballs. But no. The only thing that I'll eat from there is the dime bars, or dame, they're called now, aren't they? Dame bars. They always have them there. But no. I haven't been to Ikea for years. Well, I say that. I don't think many of us have, have we? If we are, It hasn't been open. Or it, it opened quite, actually. I think it was one of the first big stores to open, wasn't it? I remember seeing queues on the, um, on the internet of people queuing up to go there, and it was like a stadium. Uh, like someone was queuing to see their favourite pop band or something. I was like, they were cute to go into Ikea, really. They're obviously like cat and craving the meatballs. 7.49, a half metre. 
I once did, um, well actually I did it a couple of years in a row, um, Kat tried to come one year but it was very popular, it was a ticketed event and it sold out very quickly, it was a crayfish and ABBA night at Ikea, in the restaurant in Ikea, <laughs> and no they do it all around the country, every, every Ikea in the country, it might even be in the in the ones that are in different like, countries as well but i know that every ikea in the uh in this country did crayfish and, and abba nights how hilarious it was the strangest gig i've ever done strangest gig i've ever done um I'd, i've done some weird gigs yeah but that was definitely up there with i think one of the weirdest Right, the larger scale print, this is lovely. This is the one that I'd put with the, the, fl the floral one, actually. <gasps> Look at that. They're all quite floral, aren't they? But um, the one that I'd put with the, the one that we've just done. This is maybe the overgrown garden one, isn't it? 7.49, it just works though, that gorgeous color. Cat's loving the yellows in this one, those sort of ochre shades. You could pull on those, the golden tones. Duck egg blue, your yellow, that subtle golden yellow and your red, so effective. Really classic. In fact, if you've seen any of the other French general collections from Moda, um, I think you'll be able to mix and match it in with them as well. There's lots of mode of fabrics that I think you'll be able to, to mix this in with. In fact, actually, I think you'll be able to mix this with a lot of fabrics you've got in your stash, moda or not moda. Sorry, I know that we're flying through these, but it's, I'm aware that it's almost 22. And we've got to make sure that Delphine has got a, a her full hour because we've got a busy day today. We've got Yvonne Macatamney as well. I've got that one in the cream. <gasps> yeah, good idea. Um, Amanda, I'll put it to the team. I think Sewing Street should charter a flight to Houston to the quilt show. I think we should. I don't think that's too much to ask. Neil can fly us. There you go. Neil's got his license, hasn't he? There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kat said, I love how you just decided to just put your life in Neil's hands like that. Neil flying us there all the way to Houston. I think he mainly flies around Birmingham, doesn't he? He does a few flights around the, um, Dudley, but that's it. <laughs> I think he could manage it, don't you? Little cool chartered plane, let's go for it. Amanda, are you in? Oh, Elliot says, I've been in the car with him. I don't fancy getting a plane with him now. <laughs> 7.49 and a half metre. Now, if you love every single one of these prints, don't forget the option of having the whole bundle with half a metre for free is available at the moment. It will sell out, I predict, this hour, though. We're in the teens for the bundle. Half a metre for free on that one as well. So that's the cream option. Still those lovely golden tones coming through, the greens and the reds. We've also got this print in cream and in blue. These are all brand new today, by the way. Kat has fought for this collection in today's show. She said I had to go back and forth to management. She had to do a few eyelash fluttering. I can't flutter my eyelashes at all. You probably just noticed that. No, but uh, yeah, she had to bat a few eyelids. I have, um, I've been practicing my dancing moves, ready for my first party that I'm going to. When am I going in? I've got a wedding in that I'm a guest at, not singing at, in a, um, September. I'll hopefully be ready by then. Be back at it. I've forgotten how to dance, everybody. I can't dance anymore. Oh, yeah, me and uh, Maisie have a dance every day. She doesn't judge my dancing, though. She loves it. 7.49, a half metre. The lovely cream and greys. Let us know what you're thinking of making with these. For bag making, absolutely ideal. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely blouse would look nice. They've got quite a William Morris-esque feel. The blue, same print this time in blue. Great to see loads of you getting ahead on pre-order, by the way. Lots of these selling on pre-order already before we've even shown them. They're moda quality. They are moda, remember, so the quality of them is fantastic. Um, I know that... Uh, 
Delphine was talking about the quality of the William Morris fabrics earlier on and how easy they are to sew with, how lovely they are to press. This is why a lot of people choose to work with Moda fabrics is because of the ease that it brings when you're sewing, um, how beautifully they press, how well they wash. We've also got, can we do the ditzy prints? I think this has got a bit of a Liberty-esque feel to it. Blue, please. What do you think? The ditzy scale prints with, it's also got like a dot in the background as well. It's not just a solid background. You've also got that ditzy, only very small. You probably won't even be able to see it on camera. Oh yeah, you can. Just the little dot in the background. The little vines of flowers. Sorry, Elliot. Me underestimating the ability of your camera moves. There we go. Of course you can see that dot in the background he's telling me. You can see it in what times lens is that? 15 times magnification. Is that closer than your eye can get? What's your eye? I don't think I can get that close, no way. No. Definitely, I can't do 15 times magnification, no. Um, right. Three more to go. We've got the cream in that lovely spot vine print. This one is called Cream Blossom. Another one that would make really, really pretty dresses. Do you see the Liberty-esque feel to it? Hi, Derek. Oh, I saw you last night. I did see you on the sing-along. Morning, Cat, Elliot, Delphine, Yvonne and Vix. Told you it's a busy day, isn't it? Busy, busy day. Sorry I'm late to this morning's party. Don't worry, you had a busy night last night. Um, right, we've got an update on Doris, by the way, if, if anybody wants one. So Doris's cat, cat, by the way. So had a friend stay this weekend, which meant that you put the bed up. Oh, the air bed. Oh, a camp bed. So now she's got a new favourite hiding place, um, which is underneath this camp bed. So I don't think you can take the, the bed down now. That's now Doris's bed, which she's sleeping under. What's that? What's catnip? Is it cat food? Does she love the, is it like sweets for cats? I see. <laughs> Seven pounds 49, a half metre for your ditzy scale print. That's really cute. Oh my word, why would you want to give your cat that? Now, last print, blue to start with. This one again has got a, a, a larger spot in the background this time. Oh, that is really pretty. Imagine centralising any of your, your cuts, fussy cutting these little lovely floral designs. That's so pretty. I love all those different flowers on there. All scattered round. That is really nice. I think that's my new favourite, going through them all. I love that. Sorry, just having a sip of my water. We've got one more and it's got a cream background this time. If you've been, do you say humming and hawing? I thought you just said, oh, humming and hawing. <laughs> Akira says humming and hawing. He does, and I thought you just said it, and I thought, oh my word, do I, have I just said it wrong the whole of my life, humming and hawing? Because I thought Kat just agreed with him. Humming and hawing. Hum, ha. <laughs> Did you ever say anything for, for years and realise years later that you've said things wrong? All the rage. Cat thought all, instead of all the rage, that's all the rage. Cat thought everybody else was saying it wrong when we were saying all the rage because she thought it was all the range. Makes sense, all the range. 7.49, a half metre for your cream roses. Now, if you want the whole entire bundle, you've seen all 14 fabrics now. You get all 14 and you're not paying for one of the half metres because you're getting that for free. So you still get the same amount of fabric, um, but this time £7.49 discount for all of the fabrics, £97.37. and pence. They're brand new in today. The blues, the creams, the reds, the ditzy prints, the larger scale prints, the stripes, 
the vines. I like they put a little tape measure in between the picture. Because it's not on the salvage, is it? No, I think it's just for scale. Just 97.37, when you think about how much fabric you're getting there, that is a lot, isn't it? Go a long, long way, especially if you're adding some into your stash, maybe some creams, for example, into your stash, and that'd be great. Speaking of which, if you need to add any to your collection, any creams, can I just show you early bird special from yesterday? I can't actually believe that we still have availability of this. Did you see yesterday's early bird special? It was amazing. Whenever we have design rolls like this, they sell anyway. We did not need to discount this. Five pounds off. <gasps> oh, my word. Grab this. Grab this for sashing, for borders, for subcut them into different, um, obviously, different shapes. You've got beautiful white on white, creams on white. You've got different patterns. It's gorgeous. All of your whites, florals, stripes. It'll go brilliant with your motors. It'll go brilliant with your William Morris. It'll make your fabrics go even further. And they've all got that interest. They're not plain whites. Can you see? They've all got detail. So pretty. So, so pretty. Now, you are paying 62 pence a strip. I think that is the lowest price I've ever seen a design roll like this. 62 pence a strip. 24.99. 40 different fabrics. Bearing in mind, generally, design rolls here can be up to £40. I mean, that is crazy good value for money, isn't it? Yeah, we will see some. I mean, the Moda one is £45. That's how much they are. But if you add this into this, how much fabric are you going to have? It will go such a long way, such a long way. Did you? So, right, Kat was supposed to be in Australia uh, the start of the last lockdown, last April, uh, uh, for a wedding, and she started with this design role, a wedding quilt for them. How's it going? How are you doing it then? Oh, you're literally doing like a, uh, a design role, right? Just uh, piecing them all together. They all go so well. They'd look absolutely beautiful, beautiful. You could then embellish with like some um, beads, couldn't you? And some Shavoskis, some pearls. Oh, Kat's going to go really out there. She's going to free motion the names on. She's also going to put the date on of their wedding day, where it was supposed to be on their new wedding day. I hope they're not watching. All these plans of what she's going to be doing. They're in Australia. Um, but you could add pearls on, couldn't you? That's if you just to use this. I mean, that is definitely enough to do a quilt, isn't it? There's loads. Wendy Orlando, are you watching? How much can you do with a design role, Wendy? So much. It will go such a long way. How about for bindings, christening presents, wedding presents, wedding favours, just for your whites in your stash? Because, don't get me wrong, you're always going to need whites, creams um, and, and all your solids that we stock. But I love it when they've got a ditzy print and to have so many with different ditzy prints is amazing. Now, we should not be doing this today. We don't care. Uh, we're doing it anyway. I shouldn't be saying that really because the office staff are in today. They will definitely be having us on the, uh, they'll have us on the telly and I'm surprised. Look at that one. Oh, I love that. Yesterday we had people buying multiples. Today, same happening. Same happening again. Uh, I think we only had 60 left today. So they, they'll all go, I presume. We're down less, less than 40 already. So please do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. They're absolutely beautiful. If you're in a queue on the phone line, please do hold the line. Yesterday morning, we had web issues at ATM. So if you missed out on these, you didn't have a chance to check out, um, then this is your chance. I think there were a few issues with cameras and all sorts yesterday. We don't need to talk about it. We won't dwell on it. We won't jinx it. We won't jinx it. It's not going to happen again today. But for whatever reason, if you didn't get a chance to check out yesterday, you're at 62 PS strip. Can I show you how wide they are? They're the full width of your fabric. Salvage to salvage, full width of your quilting fabric, quilting weight cottons, all beautiful patterns on there as well. It's not just plain white. 
I remember when Alice and Marion was telling me to not just think of this as two and a half inch strips. Obviously there's loads of patterns that call for two and a half inch strips. There's some great quilts you can do. You can subcut them into smaller ones, do lots of half square triangles or use them for your EPP. But remember you can stitch them together and make an apron. You can stitch them together and make a skirt. You can stitch them together and do loads of projects with them. Love having a design roll, especially when they're a bargain like this. Now, they will go back up tomorrow to $29.99. They should be today $29.99. We noticed that somebody hadn't uh, changed it. We have to manually change them every day. Uh, it hadn't been done, so we nabbed it ready for today. I tell you what, here's a good excuse. There were web issues yesterday. Any excuse to be able to bring you another absolute brilliant product at a great saving as well a deal that is a deal isn't it 25 remaining they will sell out today i don't think you will get a chance at them at 29.99 to be honest because i think they'll sell out today um they go really well with all your motors anyway don't they they go really well with your william morris and your motors absolutely gorgeous i mean i've only shown you a few of the prints there how many strips do you get 40 40 strips uh, it makes them 62 pence a strip you've got stripes in there look you've got really beautiful floral prints it's very difficult to show some of them are cream backgrounds with white on the top some of them are whites on whites some of them are creams on creams they're all beautiful there's a great selection there's your stripes okay we are going to sell out of those less than 20 now good luck if you've got it in your basket check out today's uh, well, it's not today's early bird special. It shouldn't be an early bird today. Today's early bird is the basting spray, which is always uh, very popular as well. Okay, so let's start with the fat eights. We've got new pre-cuts from Moda. Now, I think this is a new collection to us. I feel like we've seen this fabric. Me and Kat were saying we don't know, but I know these colorways. So maybe we've seen similar colorways from Moda in a different, um, in a different collection. Let's open it up, have a look. This one is called Mill Creek Garden. Staying with the garden theme. Now these are fat eights, so you can say yes. Let me show you the, the size. So fat eights are half of a fat quarter. Half of a fat quarter is a fat eighth. So it's still a lot of fabric, isn't it? It's still a lot of fabric. They're absolutely beautiful though. They, they, once again, quality ditzy scale prints, larger scale prints. You've got the creams, purples and greens in this collection. Shall I show you them? I'll take them. You've got this one. That's nice, isn't it? You've got the different prints, different scales of print, smaller ditzy print. This time, that almost like stitched line, but in green. Your floral creams and greens. Oh, that's nice, like thistles, aren't they? This is a brilliant way to be able to get the whole collection affordably. If you were to buy all of these by the half metre, it would be in the hundreds. Where it's $74.99 and you're still getting every single one of these fabrics, but in fact, eights this time. But they're still good sizes. If you're doing smaller, uh, smaller blocks, um, then do you need more than this? There's a lot that are, in fact, let me have a look through. Because they're a smaller scale print, you're not actually losing any of the designs. Excuse me. This is probably the um, the largest scale print of the collection, and you're not losing any of it, are you? You're still seeing the full flower. Are they thistles? Do you think they look like thistles, don't they? They look lovely. It's all wild flowers, spring to life. Wild flowers are very, very in. I was talking to my friend who's getting married uh, later in the year, and she's doing all wild flowers as her um, bouquet and flower arranging. Jan, the designer of this, said it's the sights and sounds of a garden. Music, it's music to her soul. Bringing a sense of peace and harmony. I love those purples as well. The lavender hues are gorgeous, aren't they? Let me put those there. You've got the purples. And then it goes into the greens as well effortlessly just seamlessly blends you've got how many fat eights in here this is a lot 
35 prints. 35 prints. This is a lot of fabric, isn't it? Then into your greens. We are at just £2.38. Oh no, 28. My bad. A fat eighth. That is a lot of fabric. Beautiful prints. Do you think we have seen this before, Kat? I don't know whether we've seen some of them. I've not seen these. I've not seen those ones. I've not seen this. I don't know whether I've seen that one either. So yeah, maybe it is new to us. The Mill Creek Garden. These colours are beautiful. The Fat Eighth Bundle is brand new to us for sure. It's another one that Kat had to bat her eyelids again for. Make the most of it whilst you can. The greens. And then we've also got, we're not done by the way. We've still then got the browns, those earthy, beautiful tones as well. Still with those lovely purples and greens. This one with lovely texture. The backgrounds have got uh, sort of like a spray effect. Every single one of these fabrics, Fat Eighth, everyone from the collection, £74.99. No, it's not. Oh, in fact, Kat worked out at 79 99 So 74 99 your price per fat eighth is actually lower. £2.14 a fat eighth. Excuse us, that is so good. You could do a whole quilt with it. And maybe you've got the design roll to go um, make it go even further. Or you've got your, um, there's seven of those design rolls left, by the way. Or if you've got any of the beige, the extra wide backing, maybe, the motor backing in, um, was it called, what was it called? Fog. In fog would look lovely. The whole collection, $74.99. Right, just whilst you're checking out, I'll just pile these back up. Um, it is brand new in today. The Fat Eights, uh, we also have the Design Roll, which is brand new for the first time. You can thank Kat for these. We weren't supposed to have all these new fabrics. I told you it was going to be a brilliant day today. We've got a Von Macker Tamley still to come. Delphine coming up at 10. Um, I don't know whether we're going to have time to get through everything that we've got on this desk, Cat. We've got William Morris on here. We've got complimentary bundles. We've got four minutes. What do we want to do next, sorry? The design roll. Okay, design roll from the same range. So it's all those same prints that we've seen, this time in two and a half inch strips. Um, mode of fabrics, absolutely beautiful quality. Can I? Let's get in there. Let's get on in there. You've got 40 strips. 44.99. What does that make our price per strip then? Just over a pound a strip. Just over a pound. Ah, oh, Morning Vicks. Apart from the browns, those colours are in the sweet violet range. I knew I'd seen them. It's the colours that I recognise, Jan. They're the same colours, aren't they? So if you've got the sweet violet range, yeah, mix and match it. I knew I'd see them somewhere and I was thinking, I've been dreaming. I've been, premoni I've been having premonitions again like our Emma. What would you use this with? Delphine's owl, wise old owl. All the browns, absolutely, and the neutral colours for the owl would look gorgeous. I mean, it's going to be brilliant for lots of projects. I know that uh, Delphine's applique project, she often uses the design rolls, the pre-cuts. They work really well. In fact, we've got some cape later, but it would look completely different if you want to use it in the molders. $44.99. They're the same prints of what we've been looking at, so the stitched uh, lines. The floral ones, you've also got your stripy ones here as well with the floral prints in creams, in purples, in greens and in the browns for $44.99. Brand new in today, very exciting. All your classic traditional colours, aren't they? There's lots of Pam and Nikki Lintot designs that are called two and a half inch, um, half inch strips. What's that? Cat saying, just take a deep breath, slow down and smell the flowers. I'm guessing the designer said that, not you, Cat. Cat says, I know when Cat's talking and I know when she's reading something, because when Cat's talking, she says, I'm craving the Ikea meatballs. And when the designer, who's Jan, uh, Jan said, what did Jan say about this, sorry? Take a deep breath, slow down and smell the flowers. Thank you. 
I no, I'm the same cat. I've realised since I've started since I've had Maisie and I'm reading her storybooks, I've got to try and put on all different voices and use my voice in different ways to interest her because she's still tiny. But she does get it. She loves it. She loves storybook time. But Kat said that she struggled to read with um, emotion. So she was reading that with lots of emotion to me. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and smell the flowers. It's when she has to read out loud for the voiceovers. Not that Kat does any of the voiceovers. Oh, when you read them to me. 44.99. I have to do it every day. Oh, here we go. Charlie's also said they were also used in the Mode, Moda Clover Meadow range. I love that about Moda, that they use the same colour palettes, different designs. So, like Tula Pink and Tilda, you can often use them with different collections, which is brilliant. So, the Mill Creek Garden range is brand new to us, but it's similar colour palettes um, that we've seen from previous Moda ranges. So, it will all be able to mix and match. Thanks, Charlie. Right, we've got to go. Delphine's eagerly awaiting in the wings. Just so you know, on the website, you can still check out on the three William Morris, uh, sorry, the other collections that are they're there. Now, the kit from William Morris, there are three left. Three quilt kits left. Check out if you want it over the break. And I'm sure I'll be saying in a couple of minutes it's sold out. Also, there are still chances to get the early bird special. Um, what's that? The, uh, the sprays? Oh, uh, the design rolls. Yesterday's early bird. Yesterday's early bird, there's four of those left. Today's early bird we're going to be using in the next hour, so grab that whilst you can, the, the basting spray. Don't go anywhere. Get ready for gorgeous Delphine Brooks back with confetti quilting in just a couple of minutes. See you after this. It's the event we've all been waiting for. We are bringing the festival to you right in your living room. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and join us from Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August as we bring you six days packed with quilting. Everything that you might miss if you can't make Festival of Quilts this year and more with quilts from William Morris, Kay Fassett, Village Street Row a Month and brand new guest Chris English, the improv quilter. Learn a new quilting technique such as confetti quilting and stock up on your favourite quilting cottons from designers such as Kay Fassett, Liberty and Moda. All this and more from 8am to 1pm on Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Hi, my name is Yvonne McAtumney. My passion is patchwork and quilting, and it's also my privilege to own Village Fabrics Patchwork and Quilting Shop in Wallingford. Um, my sewing life began whenever, before probably I, before I went to school, certainly, and probably before I could uh, read. Uh, my mum was always a sewer, and with two big sisters, we would, every weekend, there would be a new dress made, and I was allowed to do certain pieces and as I got older I started to make some dresses. My top tip is you don't have to be able to draw to design. The place that I always start is with a children's colouring in book. They have good bold outlines and then you can trace that and adapt to your heart's content. Anybody can do it. My claim to fame is that last year, when things were good, we had Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company come and do a meet and greet at my shop in Wallingford. We had a really enjoyable day and good fun was had by all. So I hope I'll be popping into your living rooms on a regular basis as we go forward with Sewing Street here. We are intending to bring you some absolute beginner kits as well as some of our more intricate designs. See you soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're bringing the the uh, sorry about the longer break, by the way. Sorry, we're just trying to get all set up ready for our first workshop. Well, I say our first, we've just done William Morris with Duffin. Are they sold out, by the way? The quilt kits will refresh. I know lots of you have got it in the in oh, there's so many more of you that have got it in your basket. There's three William Morris quilt kits left. If you want the quilt kit, if you're humming and hawing or humming and hawing, then if you want the quilt kit, the quilt was amazing. That's only half fit. It's huge, uh, and it was $149.99 or on split pay at $49.99. Just to remind anybody that missed the 8 o'clock show, because it was very early this morning, but they all nearly sold out. So there's three of them available. Now, the next workshop with our Delphine Brooks is confetti quilting. Now, this is my first show of confetti quilting with you. Yes, because we've done one before, haven't we? We did. It was a while ago now. I can't remember when it was. Well, I know that we, I think it was with Debbie Shaw, actually, wasn't it? I think it might have been, actually. And we yeah. loved it so much that we kept them to put up in our studio. Although I've borrowed one. Yeah, you've <laughs> taken one down to take one. to Festival yeah. of Quilts, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, so we have got the instructions for the ones um, behind me. Uh, th this is the first edition of, uh, of Confetti Quilting. So this is the in introduction to Confetti Quilting. Yep. So for anybody who missed the first show, just briefly, what is confetti quilting? Uh, basically, chopping up fabric until it's tiny little pieces, sprinkling it on, making it a picture. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. so effective, isn't yeah. it? So, so effective. And can, do you have to be um, a, you know, a seasoned pro quilter nope. to be able to do this? No, nope. complete beginner. Wow. Com complete beginner, yeah. So this is the one that's like that beautiful forest that you've seen on our wall for the last few months. Uh, it's £9.99 to get Delphine's full instructions on their own. Just for anybody who, who missed it, if you want the introduction to confetti quilting, um, 
that was the show. Can you remember when that was, Kat? We'll try and find the date for you. Um, it was on the 10th of January. Oh, wow. Back in January. Crikey. So, Ages I mean... Ago. It was with Wendy Gardner, not Debbie Shaw, oh. apparently. It was with Wendy. So um, if you missed that, then watch it back on YouTube as well. Back in January. Crazy, yeah, crazy, crazy. Ago. That's probably how um, Wendy asked you to, to do this workshop. Maybe yeah, then probably was, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, the next edition, this is our second time we're doing confetti uh -huh. quilting. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, you're so lovely. Oh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. Aren't they gorgeous? Have you seen the, the artwork that Delphine's created with this? Now, you need certain fabrics to be able to get this effect, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah. So you that. need, I do it batik fabric. Um, okay. Or your barley pop saw, but you need something that's got the, the same print on either side because if it, because you are sprinkling it all over the, the fabric, if it's on the wrong um side it will show up so you want bright really bright rich colors with loads of different patterns in and so that's why batik fabric is like the perfect fabric for it um, otherwise you're going to be spending a, a long time turning each piece of fabric ah. the other way around but this you can have you see the the fabric is like your paints gosh yeah it's um the, the, the perfect fabrics it for it. It's amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, it is like a, a piece of artwork, isn't it? But you can also incorporate it into different projects like cushions. For yeah, example, cushions, as well. uh, bags, uh, your purse. It would look, be really pretty if you made it into little purses as well. Yeah. So, but again, it, it, because of the embellishment, if you wanted to, uh, it, it can make it look really high end, a real work of art. But just by adding, if you even you don't have to add anything extra to it. Yeah. But if you do, just a couple of French knots or a bead here in there, you know. But don't overdo it you want less is more really yeah. so what's your angel policy with these actually because i can imagine a lot of people making these to sell as well again like i've always said with my agent policy i've got no problem if people wanted to make to sell um my only thing is is to make sure that you mentioned me that because like, it's, it's that my it's idea because this yeah. is my design this is yeah. what's come out of my head my imagination and uh, it will just be nice to have the nod to go actually it's not my idea but uh, it was yeah. uh, delphine's but by all means make some money from it yeah brilliant 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 okay so the picture that's to the left of me is um, made from it's called the Dark Bundle, which I don't quite understand why, because it is so bright and so vibrant. But just go with it. It's called the Dark Confetti Quilting Bundle. Um, so, oh, thank you, Kat. I think I'm going to just go for the wrong one because I think they're just both so bright and vibrant and gorgeous, but it's just called the Dark One. So, in the bundle, you get Delphine's all important instructions. Now, will ours be glossy? And yeah, yeah, nice? they've already arrived. They're all glossy. Yeah, that's just a photocopy. But Fab. Yeah. So you will get your glossy instructions as you always do with Delphine's instructions. Now, you also get a fat quarter of your tool. So yeah. this is lovely because that's what holds it all together. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. It, it will all. It will all come to. It will all be explained in a minute. Yeah. <gasps> Love the tool. So you've got a fat quarter of tool, which is nice and soft. You also then get a fat quarter of calico. You have got, right, I'm just saying, you've got a lot of fabric here. Five you've, fat quarters. You could make oh, 10, if not more, oh. at that size. All you'd need is some more tool and some more backing fabric. Oh. But you've got so much you could make put the binding on it, make them into cushions. It will last you for your boutique. So confetti quilting going forward, I'd hate to say it, but that's all you'd need. Oh, brilliant. You won't need anything else. And, and these are gorgeous colours, yeah. aren't they? You'll Absolutely. see. You'll see in a minute just how little I use. I don't use much. Fantastic. Yeah. I, I mean, those of you that love boutiques anyway for lots of different projects, but how about making, like Delphine has suggested, some lovely purses with this confetti quilting on? How about doing artwork for, for friends, um, people moving into new houses or for, for gift ideas for people. They're beautiful and so cost effective today if you're getting this whole kit. $27.99. It's going to go a really long way. If you're making 10 different projects, that's £2.79 a project. Mm. And, and, and as you said, all you'll need to add is some more calico and tulle, which we're going to do very affordably for you as well. We have got them if you want them as extra. So that one is the dark remember that that's the dark so these are the ones with those lovely teals the blues these deep reds remember every single batik is slightly different that's the the joy of them they are hand dyed beautiful quality fabrics 
um, but these are the, the sort of darker selection. Now you also have one that's called the brights. Now the cushion behind me was made from the brights. So, oh look, those aqua tones are amazing coming through. Uh, the brights have been the most popular at the moment. I think purely because it's called bright, I think a lot of yeah. people presumed maybe the darks were going to be dark, but if I'm honest, there's not actually that much difference in the colorway, so just go for yeah. it, either whatever you, whatever you prefer. Uh, but look at the fabrics that you get in this. Those rainbows of colors. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Absolutely love it. Definitely keep some of this fabric for other projects as well. You'll have plenty in your stash to be able to use. Um, yeah, don't just cut up all of your fat quarters into tiny little pieces unless you just want to have a bit of a stash for confetti yeah. quilting. I yeah. bet you do build up. Um, yeah, like you say, it just but just make sure it's the same on both sides. Yeah. And, and also the beauty of that boutique as well, it very rarely frays. Right. Oh, and that's again, good. that's a really important tip for if you're going to do confetti quilting, you don't want it fraying and coming out of the fabric. It just won't look, it just won't look very tidy. Oh, Poppy said, sorry I'm late today. Oh, don't worry. You've tuned in at the right time anyway. These are gorgeous. And she says that it's a beautiful quilt behind me. That's the one with Yvonne at 11 o'clock. It's the row of the month that we're doing, Poppy. So with this, just to remind you, you get five fat quarters of your batiks. You also get a, back, uh, a, a fat quarter of calico for your backing, for your background, and then you also have your tulle fat quarter to um, go over all your confetti quilting to hold it all in place. So, now look, I know Neil did something crazy last week. I heard about it, Kat texted me about it, Kat was floor manager, and she went, you, you will not believe what Neil's just come on and done. Um, we obviously spent so much time, not that we're fuming or anything, but we spent so much time putting together the most amazing shows for you, and then Neil comes on and does something so ridiculously naughty. So well done everybody who managed to get the barleys, uh, barley pops. Those um, design rolls were amazing. So, we thought for everybody who has said, look, do you know what, Bix? I've already stocked up on loads of batik fabric. We are going to do this on its own. We weren't supposed to be doing these instructions on their own, but we said, look, after last week's show, I think it's best that we do. We know how amazing Delphine's instructions always are. They are incredibly thorough. Yours will be lovely and glossy and very clear with the pictures. We just photocopied this one. Now, just so you know, this is going to sell out any minute now. We've got less than 30 remaining. Uh, if you've got your barley pops, all that you need is your calico and your tool, which we'll do in a moment. So all of your step-by-step -step instructions, all are there in a beautiful design. Remember, Delphine's very own design. You can find step-by-step -step instructions here uh, at 9.99. We were just talking actually in the last hour about wildflowers and um, a friend of mine who's getting married later in the year, she's doing all of her flowers displays and, uh, and her bouquet with wildflowers and it's just so pretty, it really really is all of her ideas but this, that's what it reminds me of, mm. just all the wildflowers, the yeah. gorgeous colours, gorgeous. Go from the first one which was uh, you know the woodland sort of theme to this one which is just so fresh and bright and summery it's just gorgeous like you're lying down in the grass and looking at all of those colors and flowers love it okay instructions less than 20 now instructions less than 20 grab them whilst you can at nine pounds 99 i have asked the question already because i don't think we've got enough of these to go around individually as i know so many bought the but so many of you bought the barley pops last week um we cannot add more instructions today. Maybe in the future we'll be able to get more, but today, once they are gone, they are gone. So grab what you can. They'll only be available in the kits. Once this show was put together, we didn't know that Neil was going to do what he did on the boutiques. So absolutely make the most of it whilst you can. And in those design roles, you've got so much fabric, so much fabric that you're going to be able to do, oh, confetti quilting for days. Right, they will sell out. We'll keep you updated on the quantity of your instructions on their own. Now, very, very quickly, before we go for it, anybody who has got the instructions on their own and has already got their barley pops, Calico by the half metre. 
I mean, this sells like hotcakes whenever it comes into stock anyway. It's so useful just to have yeah. calico in your stash. I love working with calico. I think it's a lovely fabric to work with. I think it's nice for, for toy yeah. making, actually, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And like you say, just doing these type of projects, that's how I made that cushion all from calico. Yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't use any fancy fabrics, and I think it's well, it's just a nice backdrop. Yeah. Absolutely. Message from Pam. Hi, Pam. Love Delphine's project. She's so talented. Oh, thank you. Honestly, that's, that's what we tell her every single day. Although, no, I heard Elliot today go, oh, that's rubbish at Delphine. That's rubbish. <laughs> and then he had to follow up with, I'm only joking. I'm obviously only joking because they're so amazing. But, um, yeah, she's done it again. Very, very talented. We're so lucky to have her. In fact, we saw... Um, there's a festival that's going on in our uh, in our local area, and Kat said she saw an advert for it, and we looked through it. It was all your photos, but you can't do this festival no, now. No, I've, I've, I've had to I've had to pull out of Art in the Park, unfortunately. Uh, too busy, and uh, you know, I've, so I've got a really busy week this week, and then of course the boys are off, so I don't want to overstretch myself. Yeah. But my work will still be there, uh, but it will just be with the galleries. I just won't be there right. independently. Right. Yeah. Well, as I say, it's a massive event. It's a it huge event. It's a huge event. Really good event. And yeah. whose pictures do they use to show off their multimedia I know, to promo crazy. it, Delphine's. Yeah. I mean, we're so lucky to have her here. So absolutely, make the most of all these projects. This half metre of calico is £2.49. Will this be enough to be able to do the cushion and the background? Oh, yeah, loads. Plenty. Yeah. Plenty. Brilliant. Sue, so, I think I might have to have a go at this. I'll go for it, Sue. It's honestly, well, Delphine will show us in a second how easy it is as well, um, how we're all going to be able to do it. Just grab your kits. Um, if you do want the tulle individually. Now, this is really, 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 really lovely tulle as well. I, um, it's really wide, it's really wide. If anybody is making little, there's so much that you can do with tulle mm. and we never ever have it on air, obviously for confetti cutting, which is great, um, but it is bridal veil tulle. I made my own veil for my wedding, uh, just literally out of tulle like this. And a veil is literally just a circle, but it doesn't fray. So it's great if you're doing things like little tutus or ballerina skirts. There's lots of lovely embellishing that you can do if you make, if you, in fact, you know the Sunday stroll quilt? Yeah. You could put like a bit of tulle around yeah. the skirt. So, yeah, we said that on air, didn't we? About putting some um, little lace or some tulle all around the bottom of the skirts. That would look really pretty. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you get yourself uh, some of this just in stock, because it isn't something that we have every day on the website anyway, Whilst we've got it in, we've got it in for confetti quilting. Go for it. Hi, Trisha. Trisha's messaged in. Please, can you show the difference between the brights versus the, uh, the darks? Yeah, I can. Absolutely. So I'll bring them both into the, the camera shot so you can see. The cushion is bright. The picture is darks. I know it's, it, it's um, Trisha. It's a bit... They're very similar. If I show you them in, can we show them like that? That's it. Brights, darks. So you've got more of the greens, can you see there? That's your darks, it's still lovely and bright. This one's your brights. Brights are these. Darks are the picture, just so you can see them next to each other. Which side? Brights are the cushion. Oh no, I'm just going to get so confused with this. <laughs> darks is the picture. There's your graphic for the darks. Okay, it's only 27.99. Such good value for money as well. Very little difference. Just go for it. They'll they both look beautiful. Whichever one you manage to get. Fantastic. Right, Delphine. I'm so sorry. Uh, just before we come to you on the website, there is a mega bundle of all of these batiks. So if this is a technique that you want to just go for and, and make loads and loads of projects if you love working with batiks. Oh, thanks, Linda. Linda just put love, love, love sewing street. We love, 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 love you, Linda. Look at all these fabrics. Oh, batik crazy. 63.99 for your artisan barley batiks, traditionally hand dyed in barley. Beautiful patterns, look at that one. Mm. Butterfly wings. 
Uh, right, they are available also by the half meter on the web. Uh, it's nearly 25 past. Don't have time to run through them, unfortunately, but we want to spend as much time as we possibly can with Delphine. Uh, Trisha has just said, thank you. I want both kits now. <laughs> Bad <laughs> Delphine. <laughs> you spending temptress. Oh, get them both. Get them both. Treat yourself. Yes. <laughs> get them both. Go for it. Right. Where do we start, Delphine? Right. OK. So um, for your first time confetti quilting, you want to keep the area quite small. This is what I mean when it says it's really good for a beginner's project. But also you're, it's going to go so far because you are going to start quite on a, quite a small piece of fabric. Um, if you go too big too soon, you're going to get it everywhere and it will you just want to make sure that you get the confidence with it first. So all I've done is I've got a bit of wadding, I think this is a bit of 80-20, and I've cut out the, the, the size that I wanted the uh, of the calico, and I've given it a press. So just have that uh, all ready to go. Make sure that you make it a little, uh, the wadding's a little bit bigger all the way around, just in case it moves around when it's sewing. So pop that to one side. Now, start off with the, the, the darker, um, pieces of your of your, of your batik. Now, when it comes to anything that we do with art, you don't have to have, you don't th have to think the grass has to be green. Have pink grass if you want, it doesn't matter. So just choose the colours that you like. So all I'm going to do is just cut a small, a small section. I'm just going to cut that bit off, I don't want that bit. So uh, all the measurements and things are all in the instructions, but I just quickly, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So, so all I'm doing, is making a mess for Elliot. <laughs> so you're going to make sure you need a really sharp blade. I was going to say, can you do this with scissors? You can do. Um, it's a lot easier this way. And I'm not doing, I'm, as you can see with my hand, I'm not going really, really straight because I want these, these blades of grass to be all jagged. and So you'll keep doing that. Oh my gosh, you've really sort of sliced that there. Yeah, and so you've left with your confetti. And then put that to one side or into a little bowl. So make sure you close the windows and turned off your aircon units, otherwise it's <laughs> going to go everywhere. So I think I'll have a little bit of this one. Oh, so he's going to have fun with the hoover later. <laughs> yeah, you need your duster buster handy, Elliot. This is grass as well, so you're yep. doing this with a few different colours. Yeah. So you definitely want to mix it up, because if you don't mix up the colours, you won't get any of the shade or the highlights, and you, it will just look a bit flat. So the more colours, the better. So I've chosen two different colours for my flowers, but I want maybe three for my grass. So this is lovely, look at this one. Oh, Elizabeth, honestly, the amount of suggestions that we get through for Delphine's work, it's crazy. Um, she's said that she's suggested a robin, cushion, wall hanging. Okay, but I'll put it on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she says, I love Delphine's work. Aw, thank you. Yeah, we'll talk about the process of all the different Delphine uh, PK projects though. We've got uh, a whole hour at 12 o'clock where we're going to be rounding up lots of different kits. There we go. So you're not using your ruler with this? No, you don't need a ruler. This is what's the beauty of this. Um, but it, do it a bit at a time because you don't want to... Like I said, you don't need an awful lot of it. But you'll see in a minute why I... So Are you keeping all those colours separate? Uh, yeah, so I've kept those in three little pies separate. So okay. while I'm here, actually, I think I'm going to make my the flower confetti as well. So it's almost like you're creating a little paint palette of fabric. Mm -hmm. So, so what are these going to be flowers? So these do you want to pick one of the flowers. brighter ones, or still? yeah, definitely go yeah. brighter. So I really like that orange as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of that. So with this one. This is where you do want it to be quite small. So first go one way and then go on a diagonal. Seems a shame to chop it all up, doesn't it? Because it's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous though. All those colours together. I don't think you could do this with just like a printed fabric because you don't get the amount of colours that you get no. with with the batik in such an array. They're so rich and bright. It's uh, 
And because the blends of the colours mm -hmm. work so well, it's almost like you've got 20 plus different fabrics, you know, because you've got all these different, you know, with the pink and the orange and the green. You oh, know. you're spoiled for choice, aren't you, with these fat quarter packs? So that's my flowers. So I'll just... Would you believe Daphne's working with the dark colours here? which is your main graphics. Your side graphic is the brights, which is still very, very popular. Well, all of them are really popular now. It's the second ever confetti quilting show. The first one was back in January, so I know there's a lot of people who have been waiting for our second edition. In fact, um, lots of messages coming through, people who have booked on to your quilting, oh, your they? confetti quilting workshop this week. Oh, it'll be a breeze for them then. Be easy. But I will be giving different variations so people can do different things. So It's when you're in a workshop environment and you're doing something like this and everyone's got pretty much the same materials and, you know, the same brief to follow, but everyone's will be completely different and so unique. I'd love to see, you know, some of our um, really sort of regulated quilters doing this random deb who's not very good at doing random i mean this looks so scary that you you know <laughs> not using the ruler no just going for it it'd be so good i bet it's quite liberating actually, oh it is it? <laughs> but because you're using such small amounts of fabric you know it doesn't really matter if you go no. wrong you know you can come out with play around with different ideas there we go so i've got like my little paint palette in front of me here look these are all of my lovely colors fabric. so if you have got it i definitely recommend giving it a quick spray. I'm just going to use this early one. Because uh, it, all it will do is just help stop them from moving around too much when you're pinning. So you just spray the it. calico all the watching? I'm spraying the calico. Okay. I'm just giving it oh, a light yeah. spray. Oh, so that's good. Because you want it yeah. to be just a little bit tacky. So only, only a tiny little bit. So then, always go with your darker colour first because light paint always sticks to dark paint. And the same with fabrics because you want that shade to come through. So you just take, and this is your grass, so you want to lay this down first. And it's really quick how it comes together. See, that's a really good blade of grass. There we go. Ooh. And so, good morning both. Love your work, Delphine. You are so talented. Aww. Just finished your tree of life. That's Levan. Oh, send us a picture. So you just lay them all across. Right, so you're not doing this in any particular order. It doesn't all need to be all facing completely vertically. No, it's grass, isn't it? So you can have it all facing whatever way you like, really. Let me just... It's really fun to do. It's really good to do with kids as well, you know, oh, especially yeah, in the summer idea. holidays. Oh, summer holidays. It's very difficult keeping them entertained for six weeks. It is, yeah. Bless them. Yeah, because they've had enough. They've not. It's not like they've had enough time off from school, oh is no. it? No. Uh, Sue's asked, "Is the quilting spray the same as five oh five? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's just different brands. Just the different June Taylor brand. is the early bird special today, so um, it's twelve pound forty nine. And that, from our sort of experience, yeah, it's, it is very, very similar indeed to the five oh five, with a two pound saving today, though. So just going all the way around the bottom. You can always cut a bit more if you want to. But don't be afraid to let a bit of the fabric shine through as well. You know, the calico. But as you can see, I'm not really to being too fussy about where I'm putting the, my pieces at the moment. I'll get a bit fussier in a minute though, but at the moment it's... Just give it a little tap as you go along. I know, some people have probably chewed in and they think, what is she doing to that fabric? Well, Sue did say, I think I might use an old cutting board to slap uh, like that. I've, yeah, I've got two cutting boards, one for messy for what I, when I do this, um, when, I cut with, when I use fleece or anything like that, and then I've used a, uh, a, a clean cutting board for piecing. There we go. I wonder... Margaret, she is our um, our own, very own Bob Ross. We call you Bob Ross on Sewing Street, <laughs> don't know. we? That's True funny. artist. And Michaela said, hello, ladies. I can honestly say I could watch Delphine's demos all day. Aww. I watch them live and record them to watch again later. 
Oh, bless her. Her explanations are clear and concise and so easy to follow. And Delphine, you are very talented. Aww. You can Thank play her Is that one of your family? Uh, yeah, that's one family, of my, yeah, your friends that's probably my best mate, Bex. <laughs> so when you start with the second one, sort of head for the gaps a little bit. Any ones that have got a bit of a flat edge on like that, just take off and just give it a slice. Oh yeah, so if they've got like a squared top, yeah. Just slice it again so it's more like a grass, grass cutting. I'm cutting the grass. Oh, my mum's bought me a lawnmower as my house oh, present. Yeah, a I, good present. I said to her, you need to come and show me how to use it. And she went, oh, you can't use it because you're, it's an electric one. She was like, you'll go over the wire or something. I was like, no, <laughs> you just I'll need do. to show me how to do it. I've never cut the grass. I've never had any grass to cut. But the poor man who lived in our house for 20 years prior devoted his life to the garden. So the next door neighbour said, just so you know, John had cut the front lawn like all the time he'd have the lines in it. I was like, no pressure or anything for me. <laughs> I've got to learn how to do all my cutting in around the edge of the front lawn and everything. I can't wait to come and see you. Oh no, I can't wait to see it either, Delphine. <laughs> it's like a building site at the moment, but the garden's the only thing that's gorgeous. There we go, so that's the two, the two layers instructions on their own have a course sold out the only way of getting the instructions now are in the kits and trust me grab the kits because you get so much fabric in there you're definitely going to be able to use it for lots of projects yeah definitely because you know you only this is the only fabric i'll ever use for confetti quilting so if you have that now like the projects going forward as well you'll always have it Oh, Joan, what a lovely message. Joan, we'll show the email address. You just put, hi, Vic and Delphine. I love your demos. She says, you've really inspired me. I took up sewing again after 27 years, um, after I lost my husband. How do oh. I send in a photo? Uh, I've made a cushion from your summer stroll uh, collection, which is from Joan in an Eaton. Thanks, Joan. Oh, thank you. Definitely send a picture. We'd love to see them. Absolutely. Sewing Street, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. If you can email it, Joan, then we'll show it to um, Delphine on the show. Everybody send in your photos you Delphine makes. We love it. Have you got any of the confetti quilting ones from January? Back in January, there were a, a few people put some on their Facebook page and they were stunning. They were, they were better than mine. Really, you know, really good. Do you know, like you said, everybody has the same um, kits and yet everybody's will be different. It's great, isn't it? There we go. May I ask, what do you need to use the veil for? Oh, the, yeah, the tool. You'll see, Susan, it's coming. There we go. So I could play around with that all day, but I know that I'm against the clock, but it's... Uh, well, that looks great as anyway. <laughs> so now, so that's all my grass. And now this is the fun bit. This is where the confetti comes in. So you're going to get your colours. And you sprinkle it all. This is where Elliot's probably sweating, thinking, no, don't get it all on the floor. <laughs> he says, I give up with you, Delphine. He <laughs> says, I give up with you. I've accepted that you're just messy. <laughs> so you build up the colour. <gasps> These look lovely. Give it a little tap, give it a little glue down. And How long does that 505 last for? Do you ever need to like sort of respray it? No, oh, sorry, no the, um, I wouldn't respray spray. now because obviously it will just the spray will just make everything. Whew. So we'll just move a few bits around. What you do want is you want a couple of these little Bits is it's almost like they're floating around in in the wind. Okay, so now I've done that colour. What I would do now is the light, and then I'll show you how to do the flowers. This looks incredible, doesn't it? And it's something that I wish you know we should do a show when you say that it's, it's suitable. For, you know, I should have one as well, and we yeah, do definitely, it together. yeah. Because it's something I look at and think, right, oh, I can, we'll have I to can do actually that. do this. I think I could do it. Elliot couldn't handle the mess from both of us, I don't think. But I'd love, yeah, I'd love to have a go at this. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do 
there's any of your little grass that you've got left. Put a few more of those over the top. So you want a few sticking out. And now for your flowers, the other bit there. There we go. Oh no, that needs a point. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm just going to take a little bit more. Sorry, I'm just off the camera here. I'll just cut a few tiny bits off. So now I'll go a little bit bigger. I love how you just go for it. You've <laughs> no fear. That's the whole fun of it, though, isn't it? So now you want to create some little flowers. So sort of stick them on. So these are a little bit bigger. There you go. And give it a little centre. Uh, I mean, to say that you can do the most spectacular, look at that. I mean, it just looks incredible, doesn't it? They don't all need to be petal shapes. You don't need to sit with a little pair of scissors cutting out petal shapes. No. In fact, you don't do that at all. No, you don't want to do that. It's, um, it would look a bit, it will lose its effect, I think. So I'll put a couple more there. That one can have an orange centre there. Have you done hand sewing on the top as well? So I've done a little bit, yeah. yeah. Nice. I've, I've also given you a guide in the instructions of the different stitches I've used, how, exactly how I've put my embroidery on and everything. But obviously, I've only, when I've time to do all that today, I can only really show you this bit. But And then you could also start with a little point at the top. And these could be like little lavender. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's good, isn't she? <laughs> oh, I bet she said, good morning, ladies. Lovely shows. Delphine is so talented. All her projects are amazing. Aww, they're Could you bunch. use voil instead of tulle? Uh, you, uh, no. You, it's too close of a weave, isn't it? It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's too close. You also want, like, it's almost like, you will be sewing over the top of it, but you can also tear it away. Or, and if you put it onto the whole thing, it wouldn't look right. No. Let me have one more lavender one, so it's, it, so it's not too symmetrical. We don't want to be too symmetrical. What was it that we used with Alison Marion's um, applique? Reverse, oh, it was like organza, wasn't it? No, the tool is, is perfect for it. Uh, you two are a great combo this morning, bright and inspirational. Is that us or is that the project's bright and inspirational? Ah, <gasps> oh, have stocked up and checked out. Going to make calico confetti duffel bags. Oh, Thank lovely. You. Oh, brilliant. Oh, you must send them in once you've done it. Right, a nice little sprinkle. Right, so now just have one or two going up in there, but not too much. So tidy it all up a little bit. But you do want one or two just going off in the wind. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, so now you'll take... Right, so the tool that you get is a lot, isn't it? You get oh, a really you get, wide piece. Yeah, so I've already trimmed this down. Susan, this is where your tool comes in. And then give it a press. And loads and loads of pins. Loads of pins. And that's not like you, Delphine. No. <laughs> I know I had to struggle to find mine. Because <laughs> I'm just not a pin. Well, she picked these up and she went, what are these? I said, they're pins, Delphine. <laughs> no, you don't use them very often, but they are what pins look like. I said, no, these are the magic pins. I promised her they'll start doing tricks in a minute. Magic tricks. <laughs> and I was actually looking at you, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, she was like, um... <laughs> yeah, it was the shadow applique. That's what I was thinking, Alison. Okay, so I am going to just be pinning this for the next couple of minutes, but it's really important that you pin it well. So, first of all, pin all around the sides. Get some good pins. Have we got any of these magic pins left? Because I remember John Scott was on about them the other day, and uh, uh, yeah, he was absolutely loving these pins. I think they sold out, to be honest, in his show. We've got a picture, whilst Delphine's pinning, we've got a picture from Dawn. Oh, it is in a confetti quilt. I need to give you a warning, it's an 
Uh, I need to give you a HC warning. It's the Highland Cow. Hi, Delphine and Vicky. Oh, the wow. Oh, this is cool. That is really inventive. I love them. Thanks for all the inspiration. Added a photo to show my attempts of making the cow. Your attempts? That is amazing. That is awesome. Awesome. I love the one over the brick wall. Yeah, that's really cute. And then all the flowers with what looks like all different suede. Oh, it's got a flower in the hair. Yeah. Oh, well done. That's awesome. This is oh. a great thing, isn't it? Everybody, you know, just taking your designs and then going even further and, uh, and coming up with their own Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? And seeing what other people make. It's just like, I've said it from the beginning, it's the best part. You know, it's, it's, you know, I'm just giving you the ideas and it's quite nice to see people's, you know, adaptations of what you've come up with. And half the time I'm like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, Sue, Sue just said, feeling delicate this morning after my birthday. Oh, you dear. calm, gentle demo is just what's needed this morning. So um, we're trying to have a nice calm morning today because Delphine's got a very, very busy week. First of all, so we just decided let's have a calm one. Happy birthday, though, and um, have no sympathy for you as it was self-inflicted, So No sympathy, but happy birthday. Yeah, uh, Elliot's saying, Are you have over on a, on a party on a Monday night. You go, girl. Go, <laughs> girl. Um, oh. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. There's loads of lovely messages coming in. My, my um, it looks like a what, Linda? Oh. Hello, Neil. Hello. I've just been saying about Neil of what he did last week. You didn't know that this confetti show was on, did you? When you when you did what you did with the uh, the barley pops? No. Everybody who got the barley pops, we got the perfect project for you. Perfect project. Hello, we've got a little friend in as well. Two little friends. Well, lots of little friends. <laughs> Do you want to come and say hello? Yeah. Girl, come and say hello. Oh, love him. Yeah. I love your What's top. What's your name? Yeah. Ewan, come say hello. <laughs> Run, Will. And Will. <laughs> hey, well, Will's no. been on the telly before. Have you been on the telly before, yeah. Ewan? Yeah. How are you both? Uh, Jolly good. Jolly good. Have you been on your bikes? Yeah. I've got kids on Friday. You got what, sorry? Gears, you got gears oh. on your bike. Amazing. We've just been saying that your dad is going to fly us to America to go to the quilt show because he loves aeroplanes like you, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying your summer holidays? Uh, yeah. What have you got planned? Do you like <laughs> when your dad brings you into work, makes you do lots of work? It makes me go mad. Oh, does he? <laughs> he makes us go mad as well. He does make us go mad as well. Come on then. <laughs> anyway, wave to the camera. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Chicken. Funky yeah. chicken. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> <laughs> They're both dancing out the studio. Aww. Oh, what adorable boys. Yeah. <laughs> you need to bring your lads in as well, don't you, Charlie oh, and Louis? I will one day. I'll have to bring them in. But Louis came in once to see John once and he wouldn't stop talking. Did and he then... come on the telly? Uh, no, it was in the break, and John was. Uh, oh, was he, him him? he was making him manager. do jobs, and, oh. uh, and he was just turning around, and he was just walking around, following him with his fabric, and he was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bless him!" Oh, I like that little boy's t-shirt with the. Uh, with his planes on. Yeah, with his red arrow t-shirt. So, there we go. There we are. Put a few more pins in, but you take your time on this bit. This is the one bit that you really do need to take your time with your pin in to get it right. Okay, so that, that'll do for now because I haven't got much longer. Right, there we are. So pin all the way around, pin around the flowers and put another, another few things in here. Now, there's two ways of doing this. On one of the, of the, the cushion, I used a normal foot. My picture, I use free motion. Mm -hmm. So you choose whichever way to go. Um, if you are using uh, free motion, make sure you just check your machines uh, manufacturers instructions and stuff because everyone's is a little bit different um, but if you're using a normal straight stitch just put in a nice bright color I've got a nice green in here start in the middle and work your way out so all we're going to do is go in like wiggly lines which you can achieve on a normal straight stitch machine you don't need it to be uh, dead straight you know you can weave it in a bit so I'll just going to show you how we go along Take your pins out as you go along. You don't want to. That's what's quite it. good about these pins is that you can see them really clearly, can't you? 
So, uh, update from Hungover Sue. She said, Elliot, as in self employed, I felt quite at ease reporting myself to the boss. So, if I was doing this free motion, I'll just be going up and down like that. But because I'm not doing it free motion today, you just keep your needle in, turn it round, and then do wiggly lines in the grass. Take those pins out. Maury's asked, is there anything else that she needs? She's ordered the quilt kit that's the main graphics, um, the darks. She said, what else do I need? So I suppose as long as you've got a sewing machine and pins. Sewing machine, pins, and you know, and if you want to add any extra bits to it, you know, get yourself some nice embroidery skeins and loads of different colours. You know, you could embellish it with buttons or beads or... Well, you don't need to embellish it at all. It, it's just, again, I'm just showing you the ideas. Mm, I do love on the artwork, the um, their little bicones that you put on, like the little frosty bicones and beads and things. They're lovely. Have a good rummage on the Jewellery Maker website. Our sister channel has got loads of seed beads and... Chirovsky crystals, little bicones, they're lovely. Or if you've got any of the, the light effects embroidery thread that we sometimes mm -hmm. stock, if it, you know, sewing tiny little crosses, you know, or little stars on there to give it a bit, a bit of shine. Well, it has such lovely texture, doesn't it? So adding loads of French knots and embroidery, and it looks like you've done little um, bees and uh, yeah. things like that. It looks so yeah. pretty. I said if you had the little bee buttons or anything yeah. like that, that would look really nice. So all this is doing is trapping all of that fabric and stopping any of it from moving around. If you did free motion, would yep. it be random or curvy lines? Just, just going forward and back, but with a little bit of a wobble. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? <laughs> Technical terms, Sue. With a, with a little bit of a wobble. I know, Sue, haven't they? Another Sue has just said, uh, my, haven't they grown? I met the boys at the warehouse closing down for sewing quarter. Oh, they have, haven't they? You say Donna sent in a message as well. Oh, she sent in a picture. Oof. I've not made too much of a mess today. Elliot said he'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Yvonne will. I might have to uh, extend the break slightly for Yvonne. <laughs> have to tidy it all up for her. I've no idea where today's going. It's going so quick, isn't it, Cat? We've only got about five minutes left, Delphine. Is that all? Oh, that's gone quick. So I'll show you the, the, this half. Just as Delphine's going back and forth, have a look at this picture from Donna. Um, Donna has made the Tasha Tiger in monochrome fabrics. I mean, it looks amazing, Bryce, but look at this in monochrome. Oh, wow, look at that. <gasps> oh. <laughs> have we got the um, Tasha Tiger later at 12? We've got the cushion, we've got the cushion. It just shows, doesn't it, as well, the, the reverse, how amazing it it's looks so that you cool. do both. Yeah. Very dramatic. I love it. Absolutely love it. Donna, that's amazing. Thank you for sending yeah, well me the photo. Thank you. If you've got any questions for Delphine about um, about confetti quilting, the next couple of minutes, get them in on Facebook. What date? Remind us, Kat, the first confetti quilting introduction show that we did was the 10th of January. Thank you. The 10th of January. So on that show, um, can you remember what you covered? Did you do any of the hand stitching bits? Uh, on that one, the, the, I didn't do any hand stitching on that one, but I, what you do do, what is different on that one is that there is um, some templates in the back oh, yeah, for you to do the trees on the top. So uh, that you just, if you're going to do that, you just probably need a little bit of bond web or some interfacing if right. you're going to do that one, just to trace over the trees. But um, no, there, yeah, there was no hand embroidery on that one. But if you've watched any of my needle felt demos, I use the same stitches. And in your instructions, you say you give. I've given them all. Well. Yeah. 
and I've got loads of photographs as well of literally how and where I place the different stitches. You know, I've done little daisies, I've done little bullion knots, French knots. Um, yeah, can you see on this one, Elliot? I don't know whether you, where your camera is at the moment, but um, on here you can see all of those. What are these ones? You know the long blue ones that you've done? The bullion knots. They're called bullion knots. Yeah. They look amazing. These ones. They're bullion knots. You've obviously got all your French knots around. And how have you created the little, um, like, bees? So all I've done with those is French knots, but put them all together. Oh, nice. So if you just put them in like a little cluster. They look like, well, obviously, the centre of your flowers, but then they also look like little um, bees, don't they? Yeah, I mean, so just making them like a little cluster of, of knots in different colours. A so question from Emma. Hi, ladies. Will the elephant cushion instructions be back? We've got the wall hanging today. We've got the wall hanging. We haven't got the cushion. Um, we will ask. We will find out and ask for you. But I do love all of the different embroidery on today. Uh, Marcy has also asked, how far apart are the lines for quilting? They are about a quarter of an inch. About a quarter of an inch. Depending on how many... So if you do the, cut your um, pieces really fine, you know, it, even though if you went S smaller than that the colours will still shine through so the sewing here it's it, okay I am doing like blades of grass but it's not there for the I'm not doing the sewing for it to take away from the the, the, the oh what am I trying to say the fabric is doing the job yeah that's what you're aiming to, the, for it to stand out so I, even though I am using a green thread, you won't, you can't really no, see it. No, you can't see. I was thinking that you can't see, see the stitching really. It's just more to hold your fabrics in place. Yeah. So the finer your pieces of fabric, obviously, make it a little bit smaller. Um, but but otherwise, it's you could probably get away with half an inch. But when you catch it from the light, so the, I think there was a photograph I took of it in the garden that. The, depending on where you, you're stood or where the light catches the quilt or the, the cushion, you can see the quilting and mm. that gives it a really nice 3D effect. So depending on which way you look at it, depending on the light, you're going to have a different uh, result. Nice. Um, so when you do catch it from the light, it looks, it, like you say, it, it's... Really three-dimensional. Yeah, really and exciting. loads of texture. That's what you want to achieve. So... All of this fabric, I mean, it's not going to fall out, is it? If you don't do, if you've got to do enough stitches to make sure it does hold so, it in place. Enough yeah, points. so all I tend to do, I'll just sew up this one and I'll take it off and I'll show you what I mean. Um, let me just come back up. So obviously at home you'd um, take your time and do along each bit. But what I'll do then, I don't know if you can really see it, but all of that. Because I have got a wadding underneath it, it is three di it, it is, oh, there you go. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, it's given it even more texture. So it's given it even more texture and it feels lovely. So what you'll do then is go around each of the flowers. Again, you can do it free motion or with a straight stitch. I use like a pink thread and you just go around. But don't worry about coming off onto the calico because that will just give it even more texture and just make it look really, really pretty. And then what I'll do is sew down the side and the bottom and up, up again, but I wouldn't sew the top bit. What you do then is get, ideally if you've got some, some applique scissors, because you can get nice and close, and I'll trim away all of the, the tool from, from up here and around the flowers. One or two bits will fall out, but because you want to keep these little stitches here, uh, these little pieces here, what I'll do is just sew a, on the machine just a couple of stitches just to hold them in place. And then once you've trimmed it all away, you give it a shake and then you're good to go. Your applique yeah. scissors are just sixteen ninety nine. they're available. You can see there on the cushion where Delphine's then trimmed it all away all around your main sort of part and then this is all made with the calico isn't it yeah it's Brilliant. all made from calico the, yeah the cushion fantastic thank you no so problem. so much i know that's a bit of a pit stop how long are your workshops are they an hour uh, the, I think these are, I think you've got about three hours, I think, for the competitive Gosh, book. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't because it? Because you'll get to finish it and you, uh, I'll, I can go through different stitches and, you oh, know, so great. we can embellish as well. 
Oh, yeah. great. Those of you that are on it, I'm really jealous. That would be really fun. Um, so, thank you very much. You're we'll welcome, see you in another lovely. hour from now. Yes. We'll see you at 12. Go and have another coffee. Yeah. Um, we'll be back with a huge roundup, including some of the cushions that you can see in the background there on Delphine's uh, shelf. We have got coming up. Grab them on pre order. Right, whilst Delphine's quickly skadoodling for Yvonne, we've got the darks. The Ducks, two kits, the only way of getting the instructions now, the instructions on their own have completely sold out. Um, you get five fat quarters plus you get a fat quarter of calico and a fat quarter of tulle, which is lovely and uh, wide. But look at these amazing, beautiful boutiques. Don't let the name put you off. Don't think, oh, they're going to be darker. They're still beautiful and bright. One of uh, Delphine's favourites. It's the one that she was just working with, so you can see how lovely and bright it is. And then depending on what colours you use on your embroidery skeins, if you want to use embroidery skein or buttons or beads, then that will change the look again completely. But these ones are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You use, obviously, a, such a small amount of fabric, this will go such a long way. Delphine was saying with these fabrics, you probably have to do 10 of these. All you need to add is more of your tulle and more of your calico. Um, great to see loads of new customers as well joining in on this project. It's completely different lovely. and, yeah, really lovely. Whether you're an expert quilter or a brand new quilter, if you're brand new to sewing, this is such a great project, especially to do with children as well. We love it. Just get a bit creative, really fun. Something to do, um, yeah, through the summer holidays. Love that. That's the, the darks, believe it or not. And then this is the bright. So you have your instructions, which we always say, Delphine's instructions are amazing. You'll get the nice glossy version. Um, Joe said, try to send a picture of the cushion, but it, it won't send them. I'm doing something wrong. Studio at sewingstreets.com is the email address, Joan. We'll show it before the end of the hour. There you go. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, so you've got all five of these fat quarters, plus you've got your calico and you've got your tulle, plus Delphine's instructions for just £27.99. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Okay, we've got to go. We've got Yvonne. We've got Yvonne. Have a look at the mega bundle that's on the website. These are all as well by the half metre. The calico's by the half metre. The tools by the half metre. So have a look on the website. Uh, don't go anywhere because we're on row four of the Village Fabric Sew Along. So stay with us. We're coming back with Yvonne McAtamini right after this. It's the event we've all been waiting for. We are bringing the festival to you right in your living room. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and join us from Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August as we bring you six days packed with quilting. Everything that you might miss if you can't make Festival of Quilts this year and more with quilts from William Morris, Kay Fassett, Village Street Row a Month and brand new guest, Chris English, the improv quilter. Learn a new quilting technique such as confetti quilting and stock up on your favourite quilting cottons from designers such as Kay Fassett, Liberty and Moda. All this and more from 8am to 1pm on Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello, welcome back to a manic day here at Sewing Street. And um, we're just the, the good thing about having office staff here today in the uh, all here is that I've just said to Haley, is there any way we can try and get more of the instructions as Delphine's here? So if anybody who missed the confetti quilting instructions, if you missed out, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted by twelve o'clock. Okay, are we ready for row four? It's been ages and ages since I've been with lovely Yvonne, and um, I know how busy uh, this uh, sew along has been. So already people have been buying on pre-order and lots of comments. Over half the stock has actually gone already on pre-order. Uh, if you haven't started the sew along, don't worry. What we can do is we can go back and we'll uh, make sure that everybody gets kitted out with the, uh, the first couple of months. So row four we will start with though, which is this one. It's the houses today. Don't worry, we are gonna talk through everything with Yvonne. We will go through exactly what you get in the kit with Yvonne, but as always they're packaged beautifully from Village Fabrics with all of the fabrics plus instructions. Uh, you can see here on the picture we've just isolated the row so you have all of the fabrics there needed to be able to to make row four. Lovely achievable row for anybody who maybe is making their first big quilt sew along with everybody and with the community and with Yvonne uh, as we go. So 31 pounds and 99 pence and inside let's open it up let's open it up i love that i mean avon is always with all of their kits that village fabrics put together very particular about the fabrics that are used so much so that this one actually looks like rooftop tiles that is attention to detail absolute attention to detail uh, so you've got all of your really lovely quilting weight cottons different colours, different sizes, all the cuts ready to go. Uh, your sky as well for your background, it's gonna match in with all of the other rows that are gonna be coming up in the next few months. Plus, you're getting Avon's instructions as well, which, my word, are very thorough indeed. So, you've got the picture obviously at the front there, all of your cutting instructions. Uh, obviously there are 
different houses in here, so different blocks, which means we're learning more skills. We're learning lots of different blocks, but it is all here in diagrams and in text on your instructions. Plus, jot down today's date. When you get this home, 27th of August, you'll be able to watch back the show on YouTube. So that's £31.99, £31.99. Plus, if you've got any questions for Yvonne, it's definitely worth getting them in whilst she's physically here in the studio uh, and we hopefully will be able to answer any of your questions. <laughs> now, before we go over to Yvonne, Kat, do you want to go through the other rows just in case there's anybody who's tuning in? Like me, it might be your first show of, of seeing the, the block of the month. I can't believe we finally got our hands on one. John Scott's normally hogging them all, isn't he? <laughs> so the first one that you get is a bit of a bumper pack, actually, because the first uh, the first block of the month is actually two rows. So you have the first row here and the second row, which is the one with the cat on. But it's very versatile. Uh, I know the, the quilt that, uh, that Yvonne's been hand. working on, oh. she's put some butterflies on. You can change it up. Here we go. In fact, I can show yeah. you here. So block one, or row one, I should say, row one and row two, you can either do a cat, you could do butterflies like here, like Yvonne has done. So the first one, as I said, is a double edition. It's rows one and row two at a special price of $49.99. I love row one because you're learning that very traditional, very classic block as a quilter, your log cabin, but all different variations and how different fabric placements can change the look completely. But it is one of the sort of staple blocks to know as a quilter and you'll probably see it time and time again in different quilting patterns and they look amazing with different fabrics. And then obviously row two with your fence here. Uh, the end result is going to look amazing, isn't it? Once you've completed and you've learnt so many different blocks and so many different skills along the way. And it spreads the cost. I know quilt kits can be very, very expensive. So month by month, it's just achievable, isn't it? Um, to be able to know that you'll be able to complete it before the next show starts or the next row, but also uh, financially, hopefully, be able to, to budget it as well. There's no rush. Uh, there's no rush. You know that Yvonne isn't going to be there going, right, you've got to be on row three now. You can always watch these shows back on YouTube, of course. So if you do want to, to, to uh, start the, the row of the month, then it isn't too late. You can still do it. So that's row one and two. Can you tell me the date, Kat, of when Yvonne was here? It was the 18th of May. 18th of May, if you want to watch the very first show back. In fact, uh, Elliot has very, very kindly put them together into a playlist. So you'll be able to find them very, very easily. Um, so all the shows are isolated on their own. So you'll be able to find them really, really easily. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Elliot. So that's row one, uh, well, one, row one and row two. We've then done row three, which is your flowers. So this one, another new technique is applique, your raw edge applique. Uh, inside, once again, you get everything you need. I should have shown you in that first bumper pack, you get loads and loads and loads. I know Yvonne goes through it in detail on that first show if you want to watch it back. This is just a bit of a recap. So here you get everything that you need for the next row, row three, which is the flower bed. It also includes your threads, which you can see are matching colours. Absolutely perfect to be able to do all of your raw edge applique blanket stitch. You don't need to go out and find the right colours in your stash. I spot a bit of Liberty in there as well. Uh, I know that Yvonne is very, very particular in the fabrics that she selects for all of the kits. So you, you are getting fantastic uh, value for money at £32.99. Right. So today, row four, let's go for it, Yvonne, because I know there's loads to show you on this. How are you? Thank I, you for, uh, for for being here. I know you got I, here really early this I, I did. No, I'm, I'm pretty good, thank you. Okay. I, it's great to see a bit of sunshine and it's good to see you. Thank you. Well, it's lovely to be back with yeah. you. It's been months and months. Well, it has. Um, but anyway, here we are. And this is the houses row. And in this particular row, uh, pack you don't have any additional products you simply have fabric and eight pages of instruction okay um, it's 
as always, I like to go through the instructions with you, basically tell you how to use them, how I have used them whenever I have been making the second row for uh, this project. Mm -hmm. So you have two houses of which you make two. So house one and house six in the row are the same block. The tall houses are rows two, are houses two and five, and then the two central houses are different. So you are making four different blocks, so this really is increasing your skill level. Some of the pieces are relatively small. In the tall houses, you do have quite little squares there. You also, uh, on the house number four, is also called thrif thrifty variation. So it's a very traditional block and it's using up little uh, little small squares. Yeah. Then we have some half square triangles and the two on the end. This is called Brave World, this particular block. And you have triangles and squares mixed together. So you have eight pages of instruction and one picture. And I confess I have found a mistake. So if you if you're doing this, can you just take out a piece of paper and make note of the fact that we have under the blue sky, we have asked you to cut three and a half inch squares. You actually only need to cut two and a half inch squares for the roof ends for the, uh, it's the fair and square block. So it's this particular block here and it's these two pieces here. Even if you forget, the three and a half is too big, so that is fine. Yeah. You just trim it back. But um, I was quite impressed that that was the only mistake I found whenever I went through nine pages of instruction. <laughs> so um, what I'd like to uh, do now is to show you initially how to make the roofs, because the same principle is used for each of the roofs and then move on to make three of the block houses. So the first thing that you need to make sure is that, as Vicky said, the fabrics, the red fabric and the grey fabric, actually look like little tiles. Oh, that's yeah? brilliant, isn't it? So you do need to make sure they're going the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So that uh, keeps it simple. Um, some of the houses have chimneys, some do not. To make a chimney, you are simply adding a square into a line of sky. Yvonne, how do we know which fabrics are for which part? Are there a bit of a key? Because they're all different size fabrics, aren't they? Because on page one, back page one, you have grey. It oh, will fantastic. tell you to cut so many pieces and that is the roof for the Brave World block. Fantastic. Okay, Just step by step come down through the instructions. Um, I would, I think, how, well how I did this is I cut, um, I cut everything and bagged them up right. into individual little packs and that's what, you, what I have sitting here. Right, so would you recommend my... doing all of your cutting as a bit of a production line at the I, start? I think I, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and do it whenever you haven't had your first glass of wine of the day <laughs> because it is quite a comprehensive list. Um, there's quite a few pieces to cut. So she's talking to you. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting old and grumpy. I can say <laughs> these things, can't I? So um, then let's get back to the, the, the roofs of the houses. So obviously a roof goes narrower at the top than at the bottom, so make sure that you have your fabric with its little tiles heading down the way. And all you're going to do is to place a square on either end. I have drawn a line across the, cent across the diagonal of that square, just using a Frixian pen. Okay, just do it again. Um, if you are I, this is where I like a small ruler. It's just easier to manoeuvre. And just to double check that you are actually going through the diagonal, line up your 45 degree angle on your ruler across 
your diagonal, okay? This is going to be your sewing line in this instance, not a cutting line, <laughs> sewing line. Okay. Right, as I move to the sewing machine, this immediately makes me think, now that you have sewn rows one, two, and three, it's time to have a new needle in your sewing machine. So the pack that we put in month one, get another new need, get a new needle out. It's time to replace the needle. You will have sewn enough at this point that your needle is going to be blunt. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So um, you have your uh, sewing machine at a two point four two five two six, whatever the calibration is on your stitch length and you're sewing on the line, so that makes it easy. Okay. Um, now you are going to cut away the excess. And again, whenever you have smaller pieces, it is easier to use a smaller ruler. And I um, have suggested that if you, if you can, if you, have one of these um, rotating mats. They're really very useful whenever you are cutting these smaller pieces. I was first uh, told that this was called a Boston revolver and it's <laughs> okay. always stuck in my mind so it's really hard to say it's, you know, it's a turntable but Boston revolver's just got such a, a ring to it, doesn't it? Um, it does make it easier whenever oh. you have these smaller pieces. Well, some of the just... angles that I end up putting my body oh, in to yeah, try and cut you're... away from myself. Yeah, you're is... actually walking around the table, yeah. aren't you? Because um, rotary cutters are sharp, or if they're not sharp, they should be because it makes it more difficult to do accurate cutting. Um, so I'm Again, I have to create the seam allowance, so I'm cutting a quarter of an inch away from the line I've just sewn. The good thing about these rulers, actually, is, is that it's that frosted little part, isn't it? So you can just put the frosted edge, that quarter of an inch. Yeah, I suppose. So, you know, I yeah. never really... My eyesight's not that good, <laughs> I think, Vicky. Uh, but the, the little grippers on the back, um, you know, yeah. really make it a lot easier. Um, I now need to find the iron, which, yep, that's good. And all I'm going to do now is to press that open. So you've checked that your tiles are going the right way, so they're going down towards the wider bit of the roof. Right, so you're, uh, you're pressing towards the blue, towards the sky. I am. I am. And in the, this particular roof is a grey roof so it is the roof that is for this end house or this end house okay and this then goes across the top okay. your chimney and your chimney did you say we've got a photo come through cat hi lynn lynn sent in a photo what a beautiful photograph oh look at the outside there lynn where do you live is this Lynn by the sea? Oh my word, right. Your front garden as well is spectacular, Lynn. She's put, hi Vicky and Yvonne, here's my quilt so far. I'm now looking forward to receiving the fourth row. I'm really enjoying making this quilt, Yvonne. Yvonne is a very talented lady and it's, um, it's good that she is talking us through all the different techniques for quilting. I'm loving it. It was so lovely to have a, a, a little chat with Yvonne too on the phone. Oh, oh, thank yeah, you for yeah, all at uh, Sewing Street for doing a grand job. Love, Lynn, by the sea in Cornwall. It's been a while, Lynn. Honestly, your garden. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And your quilt, obviously, and your sewing. Your quilt looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It goes really well with your... Uh, it blends in bl very <laughs> well. Well done, Lynn. Keep up the good work. Claudia has also asked a question for you, Yvonne. Okay. Um, it says, hi ladies, I'm doing this and wondered if we could if we could sew all the rows together already as as we finish them. Um, um, okay, yeah, I have, I, have, I have an answer for that. Um, no problem with you sewing row one to row two and then row three onto row, onto the uh, to the first two rows. So sew the first three rows together, not a problem. What I don't want you to do is to do that throughout. Um, I think we can sew the houses on, um, but by the time we are to here, 
That's us about halfway up. And at that point, I think, no, don't add row five on. Let's make the other half ah. do seven, six, and five. So and sew those, together. those together, then we'll sew the, uh, the central seam across the middle. Okay. Now, there is a reason for that. It's because we have a lot of seams to actually, if we can, match up between row seven and row six. And it's going to be much easier if you only have those two rows. So rows one, two, three, four, so together, not a problem. But then wait, wait, okay? Hey, thanks for that. Good question. That's okay. Um, it's a it's a very sensible question to to have asked. And Is I'm there a particular saying, way you need to press this upon? Well, I'm just pressing it up to the sky again because. Um, most seams actually tell you which way they want to go. They do talk to you, don't they? They do. And I just am aiming for as flat as I can get. So we have one roof, roof, roofs made. <laughs> and this is the same principle for each of the roofs across the, the row. That's the easy bit, okay? So we, we're gentling ourselves into this. And you have, um, in the, you have a little set of diagrams just here that shows you what I've just done, yeah? I've got another question from Anne, if that's okay, Vaughan. I'm, I'm a woman, I'm multi, I can, yeah, I can, you can multitask. what's the word, I can multitask. <laughs> Hi ladies, Vaughan, is, is there extra fabric in the packs for dodgy cuttings? Uh, no, but give me a call and if it's gone horribly wrong, we will be able to sort the problem out. We have allowed some, but not, not a huge error, I've got so to say. So just be mindful when you're cutting. Be yeah, mindful. because we've had to cut a very large number of these kits. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, and it's really been a matter of being sensible with our fabric supplies. If you have any problem, you get in touch and we will deal with it. As um, we, We've chatted to a, a few people. <laughs> Uh, all very positive, um, so I'm, I'm not complaining. So this is um, now Brave World block, and this is houses one and six in the configuration we have in the quilt. I think it's the first time I've seen this block. It's lovely, isn't it? I, it's one of my favourites. I, if I can work this in somewhere, it gets worked in. So you have... Um, Pieces A, Bs and Cs, you have lights, mediums and darks and that's what makes this work. And this is um, half of the block, okay? So this is actually the bottom half of the block. Then you have a large triangle and you have a square and you have two little triangles, okay? It gives it like a windmill effect, It does. It? But it's an interesting windmill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, with a square. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, whenever you are sewing something like this together, you want to have probably used a little bit of the best press. Yeah, some best press, because you have uh, diagonals and you don't want these to stretch. The pieces are relatively small. Whenever it comes to sewing a triangle to a square you start sewing from your corner so what you're not having to guess where you should be starting on the point so you start in the in a corner oh derek i bet yvonne will know the answer to this oh. yvonne talking about needles yeah derek said my needle is currently making a bit of a popping noise as it sews he says is it because my needle is too big or is it because it's blunt he says i'm asking around and i'm getting various answers um if it is punching as opposed to piercing, right. which are two kind of different noises, if it's punching through, then it's blunt. Um, I wouldn't have thought it's because it's too big. Mm -hmm. it does depend what fabric is going through, of mm -hmm. course. I would suggest it's blunt, put a new needle in, and if it's still making the popping noise, then you know, move on to the next step on the, uh, in the diagnostics, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Message from Mary as well. Lots of lovely messages for Yvonne coming in. 
Just literally finishing my PK row of flowers. I'm new to quilting, looking forward to meeting the team in St uh, Stormont Hotel. Stormont Hotel in Belfast. Right, oh. is this your quilting? This is, yeah, this is whenever Cross. I'm not doing anything else. Right. Yeah, um, my, my friend Margaret and Helen, uh, the three of us, uh, all, all from Northern Ireland, though, um, well, Margaret's we actually know. a New Zealander, oh, right. so that just complicates things, but she's been married to uh, an Ulster man for many, many years. Um, we decided it was time to uh, organise a show in Belfast, and we aimed to do this in March 2020, and of course things didn't quite pan out as we had expected. But we have now rearranged and all is well. My ferry is booked and I'm... So you have a date? Is booked. The, so set, booked. the doors are opening at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, the 2nd of September. Brilliant. We're going to be there the Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 10 o'clock through to, to 6 o'clock because we wanted to make sure that everyone had a fair opportunity to wander around should we have... Because uh, we want to keep people safe. That's our, you know, yeah. um, I was thinking about it the other evening. I thought, how can I actually tell people this is going to be safe? And what I thought to myself was, I'm actually going to be trading there, as is Margaret. So Village Fabrics will have a stand. Now, do you really think I'm going to go there if it's not safe? Mm. I'm not going to put myself at risk if things aren't safe. So ladies, that's the, the biggest endorsement I can make to you that this is going to be safe. Mm -hmm. We've been working very closely with the hotel and the Northern Irish government has just been, like in uh, England, has been uh, easing up on the restrictions. There's lots of access. Lovely. And, uh, you know, we're just, I'm so looking forward to seeing oh. real people. How can I'm, we get tickets for it then? Go to, go village, to our website. No, fabrics. no, we're going to quiltfair.com. Oh, okay. Because uh, Village Fabrics isn't in the business of organising shows. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a step too far. But with our, with this uh, company that I have formed with Helen and Margaret, Helen is doing such sterling work behind the scenes for us. Um, that is where you need to go to buy your tickets and they're available currently. Oh, how exciting. Oh, it's wonderful. How and exciting. You, there you go. That's the website that you need to go to. Yeah, yeah. And what I'm really so happy to be able to say is that Sewing Street are, are sponsoring us. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and I've just been talking with Haley B and there's going to be a few uh, surprises at the show for uh, for people and uh, well we'll see what happens next year oh, as well brilliant. so um, you know couldn't say thank you a big enough thank you to Sewing Street for doing that for us just getting uh, the word out on social media um, etc and I'm just so looking forward to going to talk to people that spin that sound like me it's going to be <laughs> wonderful um, it's the one place in the world that I go um, with my children and people turn around and look at their accent yeah. and not mine. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's just wonderful. Um, really looking forward to, to catching up with, with lots of people. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thanks for your message. Thank you. Yeah, um, we, we've had such support from uh, lots of people. Um, and the Northern Irish Patchwork Guild are putting on a display for us. Oh, brilliant. Um, we're going to have um, an area that we're going to call schoolhouse. Sorry, I, it seems as though I can't talk and press at the same time. Oh, what's happened to this multitasking of on? Well, you, I know. You I claimed. Know. I think probably it's time <laughs> it's for a telly. banana or something, isn't it? It's, it's telly. Um, there we go. So I've gotten my nice little quarter of an inch between the corner of my, between here and here so that I should all uh, join up very nicely. Yeah, going to cut those ears off. But at, um, at Quilt Fair, we're going to have an area called Schoolhouse. And we had planned that we would be able to run classes. We don't think it's safe to do that just yet. So instead of um, having people sitting in an area being taught, we're going to have an open area where it's going to be free for anyone who comes 
to just stop by and listen to somebody talking about something. Oh, great. I love those. And I know for for sure that I'm going to be there talking about, um, about stuff. It'll probably be some of my, my pet irritants. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to be talking about needles and threads. Um, maybe do a couple of demos on Christmas things. I know, uh, I know Margaret will also do some. Now Margaret is a fabric affair. So she has the wonderful Donegal tweed and it's, it's wool. So mm. how you work with it is slightly different. Um, you need to be, uh, you know, slightly bigger seam alliances and this kind of thing. So she'll be talking about that. Sounds a fab event, sounds great. Well, I, I just can't wait. You know, I know I'm going to be absolutely exhausted, but it's going to be oh, such so good it. fun. Such good fun. Um, uh, Nikki Foley is going to talk about her, she's going to uh, bring some of her quilts, some of her Irish quilts with her and talk about those. Um, Stephanie Green uh, from Greenacre, she, she will talk about something. Uh, we, and she said, just tell me what you want me to do. So she's going to be talking about something. And so it goes on. We, um, Margaret and I have known each other for years. And we're very fortunate that we also know an awful lot of traders for a lot of years. So they've been very supportive. Um, right, I think I'm going to turn that that way. So because I have more seams on on this side, yeah, I'm going to press towards the bigger triangle, just yeah. to reduce the bulk. Just to yeah, basically, uh, it's going to just sit that little bit better. Okay. So. Anyone just tuning in, by the way, this is row four. You can still get rows one, uh, one two, and three um, if you do want to, to make the most of it. Have a look on the website. Um, they will be able to help you if, you. if you want to speak to the customer service team also, they can help, of course. Okay. So looking at the time, I think I'm just going to sew these two together and set this down so that you can see how the block will look because then we will have actually machined a half of the completed of how the block looks yeah because remember you get two um houses you so you make two of these blocks yeah two of the tall ones and then the two in the center are different blocks again yeah. so you're learning loads of skills aren't you oh this? there's lots of block making here and the finished block sizes they're about six and a half inch squares they they've um yeah, I think they're six and a half inch squares. Um, so, I now have one of those, yeah? And that then has that set atop it. And, nice. And pieces down the side, okay? So that's what that is going to look like. Now, obviously, this needs to all joined together in the middle so you're going to put your seams in opposition to each other so then they nest together oh you've been learning we're a learning. lot you? <laughs> we're learning along with you oh. and if when you put your pins in if you put your pins in through the seam allowances that keeps them flat and forces the seams to nest together okay if your pins aren't straight, then your seams aren't straight. Okay, so you want them to look like that. Pin on either side. I say this is as much as I'm going to do because I want to move on to show you um, the other two blocks. Yeah, we've got about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so that, and as I, by magic, it's going to look like that. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was great, just like magic. It? Yeah, just like magic. Here's what we prepared earlier. Oh. A little Blue Peter moment. Oh, absolutely. I'm as old as Blue Peter is. <laughs> so let me show you. This is a thrifty variation. So that's the one with the little tiny squares. It has a red roof. And I just... So you only make one of these? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Well Again, time. at the head of the page, it will tell you how many to make. So let me 
go to the correct page and there we are. This is house number four in the area that we have, um, um, then the, uh, the lineup we have here. House number four, thrifty variation, make one. Okay. Okay. We try and be as methodical as we can. This one has a red roof. So same principle, this one doesn't have a chimney. And it has a direction again, doesn't yeah, it? Absolutely, <laughs> and you can possibly see a little clearer on the on the red one. I don't know, but yeah. It, the uh, little tiles. Little tiles, just make sure your tiles are going the right way, otherwise um, it could be a bit iffy. So this uh, block is made in three rows. Um, you're going to start by making the little four patch. So this is where, these pieces are quite small, so you have this sort of uh, light uh, mushroomy colour and you have the jade. So four patches for the corners, um, got to gotta be sure that your quarter inches, quarter inch seam is pretty accurate for this. Claire, I was going to ask this as well, actually, but I didn't want to. I know that we're short on time, but um, last time I was watching you with John, I heard you saying about your flooring. Oh, my flooring. How is your oh, okay. floor? Oh, hang on a minute. Something strange has happened to my needle. Oh, no. Well, my silk method. Right. Well, my floor has dried out. Okay. And I have a date of the 13th of September. No, no it sounds no, like. Uh, yeah. Is your bobbing gone or? I'm not a hundred percent sure what has happened. Something has If you need a new tangled. needle, we can get you a new needle. No, I haven't broken anything. I just think that um, thread's got itself tangled. So, um, 13th of September, I'm going to have all my, my dining room and my extended kitchen is all going to have a proper floor. Oh, what is happening currently is I'm um, I'm being painted. So as I am here, I have a guy uh, painting all the pieces that were, that was either a new extension or that has been affected by the extension. So, um, Oh, it's, it's, I feel like you, this has been going on for a long time now, Yvonne, hasn't it? Well, it has, but I tell you what, they've been really good company through, through lockdown. Yeah. You know, because um, builders uh, were fortunate enough to be allowed to continue working. Um, but uh, yes, it has been nice to have the house back to myself. And of course, this needle just does not want to thread, does it? Um... I think there is a th little threader on the side of that one, but oh, uh, cat saying I don't believe in needle threaders. Well, I don't believe. Um... Just whilst you're doing that, anyway, let's have a quick recap on the um, on the kit. So the the row four, which is the one that we're looking at today, as always. It, it, it's packed with all of the fabrics that you need, um, cut perfectly, so you can see exactly which ones you use for which there's a bit of a key in there as well it'll tell you which uh, what to cut of what color basically uh, so you've got your roof tops you've got your background your sky you've got your blue you've got your teal uh, your spot there's all of those fabrics plus and we're, half, we're about halfway through once we've done this row aren't we halfway through and you've got then eight pages of instructions for this one row how amazing is that very, very thorough. Hold your hand all the way through. Um, and of course, you've got the demo from today to be able to watch back as well. There's plenty of diagrams as well as text. If you've not yet started the, the quilt, don't worry. You can still buy rows one, two and three. One and two are a bumper pack to start with, uh, which is this one. You have everything that you need, including... Did you say there were needles in here as well to start you yeah. off? There, there is thread, um, there are needles, and I think we put a quick unpick as it in as well. Oh, great, 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 great. If you're starting a, qu uh, yeah, you did. If you're starting yeah. um, any quilting project, it's always useful, isn't it? Well, you I'm, I always bang on about co uh, cotton threads, uh, like with like, so natural fibres. So we thought, let's put the threads in so that people will have them. Perfect. And 
people are very, well, they're unaware of how important it is to have a sharp needle in their sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thought, right, let's uh, add that as a, so that there are no excuses, basically. <laughs> Fantastic. Plus you sort of welcome, welcome little brochure at the start as well, your hints yeah. and tips. tips. Yeah. Uh, keep hold of that. Plus then, uh, obviously, you've got the, the second row in there as well. Row three is your applique, uh, which is this one, your applique flower row. Um, because we've used so many different colours for the flowers, we have included, I think it's four. Is it four? Yeah, four different threads, threads. you've got. And yeah. these are all cotton again. So you've yeah. got your teal, your pink, your purple and your green. Because yeah. otherwise you can be rooting through your stash and thinking, I haven't and got the right colour to go with it. it's just not, you know, it's worth getting the right colour. It's a little bit more forgiving. There you go, you've done it for us. $32.99 uh, if you do want to start the row of the month. Um, there is a playlist on YouTube where you can watch all of the shows back with Yvonne. Right, um, are you all sorted? How um, are you getting on? I have... Yeah, I'm just about there because I have I have now finished the... I'm about to sew the four little squares together to get into a four patch. Um, and hopefully I have dealt with the threading the needle and I have also just checked the bobbin. It's worthwhile just taking the time whenever something goes wrong. Don't persevere, just re- have a look what state the bobbin's in and uh, potentially re re thread. Yeah. And it can make a huge difference. So I now have my four patch, which is going to go on to the other side of the two rectangles. So I'm going to. So that, and with a bit of luck, I shall complete this third row on here. Yeah, that sounds much better, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds better. No more clunky, clunky. You can hear it when there's something wrong, can't you? Yeah, it's just like your car. Yeah. Um, so that's going to... And I'm going to press this in away from the four patch in towards the rectangle. And at this point, make sure that you have everything the right way round. Okay, so we're going to be coming out. Yep, that's the way round I want to be. So I'm just going to join that together down there. They're lovely fabrics as well that you've included. They're all lovely quality quilting fabrics, aren't they? Well, well, it makes it so much easier to work with whenever you have everything the same weight yeah. and everything um, stable. Yeah. You know, that the fabrics are not overly stretchy. Okay, so this is the third row on this, right, I'm going to press inward. I always press from the front. Make sure you don't get any little uh, ridges appearing uh, because it'll alter the size of the, the piece. So that's the wrong way round. That's the right way round, okay? So that is what that block is going to look like when it's completed. Now, I haven't time to sew that together. Mm -hmm. um, so I shall set that there. I will do what, what I've been doing all along is I will complete this row. Here I have the roof for, for this one. And I will post it on uh, Sewing Book, no, not Sewing Book. Sewing Book. book. Sewing <laughs> Book Friends. You know yeah, who I mean. Yeah, and the Sewing Street Bats. Sewing Bat. Street Bats, the, that's the beast. Oh, thank you. Um, I've been doing that um, and actually having some uh, some fun conversations with people so this particular block has our half square triangles okay that are sewn together 
Um, with the cream fabric, I would say double check that you actually have the right side of the fabric. Mm -hmm. Then these are going to go along the edges. Okay. So I think I'll have a little press of these. All I have done is sewn the little squares to the to the rectangle and these will form the top and the bottom of the block. Yvonne, is it important to use a dry iron, especially with the smaller pieces, so you don't warp yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I'm not a, a, a lover of steam. Steam is great if you need things to stretch. Mm -hmm. If you don't want them to stretch, um, then don't put steam near what you're working on. And of course, you're pressing, you're not ironing. Right, there's yeah. a difference, isn't there? There is, there is a, a very significant <laughs> difference, especially whenever you would be pressing this seam, for example, ah. because both pieces are on the bias. And if you press along it, you're going to stretch it. If you press across it, you'll be okay. So when somebody brings you a shirt and asks you to iron it whilst you've got the iron out, you say, no, I'm not ironing, I'm pressing. pressing. There is a big difference. <laughs> you have learnt the vital <laughs> words. I actually hate ironing, but it makes such a difference on pressing. I really enjoy the pressing it's a, it's, process. It's of the an sewing. absolutely different, oh, yeah. different thing. I, yeah, I can't say that ironing is one of my favourite things, especially T-shirts. Yeah. I hate doing T-shirts. But there you go. So, um, so I, I would just say that this uh, this program is a week later than it was scheduled to be because of clearance last week. Oh, yeah. But the next row is scheduled um, for the seventeenth of August. So okay. it's basically back in the same position in the month as it was. Um, so that just so that everyone knows Get when to diary. tune in, yeah. And I don't know why I managed to do this, but it is actually my birthday. On the 17th of August? On the 17th of oh, August. Oh, brilliant! So, um... Do you know who you're on with? Do you know who's here the 17th of August, Cat? We need to bring some cake in then. Well, I'm sure John and Hannah will be organising oh, well, the cake yeah, for Well, you who then. knows? Who knows? But uh, just as a... It, at least I know which day it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm back next week. How are you? Oh, well, it's either a feast or a famine. Yeah, you like the buses. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have half square triangles, yeah, that I am now going to sew together to create the other half of that. Can I chunter on a little bit longer? How we get on, Kat? How much... Uh, yeah, we've still got five minutes. I suppose we've, we've spoken about the kits a few times anyway, so you can keep going. Okay, because um, what, um, as, as I make up the, the second quilt, really, I have been trying to do just something a little bit different with them, just to give people ideas. Yeah. So, so like you did the butterfly instead of the cat. What that, are you going to change up with this row? Well... I am not 100% sure, but I thought they don't have to be in the order that we have put them. So I thought I might have a slightly different um, layout of houses. And that is not going to be a problem um, because the uh, whole the whole row still will, will still fit. come to the same mm -hmm. width, which yeah, is that the makes important sense. thing. Yeah, and I just thought, um, go wild, change uh, it up. Absolutely, <laughs> um, and just to encourage people to to think a little bit for themselves. You know, yes, we have done all the hard work. We're supplying you with the colours, the, ins the instructions, the um, uh, the right tools for the job but then it is nice to actually um, put a bit of yourself in now I know that one lady has already added a cat and a dog oh, right. to hers um, and actually quite a multicolored cat and dog and I just thought yeah that's making it your own and 
so just to keep going along, putting a little bit of yourself in. Now, next time's row is the foundation piece trees and the shop. Hang on, we've got FPP in this quilt, foundation paper piecing. Yeah. <gasps> oh my word. Well, this is a, a learn as you go, isn't it? And we're oh, try, if we we're, can we that. really are trying to put different techniques in so that people are, are learning but creating something that uh, they're going to be very proud Is of. Has the shop got um, more applique in as well? What's the shop yes. block? Yeah. Yes. Now, that is going to go on the side. Okay. That's on the side. That's on the side. That's across the bottom. And that's on the top. Amazing. So we ha I haven't made as much of this as I thought I might, but I do have some finished, a couple of finished ones here, and I thought it would be nice to just... Yeah, we can lay them out. And see. Just have a little bit of a... So that um, is where we would have started before, but how about having the two sort of terraced houses on, on the, the edge? edge? Or having these two together, and I, then I think I would have that. Then I might well let these stay in the middle, but then I would have the second one. Oh, I'm running out of roofs and things here. Yeah, let me just move the sewing machine a little bit. But you see, just you kind of get in a different character. Um, it is important, I think, that you uh, make sure that you are balance, balancing the red roofs. Mm, yeah. Because they do, the red does pull your eye in quicker than uh, most things. So let's put that there. And then, so I think that might be how mine, my houses go in the end. Yeah, we'll see it on the like, uh, on the Facebook page then. Yeah, Fantastic. so something something like that along the way. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very very much. Well, you're most welcome. Do something different then next week. What are you doing next week? I am doing uh, a lap quilt. I'm going to uh, do a, it's a Moda fabric lap quilt called uh, Kansas Serenade. I'm going to revisit the uh, the seal boats that we did a little while back because. There were just a few ifs and buts and things that happened that day. Okay. Uh, it was the day you moved channels. Oh. It was uh, not as straightforward as it might have been. Oh, so we'll bring particular. that back for anyone who missed it. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Lovely to see you. It's so lovely to see you. And if I don't see you, have a lovely birthday then next oh, month. Thank you. And fingers <laughs> crossed, next time I see you, you will have a floor. Yeah. It'll all be decorated. I'll have been to Belfast and back. Yes, you'll have had an amazing time at your uh, at your yeah. show as well. So, oh, oh, thank uh, you ever so much. Thank most, you. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Yvonne. Right, do make sure you check out your baskets on row four. Very, very, very busy today. We're going to come back with Delphine with loads of projects, doing a huge roundup. Plus, did you miss the quilt uh, confetti quilting instructions? We've managed to get more in stock. Stay with us. We're going to be launching them right after this. It's the event we've all been waiting for. We are bringing the festival to you right in your living room. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and join us from Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August as we bring you six days packed with quilting. Everything that you might miss if you can't make Festival of Quilts this year and more with quilts from William Morris, Kay Fassett, Village Street Row a Month and brand new guest, Chris English, the Improv Quilter. Learn a new quilting technique such as confetti quilting and stock up on your favourite quilting cottons from designers such as Kay Fassett, Liberty and Moda. All this and more from 8am to 1pm on Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. In 
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P &P all day. It's the event we've all been waiting for. We are bringing the festival to you right in your living room. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea and join us from Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August 
as we bring you six days packed with quilting. Everything that you might miss if you can't make Festival of Quilts this year and more with quilts from William Morris, Kay Fassett, Village Street Row a Month and brand new guest, Chris English, the improv quilter. Learn a new quilting technique such as confetti quilting and stock up on your favourite quilting cottons from designers such as Kay Fassett, Liberty and Moda. All this and more from 8am to 1pm on Tuesday the 27th of July to Sunday the 1st of August on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Ah, oh, how are we here? How are we here already at 12 o'clock? Thank you so much for your company all day today. Hope you are loving our quilt festival here at Sewing Street. For anybody who hasn't or doesn't get chance to go to a festival of quilts this week, we wanted to bring it to your living room. Uh, now, we have been waiting for so long to do a show like this. Delphine Roundup, the amount of messages we get day in, day out, saying, can you get this one back? Can you get this one back? Can we have this one back in stock? Have you got these instructions? We've managed to get as many as we can uh, back in stock for today. Now, starting with one that literally sold out just a few minutes ago, I just when I spoke to Hayley and I said, please, 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 start of the show. This had sold out within the first 10 minutes or so. So we wanted to bring it back. If you missed the confetti quilting instructions, go for it. You can get them now. There is another 60 available. 60 is not enough to go around. 60 and that is it. Uh, you have got your beautiful instructions, which will come more like this. They'll come all glossy and nice. This is just a photocopy of them. Um, but the, the end effect of the confetti quilting, if you watched the show today at 10 o'clock, oh, it was amazing. It really, really was. The, um, the effect that you get with your batik fabrics is just gorgeous. So everybody who bought, yes, Neil's Barley Pops, we heard all about it. Um, I watched the show, Kat was floor manager that day and she texted me straight away saying, you will never believe what Neil has just done. He always does something a bit sneaky, doesn't he like that? He always pulls something out, out of the bag, doesn't he? I mean, that is ridiculous. So those of you that did get the uh, the barley pops, or if you've got batiks in your stash, then this is the absolute, oh, ultimate project to do with any of your batiks. Have you still got the photograph, Elliot? Or do you want me to get the picture down? Uh, the picture, that, oh, you can make it into a cushion, you can make, make it into um, artwork like you can see here. You can embellish with embroidery, you can embellish with beads and crystals, shaboskis. Do as much or as little embellishment as you want. I mean, even if you don't do any embellishment, because of the, the, the quilting on it and because of how um, th all the fabrics are placed, it gives it lovely texture anyway. Instructions on their own, sold out within minutes in the 10 o'clock show. Uh, we have done some really, only because Delphine is here for one, uh, this isn't normally a roundup show that we do. So to be able to get it in this quickly, it's normally something that would take weeks to be able to get back into stock. So do make the most of it whilst they are here. Um, just so you know, half of the, the newest stock has now gone. If you do want the, um, the confetti quilted instructions, you can still absolutely make the most of them. They are on the website, call the customer service team, whichever way, grab them whilst you can. Just £9.99 for your confetti quilting instructions. 
Oh, I'm so pleased that we managed to do that. I'm so pleased, especially because we're doing a roundup show now. It's perfect. Right. So that was 10 o'clock show. Let's do the tree alive because when we did um, the run through of pre order earlier on, uh, the tree of life said sold out. <laughs> there were loads of you that managed to take it. Another one today that we've managed to be able to get more of. Tree, in life, tree of Life instructions, but they also come with a design. Oh, this is the instructions on their own. We also have kits available. So it started with, did you do this with Barley Pops, yeah. Delphine? I think so, I can't remember now. The Tree of Life <laughs> um, launched. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, it was. When was it? It was literally, I think, the day after I went on maternity leave, if I'm not mistaken. Was it back in um, March? 8th of April, so yeah, I was on maternity leave. Um, I had Maisie on the toilet, didn't I? So I remember watching from home, being like, this is amazing. <laughs> it's a gorgeous design. I remember design. she messaged me, didn't you? Yeah. It's a gorgeous design, isn't it, Delphine? Do you, you must be really proud of this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite pretty proud. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I always um, get nervous about it until I've seen them made up, so. But no, it's I've seen some beautiful, beautiful uh, versions of it. So yeah, really chuffed with that one. Oh, we love it. Absolutely love it. £9.99. I knew it was some sort of special event because look, there's balloons. Was it John Scott's birthday or something? There was definitely something going on. Oh no, his birthday's in June. £9.99 for the instructions on the road. Right, so talk me through your instructions in here. You get all of the templates that you need. Yeah, you? yeah, you get all the templates. I've given you ideas on embroidery as well. Uh, exactly how to make the binding, how to attach the binding and loads and loads of templates as well so you could make it i've even given you extra templates as well that you don't even that, that you don't even see on this tree i've given you extra leaves and um and also it's you, you don't just need all those uh, templates to just make the quilt you can make them into cushions into bags as i've seen lots of different variations using the same template mm. so it's templates that you'll use again and again oh i love it absolutely yeah. love it the tree of life. So many people I know who have um, had to go at this already and posted pictures on the Facebook page. It ju they just look amazing. Uh, if you did get the barley pops with Neil the other day in the clearance at a reduced clearance price, then this is a brilliant project to mm. be able to use those barley pops. And a blue back. I do love the uh, darker dramatic background. It does. It really the... stands out, doesn't it? It's really, really lovely colour. I like, so I like the darker navy background. Love it, absolutely love it. It also comes with, um, well, we've got an option of kits. So if you've got the barley pops, go for the instructions on their own. If you want to do it with CAFE. Oh, amazing. I love all of the CAFE yeah. PK projects that you do. I know that whenever we launch a new one, you'll always ask. Yeah, our CAFE to me cafe. is the the ultimate of uh, a PK fabric. Mm. Yeah. It is, isn't it? I mean, mm. look at imagine with this one. Now, this is the classics. It's the the more of the um, pinks and the reds. Mm. It will look amazing with this, wouldn't Absolutely it? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. And two and a half inch strips. Will we need to piece any of them together for? Um, well, I suppose the tree is. Yeah. Only, together, only you only need to piece together to make the vines and the the trunk base. Uh, but everything else is all individual piece. But I like that because you're going to get the variety. Uh, mm -hmm. If it was just one blank piece, it wouldn't look. It wouldn't have the same effect. No, absolutely. And, uh, and because the the great thing about design rolls is, I mean, it looks all very sort of pinks here, but there's lots of different colours, aren't there? Loads of different yeah. colours, different shades, uh, and also some of the patterns that they've actually put in this are actually quite clever. That you could use for the tails of the um, the tails of the birds, or it, depending on which fabric that you put with each, each little individual flower, it will really lift it as well from the fabric. It's very, very cleverly done, those oh. design rolls. I'm actually allowed to open these, which is just oh, amazing, because look, you need to see how gorgeous these fabrics are. Oh, they are stunning, aren't they? There are 40, yeah, 40 strips. Of CAF gorgeousness. <gasps> You've made loads of Tree of Life of those. Is CAF at the uh, Festival of Quilts, I wonder? I think so, yeah. It's from the classic Equator range from K Facet. And all of those really hot, vibrant colours. I love the, the, the clashes between orange and pinks mm. and reds. It just works, doesn't it? 
every single little, like even just pick out little bits of it as well. So you could pick out some of where the flowers are on the fabric and use those for the centre of the flowers on the template. So, you know, so it gives you lots of different options. It's not just like a one plain colour fabric. Oh my word. Everybody's again is going to look different. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. will be different. Look at that. Oh, but to see it in case though. I need <gasps> to see it in case. Oh, yeah. To have this. Uh, imagine this on the, uh, the, the trunk of your tree or go around the mm. vines. Oh, I love it. Uh, can I also just say we're at forty nine ninety nine? Surely cave design rolls are that price point anyway. We've got them today at forty four ninety nine apparently individually. But there you go, you're getting a discount because your instructions are ten pounds anyway, aren't they? So absolutely make the most of the saving if you're getting the bundle, even if you're thinking of different fabrics, if you've got the barley pops maybe, um, and you want to use those for the, for the tree of life, but you're still, I mean, there's loads of projects today mm. that will give you some inspiration to use the CAFE. It goes such a long way as well, these design rolls, that they do go a really oh, long way, don't you they? You could make all of that, all of those with that. Oh, I love it. The feathers is one of my favourites. That's beautiful. The fans, you've got big floral designs, you've got more of the spots. I just, oh, I love it. $49.99, we've just clocked the price. If you do want the design roll on its own, go for it, it's $44.99 today. I have no idea how we've managed to, to, to um, negotiate these prices because I've seen everywhere else, trust me. Prices of designer fabric, I've seen elsewhere going up. Um, the fact that we've still got them at really, really great prices like this, $44.99, is mm. really good. If you've got any of Delphine's instructions already, I know that, um, I think it's becoming a bit of an addiction, you know. <laughs> Got to keep coming up with more. You do, you do. No rest for you, Delphine. <laughs> oh, Sue's done the Tree of Life already and she said, I'd love to do it again in that design role. Do it, Sue. <gasps> it's gorgeous. If you've already got the instructions, mm. $44.99 for your design roll, and you'll have plenty with leftovers, won't you? Loads, absolutely loads. Like I said, you could do pretty much all the, all the if you've got all those instructions, you'll be able to make it all. Oh, if you've got Daisy, Jerry, all of yeah. them. Oh, I'd love to see Daisy in it. I've not seen Daisy in case. That would look awesome. Oh, look at that. Is there any animal in particular when you see this design role which project do you think that this one lends itself oh. well to well i have made it out of, i have made jerry but i'd also really I've, well i will demo jerry in that in, uh, shortly but oh probably ella ella elephant yeah oh <gasps> tasha oh, no, the um the tiger tiger yeah tasha, tasha. <gasps> Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, all well. of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's CAFE, you know, just, just Yeah. What need what needs to be said? It, it, it does work with all of your projects. It lends itself it, so well to a plique. It, it's like, you know, you, you know, we've uh, worked together a few times now and I always say if you're gonna do the applique, the CAFE is just next level when it comes to applique. Well quite often yeah. every time we do applique actually I will ask you right mm. what fabrics do I need to use if I'm using ones from a stash which ones am I best to use and you'll always say ones with lots of colour different colours. Yeah and always mix it up always mix up pattern and patterns. Different patterns all the different colours and it's done it for you isn't it it's even bought the different shades like the one you've got now that you know it's got the darker shade um, you know and putting that next look you'd think from looking at them individually that they're they won't work, but just look how well they work together. It's it's per, it's just perfect for a plique. It's like he's made it for a PK. Oh, do you know? I've seen some cave quilts that I I would think right. If you were to just make a quilt with these, it'd be too much, and it's not. No, it's really very not. clever, isn't it? Yeah. How it's got the different tones and textures and uh, and prints, scales of prints, yeah. different colours, and they just work. He's a it's fabulous artist, but yeah, there's some. Well, I've I've been eyeing up some quilts in the office made from cave, and they're absolutely stunning. Uh, so this is now your main graphic where you get the instructions as well. So you get the CAIF uh, design role plus you get your Tree of Life instructions. Can we show you the Tree of Life which is behind me? It is gorgeous and obviously all of the colours here, you're gonna, it's going to look as beautiful with, um, with CAIF isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. So is that made out of the uh, batiks? Yeah it is, that's yeah. the batiks. Um, but obviously with your case, it's going to just look as colourful. Love it. We've got another Tree of Life bundle. We could sit talking about 
just this one the whole hour, couldn't yeah. we? So much to, to look at. So the other bundle that we have, I'm so, so sorry that this is what your design role now looks like. Do you know how beautifully it's all presented? I wonder who it is, how they do it to those, I've size. actually seen it made up on YouTube. It's an art form in itself, trying to <gasps> wrap those. Really? Really clever, yeah. Oh, my word. There's a YouTube... I need to get watching that, don't I, for when we finish the show and I have to put it all back. Okay, so the next one is with the blues and the purples. It's called the Emperor colourway. Putting them straight back into the bag so I don't um, misplace them. So, you have your instructions... And this time you have the blues and the purple. Oh, let's open this one up. It's only fair, isn't it, that we have a good dive into this one as well. It just doesn't do it justice. I mean, it looks very satisfying when you see it like this. Um, but when you get it home, oh, open it up. Look at all of the fabrics you're getting. And use it. There was a lady who messaged in earlier saying, Too oh, I've got some it. Willie Morrison. I'm no, it's there you. to be sewn. It's there to be made in something even more beautiful than what it is now. Oh, I can't open it, which is good, because Kat's just said to me, don't open it. Why? It's gone. On its own, is it available? Gone. Sold out on its own. Oh, it is available in the kit, but I can't open it. No, because that's going to somebody. Sorry, that was that was good timing, because I was, could you tell I was struggling to get into that then? Uh, so, this one, it's the same prints, isn't it? Because it's from the uh, same range. But the only difference is the colour. So this time you're getting more of your blues, your purples. What colour background would you use for the Tree of Life with this one, do you think? Because that's more of the blues anyway. Uh, yeah, I'd go for uh, just an ivory background, yeah. I think. Um, you could pick up a little bit of the pink or something like a pale, pale blue, a pale pink. Mm. So it's something with a hint of colour. But you don't want to take away the... Um, you don't want to mute that down, do you? No, no. That would look really dramatic. Actually, with a lighter background. Okay, now we have got other instructions. We've got other cave. We've got more st loads still to bring you. But we do just want to, um, for anybody who hasn't yet seen the Tree of Life, we're just going to do a little mini demo with you. If that's yeah, right. only a little mini demo. I was just looking about pressing this, but I can't find the mic. Anyway. So it's just um, just a little uh, note of how to actually put the, um, the the birds and the flowers together, really. So and also so you can see some of it made up. So as you can see, I didn't. I did go completely random in um, choosing the colours. I just picked out the the um, just one at a time, and I thought that will make that flower. And just to show just how quick, how nicely they all work together. So I just put in a few little. What design role is this then? Is this this one? I think so. Yeah. The blues and the purples. Yeah. The one that I'm not allowed to open. You can see some of the different colours that are available there. Yeah. So just putting them. So whenever I do the tree, the, the tree of life, I like to do things in groups of three, which is why. Let me have see. I should turn them all over the right way because obviously I've already bonded with these. That's that one, and these are all in different. So see what I mean? You could make these into a cushion. If I did, if I was going to do this for a full quilt, I'd be here the full four or five hours. What's the um? What's what? This rule of three. When I was on jury maker the other day, they would say they always do things in threes. Do they? I hear the the rule of three in photography as well. You section it into three thirds, don't you? Is it so? It, from your art background. I don't know. It's just the rule of three. It's just uh, that's just the something I do. I'm sure somebody will will know uh, the answer to that. But no, I just always do it in threes. I don't know. It's, but there, just to show a couple of the uh, colours. So that one. So these come in three. So you, when you draw them out, you always want to make sure that you draw the little bit that goes under the flower slightly larger. So they just tuck under because you don't want them sticking out. Have we got Bonderweb on sale today? Do you know? Is there any in the on the roll? We'll have a look and see if there's any on the website because you will need plenty of Bonderweb with um, all of these beautiful instructions that we got today. It's on the web. It is on the web. You might as well get the roll, eh, Delphine? Oh, don't bother with a small packet. Straight to a roll every time. It's five metres. You, honestly, it's so worth it. If you do love a plique, you will always use this at 23.99. Let's do a few up here, and then I'll show you the little bird. If you do want to uh, watch 
the uh, Tree of Life. It was on the 8th of April, if you want to watch it back. We did do a sort of full demos. In fact, we've done it a couple of times. I've, I've done it twice, yeah. yeah. There's another one. The um, Have I got it under here? Yeah, I've done it a couple of times. Oh, you've done it with a lighter background as well. Oh, yeah. this is good to see, actually. So there's the, the darker background. Let me hold it next to Hold it next to you here. That is gorgeous as well, isn't it? Is that in boutiques as well? Um, yes. Yes, it was. That is gorgeous. <gasps> isn't it? it? Looks completely different again. Same pattern, same templates. But I suppose you can um, play around with. You have put a, a picture sort of placement guide. Yeah, so it's just following the it. pictures, but you can put them wherever you like. Like I said, just doing them here, I'm just um, mixing up, just mixing up the different fabrics and just like as you can see with the uh, just make, play around with the different prints like I have there, just by making a little bird, made the little wing out of the little flower, and you give it a little beak, so tweeting it up. So even if you didn't want to commit to making the full quilt straight away, you could make some really, really pretty That's designs. That's so cool. Uh, Delphine's using the fabrics uh, on the right-hand side of your screen, which is the Emperor design roll. So I'm not going to press these on. I just wanted to give you an idea of, like, every single fabric is different, but it just works. It looks really pretty. I like that little tweedy one. In fact, is it the not the right hand side? It's the left, isn't it? It's the main graphic. Main graphic is emperor. Side graphic is equator, which is your reds and pinks. But there you go. It just gives you an idea of just like how I've really done it random so cool. with the colours, with all the different fabrics. But, but those birds at the bottom. See the flower that uh, you fussy cut, Delphi, and that yeah. looks cool. And then the fans as well. Yeah, the fans as well with the the um, you can mess around with the, the you know with the tail. And there's a few little leaves, but oh, you could you could go crazy with this. It, it, there's so many different projects that you'd be able to use as templates. As I said, there's a lot of templates in there, so and I'll just put those little leaves. It just shows all the different colours. It doesn't give it do it justice, really. Hang on. <laughs> You, you mess with your microphone whilst we uh, all take it out. So, um, that one that Delphine was working with, by the way, is the blues and the greens, which is this one. The design roll on its own is completely sold out, but you might as well get the kit, the value for money on it. You're saving five pounds. Um, normally, the uh, design roll on its own is 44.99 anyway. So, to be able to get the instructions as well, half price, 49.99 make the most of it the equator design roll is still available that's this one with the the pinks and the reds it also comes well actually that's um on its own isn't it yeah the graphics are for on its own there is a, a kit with the instructions but this one is on its own today 44.99 it's brand new brand new in today it's so exciting whenever we get new cafe Pre-cuts, it's very exciting. It's a really exciting day. You've had a bit of a pick of the new pre-cuts, haven't you? I have a little bit. I am quite spoilt, really. When they send me cake, I do jump up and down and make a little have do a little happy dance. Go on, show us your happy dance. <laughs> do that. I'll get you back. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I I can't dance anymore. I'm so scared of going dancing now. I'm How are you? Yeah, I, I've forgotten. I've lost my confidence. I used to be first on the dance floor doing all my routines with single lady routines <laughs> now i'm scared right oh it will be beautiful in the blues absolutely beautiful in the blues as you can see there on delphine's um delphine's project oh the blues and greens right so that's tree of life happy 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 um, I'll update you on stock as we go through. Now, remember the design roles that were individual, so the, the, the pinks and the oranges, they will look amazing with all of these different instructions. Let's do some more kits. Now, we had a picture come through of Tasha the Tiger earlier on in monochrome. It looked amazing. If you want it in these mysterious blues and greens, then this is the Tasha cushion. Now you can see the cushion behind Delphine there actually. And for anybody who is maybe dipping their toe into your projects, this is a nice one because That's there's probably not one of the as many yeah. pieces. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not as, uh, it's, it's very easy for a beginner to do. And uh, like you say, it's, um, it's 
bef before you go to the next step of doing the, the big tasha? Well, I remember the big tasha. I mean, it was it, there's a lot of pieces, aren't in there? In fact, I did the main tasha in purple kaif. Oh, did I you? Think. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. So it'll be very similar to you. Yeah, it would be. Larger yeah. One. Um, and once again, I'm presuming you will have loads of this design. Oh, on yeah. You can make a whole. What what is it when it's a load? Is it a pride of tigers or is that lions? I don't. Know. Um, oh, I love I love knowing all the different collective nouns for animals. They're hilarious, aren't they? Find out what the um, tiger one is, cat. A group of tigers, a streak, or an ambush of tigers. Oh, right. That was that was a quick Google. Yeah, she's very quick on yeah. the phone. She spends enough time on it. A screen time was seven hours. Seven hours. Week. Seven hours a day. A day. Seven hours a day, cat. Well, I, I know that's her that's podcast. Gonna... That's podcast. That is, isn't it? I think. I think my, yeah. I said when I had Maisie, mine went really low down yeah. and now I play white noise on YouTube all night. So it's, yeah, that's hiked it back up again. Really annoyed. <laughs> um, right, so you get your instructions, full instructions again, plus yep. your placement guide yep. and all of your templates. Now these ones, would you cut these out? No, I mean, well, you can cut them out, it. but you could get away with tracing them because it's not too big. So just trace the pieces and then it saves you uh, making a mess of your instructions then. Yeah, absolutely, because you might want to make them again. You've got plenty here to be able to make more. Instructions aren't available on their own today, only in the kit. But if you've got a different fabric in mind, you will always have room for cafe in your collection, always. won't you? Is this the one, the same one as the Tree of Life? So this is not, uh, not available individually either, is it? Instructions we can't do on their own. This is sold out on its own, so the only way of getting it, it or either of them, is in this bundle. Forty nine ninety nine. Again, a brilliant mm. price. Your instructions are supposed to be nine ninety nine. This is supposed to be forty four ninety nine. You do the maths. You can make so many Tasha cushions with this design roll. So many Tasha cushions. Everybody can have a Tasha cushion for Christmas. It's a lot of cushions. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we also have lovely Ella. When did we introduce Ella? Oh, I think it was last year, was it? Gosh, it was ages ago, wasn't it? Ooh. I do remember. Can't believe we're nearly August. It was the 1st of December. Right, okay, wow. Back ages ago. Um, where is Ella? I've got the instructions on their own. Uh, oh, charm pack. They're here. There we go. So, you've got your instructions and you've got your 10 inch charm pack. Ella is a gorgeous one as well. And again, I made Ella using Kaif as well. Was it Tula? I'll have a look, I'll have a look. All of your instructions. I think it was Kaif actually, yeah. these greens. Yeah, yeah, it's Kaif, yeah. They're Kaif, aren't they? Now, ah, right, I remember this one because you were telling me about this colour coordinating, how... Yeah, so you get the full-size templates, but each one's got a little colour on it. So, the, so, for example, the left ear is orange, so you'd always follow the orange line. And if it's the dash, if it goes on a solid line to a dash line, that just means it goes underneath a piece of, uh, of, of, of the fabric. Right, so number four will slide under number one. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so you've got all of your templates. Honestly, it's on such beautiful, thick, glossy paper as well. You'll be able to use these time and time again. The quality of the instruction is amazing. And it's a big wall hanging. I must Ooh. show you the size of it. We had a message come through, sorry. Message come through from Kerry. Whoops, whoops. My little four-year-old is called Ella. I'm going to have to give this a go. Oh, right, we need to call one Hope now yeah, for a little baby. To, yeah. Little baby hope. How are you all? How are you all, Kerry? Look at this. Doesn't it look amazing? In the pinks as well, the pinks and the reds. I'd love to see it in the pink, that would look stunning. That would look gorgeous. Ooh. It's got oranges, there's also, um, there are sort of spearmint greens and pinks in there. Beautiful. So it's this design, but this time we're putting it in the equator colorways. So the same colorways that we saw the two and a half inch strips that we got out earlier on um, in your 10 inch charm pack. Am I allowed to open the cellophane on it? I 
think that we have got the charm pack available on its own today. So if you do want the 10 inch charm pack, I just want to be able to show you uh, some of the prints that you get. Great thing about the 10 inch charm pack is you get to see some of those larger scale bigger. prints. Yeah. And Cave does do some really lovely bigger prints, doesn't he? This is in today, out today, brand new in today. Um, absolutely make the most of this. It is also available on its own for £44.99. That is now your main graphic. Bundle is the, um, the side graphic there. But you're getting two of each design. I think some of them, are, there are more than two. Look at that one. Your daffodils, cave daffodils though, all the different colours. Just like you said earlier on with the confetti coating, Delphine. Your grass doesn't have to be green. It's nice to play with the, the colours and that's what Kaif does. And that's what, you know, that you, 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 it's like art, it's, you know, that's what art is as well, you know, it just because just it's not using paint, we're using fabrics. Um, yeah, and the, well, look at all the quilts. We've just done the Tree of Life out of Batik. You don't walk around yeah. down the street seeing a tree that colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these. I love those ones, that's my favourite one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. And you'll have some of these as well. If, if there's some that you just don't want to cut up to use it in the uh, the project, you'll have plenty in here. Mm. And, it, and it just makes really gorgeous binding as well. Mm. And even then you think, oh, you know, I'm going to use it all. But you only use a tiny bit, really, and you cut it all into strips. Oh, yeah, make nice scrappy binding. Yeah. Oh, definitely scrappy binding. <gasps> Look at that one. Oranges and pinks. There are such beautiful. Now, are there any other of the... Um, Applique projects that you would recommend using a 10 inch charm pack, the larger pieces? The larger ones, um, like I said, we, we definitely we, we used the charm pack when we made the Tasha. Um, Ella, yeah. Tasha, yeah. the Tasha um, quilt. Yeah. The wall hanging. Yeah. But then it's. Look at that one. Because you just cut them up and sewing them together. Oh, that's lovely. That's as lovely as a cushion, isn't it? Just bind it, you know, put a border yeah. on with a spotty one and just make a load of cushions for the garden. Absolutely. That's yeah. what I mean is if there's one that you think, I absolutely love it, I can't bear to cut into it, make yourself a, a bag or a cushion or yeah. wall hanging, embroider on top of it. Yeah, especially on some of the little flowers. Oh, it'd be lovely. £44.99. Plus also, remember, if you do want this charm pack with your instructions, um, the value for money is amazing. You're actually making a five pound saving. So if you do want the Ella instructions to go with, it's the Ella wall hanging. Um, it, it, it is probably, you know, we were saying about the, the Tasha cushion. If you've not done any before, that'd be perfect. Mm. The Ella has more to it, doesn't it? So the if you've Ella done- Ella has more to it, definitely. But again, achievable. Just, um, just take your time, read the instructions carefully and you'll be fine. Especially with Delphine holding your hand, you'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, your instructions, though, are fantastic. You really pride yourself in being extremely thorough. I know there are a lot of instruction sets out there that they just presume that you know everything. Well, that's it. It's like sometimes you can get instructions that just say, make it, you know, like, for example, if you're baking, make a cake. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and what, what are you going to do with that? So sometimes, you know, if, if, you, if you are a, a more experienced um, sewer and you do get my instructions, I do go into quite a lot of depth. Then for some people, they might go, I don't need to read that, but then... That's fine, but it, it, I'd rather give you too much, too much, and that you get to achieve it. Because there's nothing worse going. I can't make it. I can understand the instructions. Yeah. So. And yeah. I'm a visual learner, so that's why I give lots of images and diagrams, just because I find that easier to follow and they keep reading over the same text. I mean, this has got how many pages? This has got loads. I think that's a 24 page print. I think. <gasps> yeah. So it's a book. It's not a book. Oh, hang on, yeah. hang on, hang on. Right. So for this bundle, by the way, this is one of the biggest instruction like manuals. There's so much in here. So, so much in here. Um, and the instructions are still only nine ninety nine on their own. I remember when we launched this, and there were question that you made the decision to not add extra cost to it, even though it costs you more. Yeah, doesn't it? yeah, it does cost me more. But then you know, it's you also want to make it so it's valuable for people to actually buy it. I'd rather. I go without, and there's more Ellas in the world. Oh, yeah. well, this is it. Everybody, this is the reason so many people come back and come back and come back to Delphine's kits and instructions is because they are so thorough. They are fantastic. She, uh, as you can see, she spends so much time making sure that they are absolutely perfection. Photographs, images, text galore. 
so you can read through exactly what to do. Placement guide, your templates are very, very clear. You'll be able to trace off those. And, uh, and it, it's so easy then to, to be able to put together. So you'll just make this up. They're all numbered as well. Yeah, really easy. What date was this on? Can you remember, Kat, off the top of your head? 1st of December. Yeah, yeah. 1st of December. If you do want to watch it back, amazing. Um, instructions on their own, sold out first time round, £9.99 today uh, for all of those templates and instructions from Delphi. Of course, if you do want the kit, value for money, fantastic. The big bumper pack of instructions and templates and your beautiful brand new K-Facet Equator 10-inch charm pack so much fabric okay just spotted the time we will move on to the next instruction set if you if that's all right is this just um oh it's instructions and a design roll right now this is a different design roll. we've not seen this one yet have we so this time we have case still don't you worry this is ocean have you worked with this one before yet uh I think so. I think that's what is I did Ello like in. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. It is. It is. Uh, your greens and your teals. Absolutely gorgeous. Elliot wants to know did you do your happy dance when this one came through the door? Then always, as well? with its cave, always do. Happy dance. <laughs> so you can see here on the um, scrappy binding some of those prints. And all throughout Ella, the prints that you're going to get in this design roll. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So you get your design roll and you get your Jerry the Giraffe instructions. Now, he is gorgeous. You've made him up in Tula in the past as well. I have, yeah. I've done about Jerry three is. or four Jerry's. Yeah. Jerry is gorgeous. Look at his eyes. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to see him in Cave. Can't wait to see him in Cave. Isn't it gorgeous? £44.99. Instructions, very, very thorough indeed as always, and we can actually offer those on their own today. If you do want to do it with the Equator Design Roll, grab the, um, uh, grab the, the pinks on their own. In fact, would I need the 10 inch charms for, for this one, or no? Or if you want to do it in the orange, yeah, definitely the 10 inch, the definitely 10 inch, because it, the, the one thing that you won't need to do is sew any pieces together with that one. Yeah. Equator 10 inch charm pack is there, £44.99 on your screen. Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And you actually did this part, if I'm not wrong with um, felt. Just in a little black you? felt or fabric or whatever, because you, yes. you really want the eyes to stand out. Oh, honestly, his eyes look gorgeous. Those eyelashes, I think, are what I noticed about giraffes actually, is they've always got really, really long eyelashes. Yeah. Eyes. Love them, love them, love them. Um, okay, just before we dive into a demo, are you doing Jerry? Yeah. Just before we do that, we've got Daisy. Daisy the cow, and oh, I love Daisy as well. I can never make up my mind. I know you're in the same boat at home, aren't you? I bet you're thinking, I have no idea which ones I want to do. They're all amazing. Uh, this one is gorgeous as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You did uh, Daisy in more of your, I say monochromes, more of the That's deep blues and yeah, greys. I think there's another colourful one down there. I've got a colourful one here. <laughs> there you go. So this is your 18 inch square cushion this time. There he is. There he is in colourful fabrics. But I mean, again, imagine in Kaif. Yeah, stunning. Daisy's my favourite. I think. Daisy's your favourite, that is so. a statement, Delphine. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just, you know, it's just happy, like it's poking around the fence going, hello. Well, you know, it's just a happy, fun, I don't, I don't know, I like them all, but I don't know, when I designed uh, yeah. Daisy, I just thought it was just pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, just being a bit nosy, having a bit of a, oh, hello. got a bit of personality, yeah. Oh, I love him. It's and Daisy as well, of course. Um, on our walks over lockdown, we live in in the countryside. You see lots see of lovely lots of cows, daisies. lots yeah. of daisies. <laughs> There's a few more pieces to Daisy than the giraffe, so uh, just bear that in mind when you come and sew it together. Okay. There's a couple more pieces, but again, really achievable, as you can see. But I've given you lots of templates and lots of instructions of how it all goes together. 
fantastic loads templates. Mm. Um, there's a review from Fiona, uh, another winner from Delphine. Oh, thank you. Oh, honestly, if you've got any of them, please do review them on uh, FIFO. It is an independent review site that you'll get a link to once you purchase something. So please do uh, send in your reviews. Love the whole range of Delphine's animal cushions. Patterns are well written and easy to follow. That's from oh, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Very, very quickly before we start the demo, we've got one more cave to offer you. Another 10-inch charm pack. This time in the Emperor colorways. Uh, this is with those blues and purple. Now, the design roll completely sold out before I got a chance to open it. If you do want these colours, this is the way to go for it. Um, go, 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 in fact. There's a lot of people who have been checking out on pre-order on the web. Um, these are going to look gorgeous with all of mm. your designs, aren't they? Love purples. I love them all. I can't decide. It's cave. <laughs> Well, you still got the pinks, you still got yeah. the greens, you got the blues. There's something quite mysterious about this one, actually. Yeah. I think this one in Tasha, the tiger. Yeah, is really moody. Cat's thinking it's like under the sea at night. Oh, look at that! You got your night vision goggles on, cat. Have you ever been snorkeling? <laughs> No, she's never been to clip before. 10 inch charm pack, 42 pieces. Oh, they are absolutely gorgeous. All 10 inch cave facet. And it's lovely quality fabric really as well, Really lovely, isn't it? I love these so. That's what I mean, it makes it, it's perfect fabric for a plique. Lovely to, mm. <laughs> lovely to sew with. <laughs> Cat's still getting defensive about the fact that I've shamed her that she hasn't been snorkeling. So she's like, I have been swimming before though. <laughs> Oh, Elliot's already told us that he was a di He actually, you know, so who won the gold for the swimming, the breaststroke swimming yesterday? Oh, PT. Adam PT. Yeah. Adam PT. Um, Elliot used to swim with him yeah, and compete did, yeah. against him. Yeah, it was year, yeah, years ago. It was about 10 years ago. He says it was when we were young. And in fact, he was so good for his age group that he competed with Elliot's age group and there was three years difference. Um, he keeps saying to me, no, it was years ago. No, that's something to hold on to. I was once in, have you heard of a, <laughs> have you ever heard of um, Jack Garrett? He's a singer. No, no, no it's, not, it's not as good as your claim to fame, but Jack Garrett, I once did beat at Junior Eurovision and he's now a really amazing singer-songwriter. I'm not like, surprised, you're, you've got a stunning voice though. No, 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 no. I sang a song called I'm a Groovy Chick and he's now a really right. established <laughs> songwriter. You are a groovy chick. And I beat him. <laughs> I am a groovy chick. <laughs> but anyway, no, that is good Elliot's claim to fame. Shall we do some more demo, please? So we're looking at Jerry. Yeah, I just thought I'd put, I'll show you, show you how to put Jerry together. Again, just showing you how, how he sort of just... I've actually done this in the reverse. So you can do uh, Jerry in the, the exact way I've done it here, where they all face the same way. Or you could just reverse the pattern just by drawing on the other side of the band web. So you can have two looking the same way. So uh, you fold up the neck piece just underneath there. So it's really nice how you see him come together. I can't take the credit for um, for this for this Jerry. I had my friend round helping me, my best mate Bex. Uh, helping Who's me Bex? With... Who's his best friend Bex? What about oh. what about me and Kat? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, she she picks up my kids from school. Oh, okay, <laughs> I haven't done that yet. <laughs> she's like she's like to be to be fair, she's like an auntie to the kids. Oh. She's she's amazing. So you had her cutting out all of your pieces. Yeah, but bless her, she was really taking the time oh. over choosing all oh, that fabric, all that fabric, and she's just so cute. She's lovely. But she, no, she does help me out a lot. This is the Equator Classics, by the way, which is the right-hand side of your graphics that Delphine's got. It's, someone sent in the picture of their Jerry the Giraffe. Hi, Maxine. Oh, thank you for sending this in. Oh, wow, wow, wow. In the leopard print. Oh, prints. wow, that is cool. Hi, my first email and my first attempts at our Delphine's wonderful ideas. Thank you uh, for everything that you do. Oh. You have no idea how important you are to so many people. What a lovely Oh, well. that is a lovely message. Thank you so much. Maxine, they are brilliant as well. Thank you. Oh, lovely. The Highland, the Highland the, cow. The, the, who knew? Who, who knew? knew? <laughs> who knew? <laughs> oh, so these are his ears. I'm just having a cheeky look over my shoulder. 
Yeah, they go there. I think, honestly, we could set up a whole page dedicated to just Delphine's mates <laughs> because whenever I go on the Sewing so Street Facebook fan page, honestly, I scroll, I scroll through and I'm like, oh, there's Delphine's design, my Delphine's design, Delphine's design, Delphine's design, <laughs> the, whether it be the Sunday stroll dress, whether it be any of your applique cushions or wall hangings. There's so many. We love, love, love seeing them all. I love doing it though, you know, it's, um, and I also like, especially, I, I sit there every evening whenever I get the chance to, uh, you know, and I go through them all. I always try and go on every day and have a look what people have made. So always please share your pictures because it does, it does mean an awful lot. And, you know, and it, because it's not just me that puts all this work in, it's also Nick that helps yeah. me as well. So when he does templates and stuff and I show him how good his template work is, you yeah. know, it's quite nice for him yeah. to see as well. We do love the, uh, yeah, we always are, we're all looking at the fan page, we're always looking. I love um, the, the Jerry the Giraffe actually in this colourway, I think this is going to look really, really good. Probably should have pressed as I went, because it's just going to be fiddly and move around. Oh yeah, where's your board? Need to shimmy your board underneath I'll it. Do. it. Did you, Elliot said it was next to you. Is it? Down to your left. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have done that. I haven't peeled the bits off yet. If I get a chance in a sec, I will, but you should get the idea. Hi, Chrissy on the boat. Chrissy sent in a photograph for us. Um, oh, here we go. Chrissy says, I just love watching Delphine's shows. Delphine is such a talented artist and a careful teacher. I've learned so much from watching her. I've enclosed a photograph of my Delphine-inspired dolly bag. Oh, Keep pretty. enjoying your uh, artistry and sharing your superb designs from Chrissy on the boat. Oh, thank you, Chrissy on the boat. Lovely. It's a lovely bag. Thank you. In into the ears. Kat's saying, sorry if I don't get a chance to show your photo. She says, I've had loads come in. We'll make sure that we show Delphine before she goes home. Yeah, we'll always sort of stay around and have a chat, don't we? We do. We've got to book in our next um, girls' night. We do. We've got to bring Elliot there with us, haven't we? Oh, did you not hear <laughs> girls' night, Elliot? <laughs> you don't want to hear us just gossiping about girly things. I don't know. He can, comes out with all sorts, doesn't oh, he? Oh, I know he does. He's... One of the girls. <laughs> yeah, you can come out with us earlier this time. I just love how you know, you haven't even got the placement guide in front of you there. You said you've made Jerry up a few times. I've, no, done, it, I've done him a few times, so I just sort of work it all out. There you go. See how you really do need that little bit of black. So obviously I haven't sewn this down today, but when you do come and sew it, if you didn't see the first demo, if you put a tiny, if you sew a tiny little white to the centre of the eye, that's what makes his eyes come alive. It's only a tiny little detail, but it will it really does make all the difference. Give him some nostrils. Yeah, I am actually going to have to make this one up and give it to Bex. She's just had a garden done, so it'll be nice in the garden. I love these colours. I think they're absolutely amazing. I'll tell you one thing we did do when we were cutting it all out. I said, all he needs now is a straw and a little cocktail. Oh, yeah. And then it will be really cool for just being just being in the garden. So, yeah, you just give all that a little bit of a press, blanket stitch all the way around. And then there you go. There's Jerry. He's going to look stunning in that cutaway. It's all sewn down. But. Yeah, I think a majority of the time, like you said, take sitting, picking the colours and cutting all the pieces out, the actual, you know, placement like this. Do you... Can you do free motion round this as opposed to blanket stitch? Yeah, round? you can do. You can free motion blanket stitch. You can uh, zigzag stitch. You can hand sew it. You could do whatever. You could do whatever you like. Yeah. And then all you will do is use it like you'll give it a little smile with a dark black stitch here. <gasps> and don't really important. Don't forget to put the little bit of the whites in the eyes. That that's what will the glint. The little glint in the eye. To do that, to shorten your stitch length on your zigzag stitch and just go forward and back rather than a straight stitch. So do it with a zigzag stitch. I'd like that on the back of my denim jacket. Yeah. How cool really will that look cool. on the back of a denim jacket? But how stunning in that colourway. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. gorgeous. That is the brand new Equator 10 inch charm pack from Cave Facet. We've waited so long to get new Cave back in stock. Um, there you go. And of course, yeah. we got it in. We're giving it all to Delphine. Delphine yeah. gets the first Bring me all in. the Cave. Yeah. All the Cave. <laughs> 
You have to keep your eyes peeled for Cave this week at festival. Yeah, yeah, I will. Do. I'm sure. I'm sure he's there. I'm sure. Imagine if you meet him. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I bet he will be like Delphine no. Brooks. No. I'll be, it'd be funny if anyone recognises me. Oh, really. you got to get ready. you got to get ready with your autograph. Oh, no. no. Everyone should bring their mates. I know <laughs> that if you t you're taking a lot of things anyway, if you're taking your equipment and things for workshops. But, um, yeah, take your autograph book or your projects for Delphine to sign. Maybe no. instructions that Delphine could sign. <laughs> yeah. Get I'll, be, I'll be so embarrassed. I'll be <laughs> bright red. It's a good job I've got... A Fairly good tan. I'll, I'll ease on the blusher for the weekend, for the week. Just yeah. before you go, Delphine, two more pictures to show you. Um, we've had a message in from lovely Pauline. Pauline said, first attempt at applique. Loved these. Have loads of Delphines to do now. I'm totally hooked. Oh, well done, Pauline. They're lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh, Daisy oh, as Daisy. well is great. I love the solid colour as well on, uh, on Daisy. It just shows mm. you can just, you know, you try different fabric. That's a really clever use of uh, fabric placement, actually. Well done. Yeah, first go at Applica. It's brilliant. Yeah, well very done. impressive. And then... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is awesome, isn't it? I've made them, but a bit nervous of how to quilt them. Oh, any suggestions for Tina? Uh, if you've stitched it down yet, just again, zigzag or blanket stitch, but to quilt... Keep the um, the quilting on Tasha quite minimal because you want the you want the actual um, the plique to stand out more than the stitching. So a very very light maybe stapling free motion or just some straight diagonal lines. That's really cool. A bit like what's on Daisy mm -hmm. with the straight lines. But no, make the make it all about the actual tiger on that one, not the quilting. Uh, we also mm. have a message. Thank you, Tina, for sending in your photograph. A message come through from. Hi, Collector in Merseyside. So much inspiration in the show. I know it's quite overwhelming, isn't it? Thanks, Delphine. Thank you. It's, it has been a whirlwind. So <laughs> I suggest after the show, going back through the website and seeing what's available and just decide what you want to do. We've had brand new kits that we have just put together with brand new CAFE. We've got CAFE individually, instructions on their own, the confetti quilt instructions back. So there's been loads to, to, to choose from. Anne's just said on Facebook, thank you, lovely show all. Delphine, you are so talented. Thanks Aww. for your lovely comments about my Tree of Life quilt. Oh, brilliant, well done. Yes, because it was really impressive. <laughs> That's why you deserve them. Absolutely. Oh, it's so important, isn't it, to share all your mates? It is. It really is. And I think sometimes, you know, I, like I said, I say it all the time, I'll make something and I'm thinking, oh, no, what if no one likes it? And it gives you that bit of confidence as well. And also hints and tips of, you know, just don't be afraid to reach out to other sewers because, you know, I'd like to think that we're all a community and a friendly one at that. So. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I know not, of, not all my friends sew, so it's nice to show them two people who understand yeah. the work that's gone into exactly it as well. Exactly that, yeah. Some, like I say, it, it, always be proud of what you've made yeah. because, you know, if it was easy, everyone would do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my word. It's, it's such yeah. an incredible skill to have. Yeah. So, yeah, be proud. Thank you so much, Delphine. Right. You're welcome. Good luck for your <sighs> mammoth week oh, ahead I'll of you. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you on the other side. We'll see you on Thursday. We'll bring you yes. coffee and cake. Lovely. That'll we'll be. see you then. Yeah. Ellie will be there bright and early on Thursday, and we'll bring you more than Thursday afternoon. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy. Double cake. <laughs> and remember, you're amazing as well, so enjoy oh, it. Thank enjoy you. Enjoy all the love She's that lovely. you're going to get. Oh, stop it. Make sure you... <laughs> You do say hello to Delphine when you see Yeah, her please there. do. Please come over because I'm on my own. Uh, I'm not with anybody there. I haven't even got Nick there. So I'm, complete, I'm on my own. <laughs> so come and see me. We will. We will. Uh, thank you, Delphine. <laughs> As always lovely to see loads of new customers as well welcome to a new addiction of delphine <laughs> i promise it's a good addiction to have and there'll be loads of of new kits as well coming your way yeah it just might cost a bit on your bank account having a delphine addiction it's a good one though um right have a look back on the website through all of the kits, all of the brand new cave. We've done some brilliant prices on the kits as well. It's been a real sort of pit stop through lots of um, uh, lots of projects there. But remember, each one has a demonstration on YouTube, so you can always watch back on our YouTube channel, Sewing Street on YouTube. All of them will have um, uh, demonstrations, so you absolutely can make the most of it. We do have on Saturday more cave fabric which will be launched. Is that with us? No, it's not with me. It's you and John. Cat and John are here on Saturday. Um, if you love the cave today, watch on Saturday because there'll be more cave to bring you. Uh, obviously, join us tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. I'm back with you on. Uh, 
Friday. Friday, I'm at Jewelry Maker tomorrow afternoon, so I'll see you then. If you can't make it to Festival of Quilts, we're bringing the Quilt Festival to your living room, so tune in every morning. Tomorrow's show, I'll show you the lineup. We've got John Scott back in tomorrow. Now, 8 a.m., do we know what it is now? We've had to reschedule the Horn Furniture show, um, but it will be coming back at a later date. So tomorrow, eight o'clock, you've got Quilting Fabrics and Tools with John. At nine o'clock, you've got Susie Dunn. I, I mean, he had a big show, didn't he? If he had Horn Furniture tables as well, as two guests, that would have been manic. So it might be actually um, a blessing in disguise to be able to just have a bit of a breather at 8 a.m. Because you've got Susie Duncan at nine, absolutely gorgeous Susie with Riley Blake, beautiful day. Also, Sally Steele. Stevens is back. I've not seen her for absolutely ages. She's got half square rectangle quilt at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Susie's going to be back with a machine cover. And then um, you've got fabulous fabrics at 12 o'clock. It's going to be a jam packed day with John tomorrow. Uh, but thank you for your company today. Have a look back through really, really quickly. We've got a message come through from Dawn. Delphine is amazing. Please bring the confetti quilting kit back in stock as I missed it as we're working. Oh, you haven't missed it. I think if you call the customer service team, you'll be able to find them. They'll be able to help you. If not, the instructions are available on their own. So absolutely, you'll still be able to get those dawn if you speak to the team today. Right, we've got loads to pack away, haven't we? Uh, <laughs> well, I'll see you on Friday morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Festival Quilts if you get to go there. And yeah, we'll see you soon.